Check, check, check. Microphone check. One, two. This is JDZ coming to you live and direct from Spaceship Earth. Super early in the morning. Right now, I'm here. Still, no sleep. We don't care. But as always, you know, I'm running the stream today and I'm very, very bad at this. So I need some help out there. If you can hear me, if you can, if I'm coming in clear, if the music's too loud, if the sound ain't right, if something's going down, uh, let me know. And, uh, and we might be able to uh, correct that before we get it started. But if you don't know what it is, we got the 3v3 happening, one of the funnest events in, in our game. You know, a lot of people like to show up to these and get the team aspect going on. But uh, here it is. Here's the bracket right here. Here are some of the teams. You may not recognize these team names, but I can go ahead and pull up the team rosters as well. So there's a lot of there's a lot of talented players going on this thing. Uh, show, showed up. SWB audio and, you know, capture not the registered. Winning team, the winning uh, the the winning three players gets invites to the Goat Format World Championship taking place in October. It's gonna be really cool. So uh, I'm looking forward to a, a long day of action-packed, high-intensity goat format action so if you're into that kind of thing make sure you stay tuned and keep it locked in and, and we're gonna we're gonna do this together let's see what happens so also uh as 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 the stream goes along if there is a team or if there is a round or if there's a match or something that you guys want to see make sure you get into the comment section and let me know so we can make sure we focus in on that or if you're listening to the stream and you want your game to be featured on the stream Make sure, you, make sure you let me know that too, and we can make that happen. So, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll do it just like that. We should be starting very, very soon. Um, but I, I don't know. Can, can you hear me? Am I coming in clear? Is this, is this working? I always get so, uh, so self-conscious about the, about the, this whole thing. Cause you just fire it, man. You don't know if it's going, you don't know if it's not going and you just out here, I'll, I'll sit here and talk to myself, you know, it, it'll, it'll, we'll make it, we'll make it happen. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and Shifty. Oh, what up, Shifty? The newest FLC champion is in the chat. You know, shout out to Shifty. I had the pleasure of, of sitting down and talking to the newest champ, and he has he has some great things to say. So that video should be dropping out dropping soon. Uh, so make sure you guys tune in to that on, uh, on GoForMat.com. Um, yeah, hear, hear what the hear what the hear what the new champion will say. So the champ. The champ said he wants to see some see some bird cage in action, so let's see who we got bird cage coming in round one. We're gonna watch some bird cage because the the champ the champ gives what gets what the champ wants these days. Uh, do, do, do. Where they at? Where they at? Do, 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 do. SWB audio capture not registered. <laughs> Two ghosts and a bird? Not is that the one? No, you want the bird cage? Where where is that? Where is no? It's, it's Bella Bella Roos, Bella. Uh, uh, Belarus Bel Moss School. Okay, so we're gonna that's, that's another thing we're gonna do as this day goes on. We're gonna pull up all the teams and we're gonna see some of these team names and see how they're comprised and kind of talk about them too as as we get breaks. And I'm sure there will be breaks throughout the day. So I believe I, I haven't heard anything from the crew, but I think we're about to get this bad boy started. Um, Are we are we live? Oh, I'm getting some. I, I don't know, Shifty. We might have to, we might have to make a pause. I'm getting some I'm getting some other feedback that we got that we got Moxie's versus Ivan taking place round one. We might have to tune into that. We might have to we might have to come back to the Birdcage champ. I'm sorry. That is a that is a high intensity go format uh, matchup that is taking place that I am that I am uh, that I am talking about here. I don't know. Have, have they started? Can I can I get a word that we've started? Oh, I believe we're starting. I believe we're underway. I believe these duelists have these duelists have launched. Oh, but that's the thing, though. Everyone's got their nicknames in there, and I don't know anybody's nickname. All right. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Hmm. Oh, here we go. Uh, 
All right. SWB audio captured, not registered. All right. So we got round one. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back to the. Uh, I'm gonna come back to the bird cage. They will be happening. But right now we got Ivan and Moxie's taking starting us off. We got a rampage internal kill fest that's happening. Ivan has won the rock paper scissors. He's gonna go first. Go ahead and slams the upstart. Slams the thunder dragon. And we'll get it started. We are underway. The three v three is happening. We are live. Uh, remember, go ahead and get your get yours in there. So we're gonna see the bird cage is coming up next. Uh, we got to get those team names out here. I got to figure out who everyone is. Um, yeah. Oh man, Whew. it's early. Oh, Moxie seems to be back on the warrior spirit. He's got the Don Slam Knock situation happening. Everyone loves that. He's calling fourteen already. I wonder if it's going to connect. Let's see it. This is my back my background music I got here. I mean, I might have to I might have to DX that. I might have to drop that. It's a little too it's a little too uh it's a little too somber, you know, these these early mornings, you know. I, we'll see. Okay, Ivan is not gonna take the 14. He elects to uh he elects to wing blast that. Uh Don sending that back to the top of the deck. All the decoy is gonna get uh taken out here though. All right, all right, all right. Okay, looks like Mike's just gonna throw one down and pass back over to Ivan. SWB audio captured, not registered. Hmm. Ivan's got the got the strato sleeves. Is that new? Is that a new? Is that a new? Uh, is that a new tech? I don't know. Is that a new uh, new thing? I haven't seen those before. Maybe I'm trying to change it up. Get some new 3v3 look. Moxie's is the uh, is the 3v3 icon. He's he's went deep several times in these events. Let's see if he can. Uh, no. he, and he really wants to reclaim that title, you know, and getting that 3v3. Who's in the booth? Who's in? The, who's there with me? Who's that? I, I heard. I heard a voice. Am I alone in this world? I don't know. I guess I am. I thought I heard someone drop in. I expect to, to have a, a lot of people come through the booth today and say hello. I'm going to be here from the beginning until the end. I'm talking start to finish 12 to 14 hours of non-stop go format action. Uh, Keiko will connect for 1800. Uh, banishing both of those Thunder Dragons. You are muted in Discord itself but uh, it's uh, necromancy for kids. Oh, what is up, Necro? Let me let me un let me undo that. See, I knew it was something. I knew things were going a little too smooth for comfort. Let's see if I can uh, let's see if I can remedy the situation. Um, hmm. That is interesting. Uh, how about now? That's weird. SWB audio captured, not registered. He's Hello? still not. Nothing. I can't I, hear you in Discord. I'm hearing you like a couple minutes later on uh, YouTube. Hey, let's. Uh, how, how about this? Let's go ahead. I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and drop from this one, and I'm gonna go to the to the go format to the go format. I think there's something wrong with this. Uh, with this one here. Sorry about that. Of course, this would not be a JDZ production without extreme technological indifferences. So just stand by and we're going to make this happen. Don't worry.
Hello? 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 Can you hear me now? I can't hear you if you're talking right now. What is going on? Oh my goodness, it's always something. Yeah, there, there, there is some, some issues I'm having with my Discord speak situation. Uh, it is being remedied as we speak. How about now? That shit did it. That's I feel I feel good about this. Yeah, I oh, can hear you now. Perfect. SWP okay. audio Excellent. capture not right, registered. I figured out what was going on. Okay, now we're back to the action. We're back. We're back to the. We're back to that. How you doing, Necro? How you doing this morning? Oh uh, well, I didn't get a lot of sleep uh, because I I'm not used to waking up this early. But uh, not too bad yourself. I can't complain. <laughs> I can't complain. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling hype. I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling dedicated. Kaiku's coming in. Mox is doing pretty good. He's got he got a good situation going on. He's got uh let's see. Yeah. I mean having that Kaiko there, he can't he can't seem to he's not gonna be able to get his chaos plays off, so that's that's dope. I was thinking about it, seeing if he can make a response to this Kaiko assault that's taking place. I feel like there's gotta be something there, but it yeah, the question would be if it was something like Phoenix Wing Windblast, it was worth it to use it at this point. But it looks like Ivan believes that it is. Okay. And he also gets his graveyard set up too, so I believe Light and Dark are now live for Ivan. Let's see if that goes yep. through though. Uh, Moxie's thinking about it a little bit. Let's see if he's going to let it ride, and he does. Kaiku gets sent back to the top of the deck as well. This is set to throw back over to Moxie's. Moxie's going to draw. Man, I wish I just wish I were, be I were better at computers. I wish I was not such a uh, a crow magnet. Sometimes, you know, my life would be so. Oh goodness, goodness gracious, what is that? Oh, oh, good grief. Sorry about that. As I as I uh, as my computer just decides to explode on itself. always fun <laughs> my computer just decided to uh completely just swp implode. audio capture not it's registered it's all good it's gonna work itself out i'm sure yeah i've been thinking on what to do here uh, does he want to just blast in with the chaos for the damage he knows that <laughs> kaiku's gonna come back so if he doesn't have an answer already, he kind of needs to play the chaos now. I think he might. I think he might do it. I think he might send it if he's got it. He might send it. Um, I don't know, but he might be afraid of those two bags. It could be. He could be looking into a torrential. He could be looking into a solemn judgment situation. Um, maybe he has another answer for the Kaiku himself. I don't know, but I, I do know that Ivan feels very comfortable in this Chaos Turbo versus Warrior matchup, so he must have been relieved to see Warriors, but at the same time, you know, I, I wouldn't want to play, you know, these high-level Warrior players this early on. Uh, anything can happen, especially, the, you know, these game ones who you don't have all your Warrior hate set up for yourself just yet. But he likes not to, uh, not to bring it down if he does have the Chaos. He decides to just go ahead and sets one and throws back over to Moxie. So I'm going to have to guess then that this is a spy or one of these set cards are real. So the Kaiko is back. The bead shaking maniac is back on the board looking down this set. And it is in fact, none other than not a So that was the answer to the, to the Kaiko. Yeah, that was gonna be my other thought, but now it's gonna just sound like I just I'm making it up <laughs> because something had to be removing this Kaiku because he's he's set up light and dark 
SWB the guy audio who capture uh, not just registered. And turn with the Phoenix Wing when blast if you didn't have some way to either summon a chaos to push damage or to you know remove the the kaiku. All right, all right. Players are even, even in cards. Love to see that going into, going into this turn. Moxie's is on the draw, up one. Boy, hand just rips that call of hunter right away. Probably gonna bring back the Kaiko. Obviously, that's the only, only choice he's got. Let's see. Everything else getting stacked back on the deck. He's gonna just pound in with the Kaiku. It is headlong into a 2000 defense spy plus and one from the deck right now. Gotta hate to see it. <laughs> One more. Sorry, I need I need a couple seconds, Necro. I'm sorry, I'm uh, I'm leaving you hanging here. Oh, good. Being the being the technical guy and the and the commentary guys, I don't know how people do it. I really I it, it's so shocking how people can uh, how people can do both of these things at one time. I guess it just comes with time. SWB time audio time. capture like anything, guess, not so registered. Um, when you are a caveman like me and you're trying to do this, it doesn't always work out. Nice. Okay. Okay. A lot of work. Okay. Oh, cool. Well, the the call of haunted uh, ended up putting Ivan in a bad spot, but also the Gravekeeper spy. We're saying again the the utility of just having a fat two thousand defense to sit behind is just holding off for turns after turns, so he's not getting pounded. While wow, this uh, Kaiku is keeping him from using his chaos. Oh, oh, uh, okay. So... Sorry about right, that. Now let's see. I'm He's having. Gonna... Oh, sorry. Go on. No, no, no. It was. I'm having some more technical difficulties. Shout out to. If you guys notice more technical issues happening with the stream, we're going to be here all day. This is the very beginning. This is match one. I am not a I am not a professional just yet, but I had my 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 uh, some more technical issues were taking place. Hopefully that has now been rectified. Thank you, uh, Calcifer. I appreciate it, man. You're 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 a G. And thank you for being the judge. Head judge. Shout out to you for for holding us down in this uh, in this event. So that should be good now. Ooh, man, what a mess. We'll just cut all that right on out of there in, the, in post or something. But now we're good. <laughs> now we're fixed. Everything should be fine. Good to go. We're here all day. Uh, so I was going to go ahead and book a moon that breaker. You know, like, it would feel like that was a waste, except now that book can't stop the Kaiku anymore if they draws another uh, gas monster. So that's pretty good. For uh, Ivan, or rather, sorry, pretty good for Moxies to hit the book in this instance. Hmm. Not like he was going to activate Mystic Plasma Zone this turn <laughs> and take out the spies anyway. You know what? Anything can happen. This is uh this is a three v three. You never know. I don't know. Maybe he's got the, maybe he's got the Plasma Zone locked in, loaded up. Plasma Tech 
no one no one's even expecting it. <laughs> Yami wouldn't have worked because it'll boost the spies. I can't remember if it's only 200 or 300 boost anyway. Something that uh, I felt the pain of relatively recently uh, in a uh, tournament here on the GoFront Europe server. We had uh, the Slifer special of Jurassic Park where you could only use plant, insect, rock, oh, yeah. uh, fish. Uh, and reptile monsters. I might have just missed one, but basically, uh, the list is based off, you know, monsters that maybe you would see in Jurassic times. And, uh, I was playing, uh, Legendary Ocean, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be, you know, the beat down on everybody, because no one else is gonna be playing, you know, water monsters in this tournament. And it uh, turns out uh, one of my opponents was playing uh, a Serpentine Princess, and she got the boost from uh, Legendary Ocean 2, so none of my monsters could run over it, and then they use Gravity Bind, so any of the monsters I could summon that could have gotten over it can't attack. So it's like, well, didn't think about that one. <laughs> Dude. You never know, man. You never know. You never know. Serpentine Princess is a very, very bad car, by the way. I will uh I will I will <laughs> I will I will be the one to say. So someone putting that in their in their situation. Oh, he's, I was Yeah, I was expecting that. This is a this is a, a a very a very I don't know, it seemed it seemed almost like a little desperation. Tribe comes down, but he did get a big plus on that, even though that serpent uh well, not a plus, but that, I mean, he, I guess he was playing around that serpent being like a, like a faith or something like that. Um, so necessar yeah. necessary. Now he got those spies out of the way. He can start applying some pressure and, and get this thing wrapped up is what is, what his intent is, I believe. All right. Oh, goodness. Ivan draws, thinking about it, thinking about how he's going to answer this, answer this tribe infecting virus. And yeah, Moxie's got rid of the spies, but now his own Kaiku's gone. So if he drew into some of his uh, sorcerers, I don't know if he's running two. I don't think most people run three nowadays. I mean, maybe there's some, some people out there, but... He could draw into his uh, other sorcerer, but Moxie's is banking not because I mean that's fair. He has to draw one card out of what was seventeen. Like I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure Ivan Ivan's definitely got access to another chaos sorcerer, um, but now he's got to start planning playing around those magicians of fates because once those fates start flipping, and I know I Moxie's thinking about this as well. Once those plays, plays start going off, this game can get blown wide open pretty quickly. So Mox is going to need an answer for that. Uh, he's going to need uh, he's going to need a way to apply more pressure and just try to try to end this thing as quickly as possible. I think the longer this game goes on, uh, the more favor goes uh, to Ivan, I think. So he's thinking about it. He elects to go ahead and battle in. It was the DD Warrior Lady. Oh wow! So he took the he took the AJT tech of DD Warrior Lady, uh, added it to his turbo deck. Okay, a lot of a lot of turbo players do not play the DD Warrior Lady, uh, but he did. Yeah, he did I think it's it's definitely nice to have DD Warrior Lady because, well, with with Sangan, you want to be able. This is something that I felt uh, the different deck. I had never actually played turbo, but. It's nice to have because not only is it a light sometimes, of course, but mm -hmm. it's a Karibo target that can actually like attack. Like if you add the Gravekeeper Spy with Karibo, you're just gonna be setting that. You're not gonna attack with it, right? 
but with DD Warrior Lady, you can't attack, and then of course it's. You mean also saying it? You mean you mean saying you saying Karibo? You mean saying it? Did I say? You said, yeah, oh yeah, you definitely I said got, I'm like, I got three hours of sleep. I'm you know sorry. what? I'm in, I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. I went to bed around. I went to bed around midnight. Got up around four. You know, and 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 and, and did it like that. I went to a goat local last night. You know, sixteen oh, people nice. actually showed up. It was pretty fun. It was a good time. Stayed really late. Five rounds of Swiss starting at seven p.m. is not ideal. Oh yeah. <laughs> So we're sorry to... about that. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. This is a, this is what I love. You know, you do what you you do what you love, and I enjoy this whole Ooh. whole game. Big heavy storm coming in. I haven't thrown this thumbs is... up there. Dang. So that, that's a one, that, two, the, three the for one. But bluff those... solemn. Oh man, and that is going to be going right into game two. So game one will go to the warrior player. Moxie's takes down Ivan in uh in a rampage on rampage violence going up that first game so um i think in, in my in my opinion and i could be i could be wrong but i feel that the warrior player does have a slight advantage over turbo player game one but game two it kind of goes heavily into the turbo player's favor once they can add in some battle traps and they can bring in some some more you know, attacking monsters if they elect to go that route. So it's, uh, you know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an uphill battle for Moxie. You know, this is a, this is a level up situation for Ivan. Ivan is the number one ranked player in in Go format right now. So super super hot player. So he knows he knows his matchup very well. I think uh, I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a good one. Stay tuned. Stay locked. Anything can happen. I wish that Karibo could add DD Warrior Lady. That would make it a much better card. Oh yeah, it'd be broke. It'd be broken. It'd be like another, another searcher, huh? Let's see. Yeah. It just specifically says search for either Spy or DD Warrior Lady. Though. That's it. <laughs> I think it would still be a good card, though. <laughs> I think it would, I think people would play it. Or maybe like a, like a, like a, like a, like a extra gravekeeper card, DD grave. I don't know. Discard, add one light or one. I don't know. It could be. It could work. Um. Now you're getting into some insane levels. You <laughs> discard to add it. That would be yeah. way <laughs> too good. You know, just throw it, throw it out of your hand, and add another one. That'd be pretty cool. seeing the origins of uh, go format here just some three set cards to start off this duel just hunkering down just hunkering down a little, little V set almost like a T set a little more a little more rambunctious a little more stylistic a little more aesthetically pleasing I think I mean I like to have the I like to have the set one, have one space in the middle, and then have another set, and then have the monster in the middle. That's the, that is the ideal uh, set spread. Diddy Warrior Lady has been slammed. Slam and bash on the Diddy Warrior Lady. Let's see what we're gonna hit here. It is the spy, okay? The Gravekeeper spy has been reinstituted onto the, onto the game board. No effect. For Moxie's spies effect is mandatory. Going to slam another one here. Moxie's confirming he doesn't have a a magic card that doesn't exist in Go format to negate that uh, spy effect. What card is that? Uh, a card that doesn't exist in Go format. <laughs> ah. In fact, I don't even know very many cards that. You could have activated in that situation that aren't like brand new. Hmm. 
Who knows? <laughs> we're now back in the we're now back in the red corner with your with your spy set up early. This is a good spot you, as as a turbo player. You want to keep your you got your defensive walls set up, and you just kind of draw cards until you can execute your game plan. So he's feeling. I think I think I was feeling pretty good about it, but you know it takes one tribe infecting virus or one you know ninja grandmaster to kind of turn this thing turn this thing up pretty quick and there is the sand gan sand gan's down that's interesting very interesting some of sand gan here a, a sand gan slam is is pretty cool let's see how this gets followed up maybe there will be a maybe there will be a Wing or a Regeki break or a Ring Mystic of Destruction zones coming down, <laughs> or Ring of Destruction or some type. Maybe yeah, maybe Ivan is playing the Mystic Plasma Zone. I don't know. Oh, it is in fact the Snatch Steel is going to be the play. Surely Moxie's has something for this. Surely he has a thinking emoji. Moxie's going to think about it a little bit. I have a feeling that Ivan wouldn't have made this play if he doesn't have his own solemn or something like that. Let's see if, if Ivan will get rambunctious and make a spy attack. He likes not to do that and go ahead and decides to pound in with 15 and 1,000. Oh yeah, I see you. Kwame says uh, Divine Wrath would work, but Divine Wrath you cannot use in the damage step. If I, if, if I, if uh, if, you can, can, but you? he didn't have a card. Oh yes, set, you can. Okay, so you can't. You can't. Okay, okay. He couldn't have activated it because it wasn't set. It wasn't there. <laughs> it wasn't there. He can. Uh, was that? Was that uh, one guy? You can discard the guy from your hand or something. And use trap from your hand. Effect Veiler? No, no, no. Uh, oh, sorry. I don't. I have no idea what the, you're the, talking no, about. No, the, the, the band card. The trap. Makayura, the trap guy. You can play traps from your hand if he's in the graveyard or something. I, I can't I can't recall. Oh, uh, yeah. If he, the turn he's sent to the grave, yeah, you can yeah. use traps. From the wow. Hand. What a chain. So, Mo Ivan does not want to be zinged. Moxie's like, you will be zinged. And they do a little solemn exchange. Zing is secured onto both of those cards. So... Very cool. The Zing technology, Moxie's is back on it in full effect. If you didn't know, I don't think he ever left. I think Moxie's has been a firm believer in Zing Zing who since forever. Oh man, so this Ooh. is going to get this oh, is stanky. This is not. Man. So Breaker come down, pops the snatch. And now we're that Sangin is going to the next dimension. It looks like, yes, they are in the Shadow Realm. The different dimension, Sangin, gone. Late night. Oh well. Okay. Okay. Ivan changing it up a little bit. I, I've never seen him on the blade technology. I like to see it. Love to see the innovation there. And blade comes down, and now these spies have put Moxies on a very, very short clock, like a next turn type situation. You, you gotta have it. Let's see if Moxies does. And oh, he definitely does. Okay, let's see. Tribe infecting is down. And he's going to retain the prioritization of the tribe infecting oh, okay. Pop see the warrior tax on both sides. Pop the pop the uh pop the blade and just swing into the spy. Sakuretsu armor has been played. So now Moxie's needs another one. Another another fantastic Yu-Gi-Oh card it needs to come down now to protect him because the game will be uh, on the board right now. If this is a near force is going to beat himself for uh, not having gotten rid of these spies with the effect. I don't know, it must be a it must have been a really good card to to hang on to. It'd also be call. It is one Sakuretsu armor. Oh, oh that 
was the oh that man. was risky Damn. risk it for the biscuit solemn yeah, judgment man so i wonder what that one car was that uh mox has decided to hang on to to not clear those five i mean yeah, I think, not I think clearing he, those spies just lost in the game yeah i think yeah i think i'm throwing i think i'm throwing for the spies if that if i had that sakuretsu armor i'll clear those guys and just attack in with 16 and then see what happens but you know yeah because i mean it's hard because we don't know what his hand was to be able to like say like if he like because you don't want to get hit by like a BLS and lose either, but at the same time, you gotta you gotta think. Eventually, you were gonna have to clear those spies anyway. Yeah, but right? I, at the same time, I know I know uh, Moxie and Ivan have a. They've been playing with playing together for some time, and Moxie knows Ivan's you know um, deck pretty well, and he knows what he's likely to do and, and not likely to do. And I'm guarantee. I, I'll tell you right now that he did not see that Blade Knight coming. That Blade Knight was a surprise. And it kind of threw him off. I think. I think if, if I had to, if I had to call it. Oh wow! Oh, so it looks like. like a... Wow! 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 So it looks like if this is the three v three. If you're not, if you're not, uh, if you're not abreast or in tune to how it goes. So the three v three is 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 just that. There are three, and there are three, and the other two from Mox's team has defeated the other two from Ivan's team. So they will in fact move on regardless of the outcome of this match that is uh that is unfortunate i wish they would have uh you know that's just how it happens though so um shout out to both of those i'm glad it, i'm glad it worked out i'm glad that was a good match where we're we going next anyone what matches do we want to see next let's pull up the uh we can pull up the bracket oh i told shifty we go see some some uh some bird some Let's see some some Birdman Omega. Let's see what he if he's playing. Oh, Birdman and Dueling High 101. Let's go ahead and jump in on that one real quick in progress. And that's it. Oh, hey, what a what a what a time. So Dueling High has been defeated by Birdman as we <laughs> as we tune in like immediately as that uh, as that happened. Uh, we we get a we get a loss. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep it moving. Let's keep this spaceship rocking. Let's see if we can find another match that is in progress. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Uh, we could do Fresh IRL versus Double Copy. Oh, let's do that. Let's go. Let's go there and check out both of these duelists. They're in the, they're in game right now. Uh, so it's Team Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Extraterrestrial yes. Intelligence. Oh, man. Let's go. Extraterrestrial Intelligence. All right, There's, so uh, it, it looks like copy who's on uh, don't Kione or something. Don't that don't clone it. Don't clone. Uh, is that an L? Yeah, it's from KL. They got KL on the team. Oh wow, I have the worst dice sight in the world. <laughs> so it looks. I was like looking directly an inch from my screen. I still couldn't see. <laughs> What's an L? All right, so it looks uh, like it looks like um. Fresh is up one game. Uh, plan is he? Fresh is playing Warriors. That is another one. We lost another one, folks. We lost another control player. It looks like he has donned a helmet as well. Uh, we look like we have a uh, Turbo versus Warrior matchup with Fresh on Warriors and don't copy playing Turbo. And it appears as if Fresh is up one game right now. All right, we got Sangin's gonna search for that Gravekeeper Spy. We got Kaiko, one set, one in hand. Spy in hand, one set, another in hand. Four cards left in deck. Wow, I didn't realize that. So we are in oh, we wow. are in deck out deck out mode here. Uh, and then that that is a very strong late game delinquent duo coming from Fresh. That's uh, pretty devastating here too. That delinquent duo. Feeling like this might be 
Oh wow! So that oh, okay. that, ha that has to be solemn judgment. Not a bad call here. Three cards left in deck for don't copy. We got sorcerer in the grave and a BLS banished. Hits the ring. Ooh. That ring for draw would have been would have been great for for don't copy. But at these, when it gets really, 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 really late game like this, you can kind of look at your opponent's graveyard and kind of deduce what options they have left and what threats you need to be worried about and what you're soft to. Uh, so I think Fresh is in a, in a pretty, pretty comfortable spot. He's got this Kaiku here. He's got more cards than the opposition. Unless, um, you know, I, I don't know yeah, what it would fresh. take to kind of get out of this right now with one card left with no chaos fresh play to be made. Yeah, he's realizing he doesn't even really have to attack and put himself at risk of anything silly. Yeah. He just has to wait, you know, two more turns and he wins. Just kind of sit back and relax. Speaking of relaxing, this I got some relaxing background music on. Maybe I should turn something on a little more aggressive. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, Book Moon. Okay. Okay. And then BLS as the last card. Is there, is there BLS Banished? No, BLS is gone. So I'm pretty sure, uh, unless he's got a Sork, maybe. Double Spy. Just sometimes just gotta go all in and see what happens. Anything else? Gotta have something else here. Yeah. And there is a Sork. So basically. Whatever is set, it's going to have to have 1,200 more defense, or it has to have a, a real back row. Let's see it. And it that's is game. the Donald, the Don Zalug. That's GG. All right. Don so Zalug activating effect to mill top <laughs> to two. Mil, to extra mill, <laughs> end it immediately. Okay, so it looks like Fresh IRL has went ahead and defeated Don't Copy. I don't know the the standings of the rest of the of the matches. But while we got a little bit of time, let's go ahead and pull up the, the, this is all the teams right here. You guys get in there and tell me what you think your favorite team names are. Some creative names in here. You got, uh, you got Cold Brew Light Eyes. We got Extra Extraterrestrial Intelligence, Fancy Soul Noodles, Gia 74 through 76. I love these guys. Ultra Instinct all day, every day. Uh, that's, that's a cool one. Shaggy Moves Buckets by Bobby Night Power. That's a tongue twister. Um, it's some cool stuff in here. So check it out. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you who, who wants to who wants to come onto the stream next, and we're gonna do it like that. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let me pull up. Where's my bracket? Bracket down. Bracket in distress. That's not the bracket. What are you doing? Get out of here, man. I do want to apologize, by the way. I know that uh, we did say what the time was, and we are playing at the correct time for the tournament. But the countdown that I had posted alongside it was an hour ahead for some reason. I don't know how, but it was. Um, we're still playing at the correct time and everything, but I'm going to apologize for anyone that might have gotten messed up because of that counter being wrong. I'd set it to 8 a.m. I'd set 8 a.m., but then it was still an hour wrong. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if maybe I just don't know how time zones work. <laughs> Are we gonna we're gonna jump in? We're gonna jump into this uh, to this mercenary one and city's finest. Uh, mercenary one is up a game and city's finest this is Joy Neutral Ground. Uh, he's he's down a game. I'm trying to find I'm trying to find my bracket. I cannot seem to locate my bracket. Uh, if someone wants to be a real one and and just link your boy a copy of that bracket. I would love you forever in the Discord. I would uh, uh I can't I can't seem to I can't seem to find it. it to you. Thank you. You're a real one. I, I can't uh It's pinned in the general discussion for the three V three Gotcha. I okay. It to you. you gotta understand for I those who uh, wish to uh follow along. 
simply join us on the Goat Format Europe server <laughs> and check under 3v3 for general discussion and go to the uh, to the the pins there. Don't know why I went for a Uber accent there. But I did. <laughs> oh man! So let's see. Oh wow! Okay, so we might have to get some. Uh, we might have to get some some Italians on the stream here very soon. I got. We got. Uh, we love CC Koki, Sheshi Koki, Sheshi Koki. In uh, they're they're moving on. They they are with. They're playing Trinity right now. We got Solidarity. That name is hilarious for for reasons I can't explain right now on the chat. But uh, yeah, okay. So they're doing well. It's a lot of it's a lot of teams that I thought would um that spicy. Oh man, with the skill drain, it's it's a lot of teams I thought that would be doing a lot better that are not doing as good, and there's a lot of teams Mercenary. I thought would be not be doing as good as doing great. You never know. Mercenary just summoned a. Uh... Oh man, my brain is not working. A spirit reaper, spirit reaper again. Yeah, skill no, drain. no, 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 no. Yeah, you summoned a spirit reaper, but now uh, you just turn it into a skull servant with that skill drain. We're gonna sack for the Thunder Dragon. Get that down. And then Nobleman. Upgrading his uh Thunder Dragon to an Aku Beam. Or sorry, his uh skull servant to an Aku Beam. That's interesting though. I've i skill drain skill drain and still having your uh having your flip effects is, is interesting, I think. Yeah, he's got a lot of flip effects. Interesting. Uh, I don't. I don't think I've. I don't know. think I've seen that. I don't think I've seen that. I what think, just? Well, I don't know what's happening right now. He uh he he wing he wing blasted the uh thunder dragon. And then he used jar to to draw another one, and then. Okay, I think I know what. He was trying to do, but that was a really weird way to go about it. But he drew a card, is the thing. From from Jar Greed, he played Jar Greed. Yeah, but if he was using Jar Greed to add Thunder Dragon, oh, okay, never mind. I I get what happened. That was a really weird sequence. <laughs> I need some. I think I think uh, both of us before this day is over, we're gonna need at least a pound and a half of coffee. Yeah. All right, so the Kiko Kiko is down. Kiko is down. Oh. And BLS is down. So that skill drain is completely working against you at this at this current juncture. And ring oh. is down. So that is going to wrap this thing up. City's finest has been defeated by Mercenary One, and Mercenary One's move. I think this is actually loses loses bracket. So I need to I need to work on my uh, I need to work on my game finding mechanics. It's really difficult. We're gonna find yeah, some. It's maybe three. It's a little hard. It's a little hard because you got the team names, out. and I I'm not well abreast to all the teams. But we I know we got I love I love Sheshik. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go see. We're gonna see what uh, what old CC is doing. And pretty girl Uwu no. on the winner side. Oh and. If you don't, if you don't know who this uh, Sheshikoki is, very, very talented player, and very, very good person. You know, a lot. Of, uh, I, I really, I really like his attitude. I really like his mentality. He's very, very nice to talk to and deal with. He's always willing to help and and do anything. I learned a lot from just talking to him. He's looking. He's a very commanding position. Up four cards with this BLS getting slammed, and that's gonna be uh, three thousand to the to the head and neck of Uwu or Upstart. <laughs> up yeah. life points up cards yikes Damn he it. gets a lot of flack because he does play a little slow sometimes and I will agree but at the same time I think uh, they were they were getting a lot of flack even though they were one of the nicest people in the community and they've done a lot for the GOAT community over the uh, last couple years 
Absolutely, especially in uh, in the Italian scene. He's always hosting these very large goat format events. A lot of people show up. Goat's huge in Italy, man. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, they're, uh, I believe, I would have to find the, what channel that's on. Um, but there was a, recently some coverage uh, of a tournament that they had over there in Italy that was a pretty big one that uh, he was one of the uh, the, the hosts for. And um, he did some some pretty great pretty great stuff to get them to uh, to where they could play, and um, <clears throat> all these tournaments that uh, I don't know all of them, but a lot of the tournaments I've heard about that he's running too. He uh, he makes the food himself. He's a talented chef. It, yeah, he's just in there in there cooking too. Yeah, because I mean we were talking about it. Uh, it's pretty insane what he he went through. Uh, it's it's almost like uh, like he's some sort of anime character, the way he he uh, got all the local uh, people to come together to help him with the event, and uh, keeping their their restaurant open late so that all the people could uh, enjoy, and then making all this home cooked food a really great bribe uh, to get people to your tournament. <laughs> I mean, if it works, if it works, it works. If it works, it works. It's not really a bribe, so uh, he's gonna be up a game though, up a game on Mercenary V while they're side decking. Let's see if I can. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull the pull the the teams back up. Maybe we can learn some teams together. So right now we are currently watching the We Love Sheshikoki team with I Love Sheshikoki, Solaris, Snatch Steel ninety two. Um, they are playing against Team Trinity uh, with uh, Pretty Girl Uwu. Stand and Rekigon or Ace. I don't know which names goes which name goes where, but you know, you figure it out. So that's that's who's playing right now. Um maybe if I can if I were if I were more technologically savvy, I could figure out a way to pull up all the games and have them all going, maybe pull up some alt accounts and have it all going back and forth. But that's next time. That's way too out of my uh out of my wheelhouse right now uh for this particular event in question. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can pull it off right now. But um, if you know the, you know, if, cause I, I hate to see if this game, if this game ends and we don't get a chance to finish it because the other two have, uh, have concluded and we are no longer in round one. Let me fix that as well. Yeah, that's one of the downsides you could say of a 3v3 is you can end up having a match they're playing that means literally nothing. Cause once your team, two teammates win or lose, that's, I mean, as long as they, both won or both lost that's the end and uh you just gotta scoop up your cards and uh get and ready for on. the next one all right and we also have this one right here it's gonna be one all right very cool yeah but this is a fun event though a lot of people really enjoy it I'll... it's really nice it's different to a little change of pace, you know, because these the single events they can get very, uh, you know, not not necessarily repetitive, but they're uh, re repetitive, but they're very uh, they're very competitive as well. Um, and not saying these aren't, but they're, it's just a different, just a kind of a different way to a different way to do it, different way to play the same game that we all that we all like to do. Mocking a Sangan is uh, not the worst thing in the world. I mean, it's probably bait, but at the same time, you got rid of a Sangan, so they're not gonna, you know, get that plus zero off of it. Uh, I guess it's technically still plus zero. Hits them with the trap dust shoot, so it looks like we have, look like, uh, look like we have a Warriors, and look like we have a Warrior Turbo, Warrior Chaos Control uh, match happening. It's funny that such a an unassuming card like Sangan is just been ubiquitous throughout most of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! to the point where they had to uh, use history revisionism on it twice throughout the years. Really? First, oh. And the OCG originally its effect worked even when discarded oh, or wow. sent from the top of your deck to the grave. So it was really powerful. Um, you could just uh, the uh... oh, there you go. Sending back a Zambira, which is a pretty good card in this scenario. 
Uh, so uh, Exodia Turbo was like the best deck, the tier zero deck. Ooh, we got a spicy oh. Royal Command. <laughs> a Royal Command sighting. Okay, love to see it. When the command is Royal. As a spicy one. Ryu Sheshikoki. That would have been a cool name. That would have been a cool team name. I like that. Yeah. Uh, we've got We Love Sheshikoki for uh, ILCC's team. And that pretty girl is on Team Trinity. Team Trinity. I mean, hey, that's the most fitting uh, name for a 3v3. And what you and, yeah. what, you, and what you want to <laughs> see. You know, I want to give me all the trades. Yeah. Got that Blade Knight. Even though it's effect, uh, secondary effect is not active. Still got that. Ooh, okay. Royal Command to basically mean it's still working. So we got 2,000 Ring of Destruction coming down. Uh, I love CC's thinking about it. <clears throat> thinking about it, they want to negate this. Maybe we'll see a Seven Tools of the Bandit, perhaps a Solemn Judgment, or maybe or... even a Trap Jammer. Yeah, if we're going really insane i think trap jammer yeah <laughs> i mean i think honestly man i think trap jammer is so close to being good these days why it's, not i don't know about Ooh, that it's man. close man it's when close. you have seven tools i don't know if it's ever worth i mean but play. it's free it's free <laughs> sometimes you know so not only do you have to have less than a thousand life points or a thousand or less sorry but also, it has to be the battle phase. It's got to be the battle better. phase. I just just, immediate, <laughs> just immediately go right to your battle phase every time you want to play. Just like, all right, draw phase, standby phase, battle phase, immediately. And then, hey, man. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I remember when I was a kid, I thought Trap Jam was actually good. And I played it in my playground deck. Uh, the one that had over 100 cards in it, mind you. Um, I think it had like 150-something cards. <laughs> This is the, the GOAT days. You could have more than 60 cards in your oh, deck. Oh, yeah. You can have uh, as many as you want. But unfortunately, uh, GB prevents us from playing that insanity. That would be so... That would, can you imagine? People people would just troll and show up with 200 card decks all the time. I don't know if they really would. Just for, just for, just for troll's sake. Okay. Mm. Main phase, call the haunted. Interesting. Mm. I guess if it's a spy, you want to be able to destroy it with the, the Sasuke. Or maybe trying to bait like a torrential or something. Oh, it's got the nobleman as well. Pretty girls thinking about it. Maybe a solemn judgment, perhaps. But I have to be. Well, I mean, we are staring down 3,800 damage here. Yeah, that would not have been. Uh, well, I mean, and that's a that's just a eat. So we're gonna eat that. We're gonna eat that thirty that thirty eight. No problem. Mm -hmm. What do we got here? Just wondering if we we're gonna see a destruction ring. <laughs> I like seeing one thousand damage. <laughs> Let's see, Jar Greed is going to. No offense to the person that that said this to me, but it's somebody the other day. Oh, solemn, solemn mm -hmm. on the Kaiko, the Ghost Destroyer. 
Um, but uh, somebody told me that they thought that Destruction Ring with, w worked exactly like Ring of Destruction, except it only did a thousand damage. Oh, there's a spy negated effect. Yikes. Now the uh, Sasuke can destroy it. Uh, but yeah, so like, why doesn't everybody just play this card? And I unfortunately had to tell them, it destroys your own monster, not the opponent's monster. Hey, but it does, it does, it does destroy the monster, okay? It does destroy the monster. So what that means, you can play mind control, take their guy, flip it, and then destroy it, huh? Nah, that's, <laughs> that's bad. Don't do that. Don't do that, ladies and gentlemen. Don't do that. And then both players take a thousand damage. And then everyone takes a thousand. They go, what a Sambira. Hello, Zambira. How are you? That was that's a great. A good, that's a good card. Great draw in this situation. And never mind. Bad card. Bad card. Card's bad. <laughs> oh, that's a better card. That is a fantastic card for, for Uwu. Pretty girl, Uwu. Summoning it in the spell trap zone. Giving it an extra, as a spell caster, you gotta give it an extra spell caster boost by bringing it into the spell trap zone. Bringing it back to the monster zone. I'm just gonna go ahead and banish this Blade Knight. Staying cut off All right. the lights. Wow. Ooh, and we are doing that was this. a good top deck. We are topping. Everyone's topping. We're all topping. And that is going to be GG's. So I love Sheshi Koki has won this match and has uh, declared victory for the We Love Sheshi Koki team. So shout out to them. Uh, moving on. I don't know if they're moving on. I don't know what the what the what remains for the uh, for the other members of that team, but maybe they'll move on. Let's see. Okay, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to jump in and see what the homie Shaggy Powers and Shogun Lopez are doing while we wait on that. On the results of that match, I believe this is also in the winner's right. bracket. So we're going to jump into Shaggy Powers, Shogun Lopez to, to see what they're happening. Shaggy Powers with the shaggy sleeves. Love to see it. And the shaggy uh, avatar here. Very cool stuff. Shogun, uh, very dope warrior player. He's already got a, a qualification this year after winning the, uh, winning the Patreon and did well in a few other events as well. It looks like Shaggy is also... Not sure what's happening right now. What was happening? Are you having... Probably miscalculated Solemn would be my guess. It is early. It is early. I know, I know, uh, you know, doing, doing high level mathematics, you know... Yeah, I mean, I called Sangan Karibo, so I mean, I, I, I'm I... definitely not uh, <laughs> judging. I need some <laughs> I need some caffeination in my life as well. I need, I need to I'll probably have to take several breaks throughout the uh throughout this event to sustain myself. Coffee will be on the menu here shortly. You need to grab some coffee, man. I mean, I'm here. So, I can oh, no. fill in for you. Oh, I will. I just don't need it yet. I just got to get it at the right time. I got to time it just right. And it's gonna be perfect. I've been trying to cut back on my caffeine, but today, today ain't that day. We're going full caffeine all the time. We're coffeeing up, I think. <laughs> okay, uh, this is actually not accurate. It looks like Shaggy Powers is actually up a game instead of the Shogun. Let me fix that as well. Yeah, it's it's a little weird how the how it displays who who has a, a game win or not i also thought for some reason that it was shogun who had uh won the game but uh yeah it displays uh front player who's the red player first and then blue player that's right it took me it took me so long to figure that out so long you have no idea how long that took me to piece that together the salt to crack the code It's a lot better than not having any information like it used to be, though. Ooh, oh, okay. He exiled for it. Oh, right into the Torrential Tribute. That is rough. Hate to see it. 
And I'm going to see Gigantes. That was some good patience by uh, Shogun Lopez to hold off and wait for that. Uh, wait for that to come down. Yeah, so it looks like we have uh, Gravekeeper Warriors, or I guess you could have just sighted in the spies. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's a very that's a very common common uh, tech these days, bringing in the bringing in the spies, going going second or going first or whatever in whatever matchup, because you know the knocks are probably going to be removed from the game. Mm -hmm. I thought Shaggy was going to say, but not good enough. Oh, and the Kaiko is going to be down. Ooh. Kaiko is going to hit in. That's a beefy 18. Life points are getting pretty low. Chaos is now turned off. Can we get a can we get a snatch deal one time for Shaggy, perhaps? Us. Okay, that's oh, not that's a bad not, card. That is not a bad card. The Zombira is back down, slammed, and takes out the Kaiko. That's his job. That's what he does. That's what he gets paid for. That's why he's in the deck to come down and beat the hell out of Kaiko. How dare you assume that the great Zombira <laughs> would be getting paid to do this? <laughs> he's an he employee, he works here. Big he heavy. does it for the love. Big heavy there. Getting a two getting a twofer in this situation. No, it's Japanese name is Zombire, but Zom Zombri and Vampire, but I I don't uh, know, man. That's rough. That's a I would prefer Zombira. Then you get in these awkward situations with with the old with the old elbow dropping menace, and we get get here and you can't seal the deal. It just makes me it irritates me to no end with Zombire of the Dark because you get it's always I always find myself in these spots and you just want to push for game, and you got this guy who can't attack direct. It comes up not that often, not as often as you would think, but when it does come up, very frustrating. He just doesn't have the heart to hurt people. <sighs> He's a hero. He's the first hero. He should have been, he should have been uh, a hero, something something hero. Zombira the Dark. I think that would have been fitting. Zombira the Dark hero, I guess, could have worked. So something. Rota for the exile, exile the Zombira. Now it's funny. Uh, Lopez has to have something else in hand that they can start using, because otherwise, that Zambira really wasn't doing anything. Just being a menace. He was just being a menace to society. He was being there all menacingly. That's enough. Charity's pretty good. Would Charity. have preferred, of course, to have a card to go along with it, but. I mean, now you get one of whichever one of the best cards you get for this situation. You're gonna have to your hand right now, which you also have to toss out two cards that also might be good for something else. Like Kaiko might be great, Jargree might be great, but then we're gonna slam the Potagree. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's nasty. <laughs> now you get two good cards to hang on to. I'm gonna see Duo activated now. That'd be sick. Shaggy's Ultra Instinct, I think, is activating in this situation. <laughs> it's happening. It's coming on. The Mystical Space Typhoon. Hitting the Delinquent Duo. Ooh. The Tribe. The tribe's going to go ahead and punch in for 16. And there we go. Destruction Ring coming up again. Another Destruction Ring play for game. I think Regular Ring would be fantastic as well. Right now. Now who plays that card? Here it is. Let's see if it's already have been uh it's already been used. Ring is already gone. That is not a that is not an option. Uh 
Let's see it. Let's see if if let's see if Shogun elects to attack here in this situation. Looked like Shaggy was uh, thinking on something. Might be a solemn, which I think would be fair to play here if he has it. Oh, then uh, gotta gotta you gotta measure. You gotta weigh all options because that just leaves you dead to any type of uh, revival. Uh, we are reconnecting. Am I lagging? Or is it still going? I can't tell. I just reconnected. Oh, maybe DB. Okay, yeah, it was Psalm. Okay, let me hit it with a refresh because I have. Yeah, it looks like Shaggy was uh, lagging too. Maybe DB is already shown to have some problems today. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not going to be uh, a thing going forward. All right, but I have just been booted from DB. I tried to refresh, and now I am, uh, I am connected. Man, sorry, sorry, folks at home. We have some, some technical difficulties. As oh, looks like Lopez also got disconnected. DB is going insane right now. They can't handle these plays. Hey, guys. <laughs> There's too much high intensity go format action. We can't keep up. All right, let's see. Hopefully, both players can get back in. I have since uh, I've, I'm getting back in now. It's too much go format. We can't take it. The servers are dying. Okay. All right, we're all back. It looks like everyone's back. I'm back. You're back. We're all back. Oh, and there it was. Yeah. So he did have the solemn, and it was the BLS as the uh, as the mega punish. These things do happen. This is go format Yu-Gi-Oh. If you did not know that it happens all right whoo man but out there if you're tuning in man tell me uh tell me what you guys are thinking if you guys are seeing some cool matches out there uh let us know what what what's happening i can only be in one place at one time so i can't stay tuned or, or abreast to the latest happenings um i got my bracket open um we're currently tuned in to uh, the winner's side, we have the Shaggy Moves Buckets by Night Powers, the Ultra Instinct team versus the uh, Extraterrestrial Intelligence team. So it looked like a Bones versus UI situation happening. Um, we are watching the Shaggy Powers versus Shogun Lopez. Uh, just checking out some more of the bracket. Uh, no one has moved on. We're still firmly placed in the winner's side round two with... Uh, a, a bunch of teams left. A lot of teams. Solidarity is still in there. We got the hands of Jim Henson, which is the AJT team. I know they got some funny names in there with Rabbit, AJT, and uh, I can't think of their third player right now. I could pull up the. And West 95, Big Bird's Fried Chicken. Okay. We got the Old Farm, Trinity, Team Assailant. Okay. Uh, Supernova, SPS. What do they got? Go that's, a, that's a team to look out for as well. I believe they are the Canadian team. Look out for the SPS. You know, they could be making some noise here as well. Uh, goats on a boat. Very cool. A lot of cool, interesting names. A lot of cool teams. All right. Yeah. All right. And we are back. Okay. So now we got uh, Shaggy going first, going and slam that grave that uh, Ninja Grandmaster set one and throw it over. Runs right into the delinquent duo. Delinquent duo is being played by the Shogun. All right, let's update. Uh, duo pretty rough. A card that's. Usually not that great against Warriors after they've had their first turn. But unfortunately for Shaggy, didn't have the nuts in his hand. Yeah, to just do the whole set, the whole universe, and prevent Duo from being uh, valid at all. Ooh, so Shogun's going to roll the dice punish. here, and it was punishing. A punishing dice roll there um, for, for, for that play. Did get rid of a mere force in the end, though, so it's not the worst. Even if it cost Breaker his life. <laughs> Shout out to Breaker. He did his job. He did his he did his job. But let's see, if you have like a if you have like a battle trap or something, you have like a Sakuretsu, maybe you just I'll be in night moves one. 
says Bobby and Night Moves has won. Okay, that so it has happened. Again. Shaggy does not have to. Yeah, this... Shaggy does not have to play out the rest of this match because his team appears to have won. Well, very fortunate, and it was a one-one. So that was. Uh no 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 he... Yeah, you can't. Gotta, uh, you gotta, you gotta keep moving. Tell, uh, if we, if we could reach out to those, to those duelists, tell them that, uh, if they want to do this later, they can. But in order to keep the tournament, yeah, there is no break either. They've got a match right after. Yeah. This. So, so I would, uh, I would. Yeah, it's, it's, it's on. Just keep this, just keep this party train rocking. But shout out to both of them, and for moving on and continue to continue to grind it and let's find it. All right, so now going back to the bracket, we got. Let's go ahead and hop in on. Uh, let's see some of this hands of Jim Henson versus uh, this Birdman team. Let's see if we can get Bird. I've tried to get Birdman on the stream a few times. He's one of the hottest players right now. Let's see what. Let's see what's going on. So we got a one. <laughs> I love this picture. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, so we got the Birdman Omega versus the Birdologist, which is I gotta I gotta crack the code, you know, to figure this out. Uh tch, 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 tch. Man. Uh Rabbit is the Birdologist okay, uh, ra- okay. the hands of Jim Henson's team. Got it. Okay. That's funny. I love that picture. That is that is funny. Oh, it's not looking. And Birdman is uh, Belarus Moth School, I think it is. Mm-hmm. Some crazy stuff. Oh, all right, man. This is fun. This and it's moving on. It's moving on pretty good. We might be. It's gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen at a relatively nice time. And I like these. Uh, I like that we get a chance to get some EU events. Shout out to you if you're watching this stream and you're from Europe. Uh, you know, make sure you make some noise. Let us know what what country you're from. Represent your European nation if you are. This is Goat Format EU in the house. I am U.S. based, West Coast. You know, so this still extremely early for me right now. Six a.m. in the morning. Still happening. Still have. We're still going strong. 6 a.m. No big deal. You know, 4 a.m. start time. We out here. Don't matter. And if you guys can hear me out there, is it still doing that? Uh, is it still saying that audio can't be captured or something like that? Is that that's not happening anymore? Is it? I think I fixed that problem. If it is, I'm sorry for that. Hopefully, it goes away. It should be should be done soon. Still side deck in here. Um, it's sounding like Birdman said that they had to you like get a call. We might have to give them a slow play warning in a moment here. My my mine a, 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 he, I think I had to use a bathroom. Did I mean? No, I, I think I think they made a joke. He had to use a bathroom. He had to take a he had to take a bathroom break. I think he. Even though you know this is a three v three tournament, so it's more likely you know for to make sense for teammates and stuff to to talk. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just bringing this up. I'm not saying that's what he's doing right now. But uh, we still have to keep this this all rolling, and we can't like let people, um, you know, take forever to do things. Right. Got to keep the tournament going as quick as you can. You don't want to be here for too long. You know, every every minute you give someone is a, a minute that uh, the tournament could be extended in the end. That is very true. That is very true. So I think he had to take a take a, take a bathroom break. He should be coming back soon. And we're gonna make it happen. Man. 
I will message them. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <sighs> Whew. Man. It's tough. It's tough. <sighs> Gotta get pumped. Gotta get motivated. Still early. Still waiting. I'm still waiting. I gotta get that. I gotta get. That. I gotta line that coffee up to when it's just right and it hits me at the right time. I think it's still too early to do the coffee because I think if I do one now, I'm gonna want another one about nine, nine or ten, and then I'm gonna be in here just super anxious and and shaky with the with the handshakes and everything. So I don't wanna. I don't wanna do it just yet. But we're gonna have. It's gonna have to happen here very soon. I'm dying. Dying. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this, uh, with this, with this side deck. We might have to, we might have to get something happening here. I sent them a message. I have to give them a warning for, for slow play here. I understand if they have to use the bathroom. I get it, a hundred percent. But at the same time, we have to, you know, keep it going. So even if you are using the bathroom, that's time in the match. Yeah, that's that's. Or just be, you know, you gotta be. Get in there and. Chaos Turbo your way in the bathroom. It's got to be a pump, like a pump and dump. Do we get in there and open open the valves and just flood and then come on back? Or, I mean, if you're a real one, man, you just 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 get a bucket, man. If you're a real player, if you're a real duelist, man, just get you a bucket, throw it under your uh, throw it under your desk or something and just, you know, do what you got to oh, do man. as you're... As you're <laughs> That's jokes. Don't Don't actually do that, please. Yeah. You know, for sanitary Please reasons. do not. For your own health and for <laughs> our mental health as well. Please do not do that. Just get you a nice little bucket, put it under your table, and just make it happen mid mid game. But now the birdologist is, is not done side decking. Uh did he get a message as well? Yeah, let's see. Okay, one moment here. Because they might have seen that they were going away and then they stepped away. But if they take too much longer, I gotta give them a warning too. I'm a I'm a back out of this. I'm a back out of this. I'm gonna go into uh Yeah, I'm let's go, uh I'm going to Cookie Cookie Monster's uh toilet, I think his name is. I'm gonna go check out what old Mr. AJT BLF. Cause I think that might be a, a I'm not and I'm not saying that anyone is uh anyone is doing anything like that, but I think, you know, it might be some strategy too to kind of just sit there and undefined. It might be my game is messed up. Let me refresh again. Everything is undefined. I can't be defined. Oh, no. Uh, is DB taking a dump? DB is... All right, let's see what happens. I mean, uh, I, think, I think we're good now. I think we're good now. Just good old refresh. Sometimes... Uh, Take a look here. Wow. I cannot. It's it's not there. Let's see. Uh, what's he called? Man, this is rough. This is rough. This is hard to do. It's. Uh, let's go with. It's not. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Is this? Well, I think. Yeah, I think. They're still. They're still side decking too. I don't know what is going on anymore. Up is down. Down is up. Everything is becoming everything. I can't uh, figure out what's happening. Let's see. What match are we trying to? I was watch? I was trying I was trying to look up uh look up the, the another another match from that that same team, 
but I think I think they're both done, or it looks like I can't I can't seem to find any of the other ones. So I guess we'll go back let's to this see. one, and this one's still side decking. Like, what is nah, going on? Yeah, yeah, let's go to a different game. Yeah. I think they're just literally not there. Uh, then we got uh, let's let's see. I pull my bracket back up. That's really weird. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's go check out. Uh, let's go check out SPS, one of the SPS teams. Let's see if we can see what uh, what's happening there. See what we got: Ptran, Loda Chode, or Devious Tactics. Any of those three players? Oh, Ghost Rider versus Devious Tactics. Let's jump in on that one. That seemed like it could be a good match. Let's see what's happening. We got Ghost Rider from Team Rampage versus Devious Tactics from the SPS team. I don't. Uh, this is oh two two ghosts two ghosts and a bird versus uh, versus SPS. I'm not sure what SPS stands for. If you know what SPS stands for, let let me know. It's got to be something cool. And they're one and one. Ghost Rider making a big push with the Thunder Dragon, bringing out the BLS and defense. Got the tribe on board. Thinking, looking like, no way that's a solemn, but maybe it's Desert Sunlight. Maybe Desert Sunlight? Desert Sunlight's the call? I don't think it is, but I mean, like, if that's a, a cyber jar face down, that wouldn't be the worst. That would be great if it. It is a solemn. It is a solemn. Okay, we're we're seeing some. We're seeing some burn tech here. You don't usually, as far as I'm aware, maybe I'm just not with it. But I don't think you usually see solemn and burn decks. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they can side it. Oh wow, big. A giant morphing jar here. Morphing jar resolving for the burn player is always gonna be gonna be interesting. I love to see it. And then he gets 16. 16 will connect. Bringing the devious tags down to 550. I don't know, man. I think people gotta start running destruction ring in their decks. That's considering that's, this, how, <laughs> how is, relevant it's been. This is the third time destruction ring would have been would have been game you know maybe maybe you got the maybe you got the spicy tech maybe you are the maybe you are the spice of life who knows <laughs> but i guess i suppose tremendous fire also would have worked level limit area b coming down switching both of those monsters to defense position I guess the Psalm is probably to punish other Solemns, would be my guess. True, and just to, just to protect your floodgates too, and you know, protect your cyber jar when you need that to go off, protect this thing. Ooh, wave motion cannon. Yeah. So, okay, might... I see it now. I see it now. Definitely. If you're running wave motion cannon, it makes a lot more sense to play Psalm. To just kind of keep it protect your floodgates. So maybe he's playing more of a stall burn strategy to kind of just protect the floodgates and uh ride it to victory i know ptran played a deck similar to this in worlds last year and it was very very effective so maybe he spread some of that technique over to his teammate devious tactics some kind of stall burn situation Yeah, I suppose the only thing that's even remotely out of place is the, you know, the that's been used so far is the panda. But panda's still good no matter what. I mean, still gets under your floodgates, still punishes the opponent for, you know, having monsters, <laughs> period. So still a good card even in a stall deck. We're going to set set five back roll or down one in hand a 
is this? Let's see. But if you're if you're watching this and you if you have the uh, if you know that there is hey man this is a deciding game or this is a winner take all type situation, make sure you bring that up so we can make sure we get that featured onto the stream. I can't, I can't myself and Necromancy for Kids can't be everywhere at one time. We want to get those high profile winner take all matches featured on the stream as as early and as often as we can. Or if you're playing this event and you want your game to be on the stream, or if you know someone and they, you wanna you wanna get them on there, make sure you let us know and we can uh, and we can do that. But no issue. And if you're here with us, bright and early, if you're U.S. based or if you're West Coast based, like I know Ghost Riders for sure, West Coast. You know, shout out to you for doing that. That's dedication to the game. But he's gonna go ahead and dust tornado this. Do you think you could? Pin the bracket into in the uh, YouTube chat. I think so. I think I can. I think I can. Let's see if I can. I think I can do that. All right, I'm doing that now. So if you want to check out the bracket, here is the link to the bracket. Oh goodness, that didn't. That didn't do what I thought it would do. Or maybe. Uh oh. There we go. Link to the bracket. So you can you can you can also follow this follow this thing as well. So Ghost Rider is going to go ahead and try to push in for damage, push in for game right here. Set one. I feel that there's something to stop this attack, whether it's the giant okay, rat. rat. He is a rat, and he is very large. El Gigante, uh, Spanish word for rat. Yes. I'm very glad that, uh, later on, I, well, maybe, I don't know when, but I'm pretty sure later on they printed all the recruiters at the Secret Rare in some set. Mm -hmm. Very happy about that. Giant rat and secret rare. One of the things I need to acquire. I have, I have a, I have, I have a play, play set of those. Yeah, I have a play set of those. A secret rare is mm -hmm. nice. They're not, they're not terribly expensive. You know, if you want to pick up some, they're not. They don't cost. They don't. Cost yeah, I just much. haven't, just haven't because uh, I don't uh, play in real life. Unfortunately, oh, all my man. locals. The only place that uh, was local, quote unquote, was. Uh, 45 minute drive there and now it's closed down so yeah i just like i said i went to a i went to a local last night it was about an hour and 15 minutes away from my house they do it like a once a month or twice a month and whenever i can i go up there we had 16 people last night it was pretty cool five rounds of swiss starting at 7 p.m which is just you know you can imagine how late that went we went all the way till you know 11 o'clock almost now to drive all the way back home. So it's, uh, you know, but that's the dedication you got to have. It's, but and, but playing, in per, playing in person and in paper is so much better. No offense to Dueling Book. I, I love me some Dueling Book. I love me, you know, the online thing. Great. But playing in person in paper is just unmatched. Much better. Much better experience, I think. I mean, it, that is the way the game was designed to be played. So you can only imagine. And there's that that rat. Elected not to attack it. Uh probably I mean get a little two hundred damage in there. Probably then, yeah. yeah. The they probably could have gotten the damage in because like you're gonna destroy it anyway unless they got like I guess they could have a ring or something to stop mm. that play. Got that magician of faith getting flipped by swords. Oh, we activating got, its effect. We got some spell cards to choose from. Thinking about it, heavy storm is an option this time. Also, graceful charity. Two really, really good cards in this situation. Let's see what the go. He did, likes to go with the heavy storm to kind of push in and get some 
get a game shot in because it's only got 550 life points left. No cards in hand. All right, I guess that's it. Thinking about you it, you have to imagine that there's a uh, solemn. But how many though? Down. You wouldn't. I think you got at this point. You probably have to have at least two. Ghost has gone through twenty. You know, twenty one cards in the deck. So I assume one of these cards is probably solemn judgment as well. Maybe two. So if you got one, you better have two. Let's see if how many have been played. One has been played by uh, the devious tactics. None by Ghost Rider, so I'm assuming that this Heavy Storm will be backed up by at least one Solemn Judgment. Yeah. It's possible not, because, I mean... Oh, Ooh, that's okay. It. That's just a GG. That's just a G -G. Not even, Not even letting them see yeah. what the face down just, monster is. Just GG and get out of there. Shout out to Ghost Rider. Shout out to the two Ghosts and one Bird team, I believe. Is that... I don't know if they're moving on with that, but... Uh, so, all right, where are we going next? Did they resolve this uh, hands of Jim Henson situation? Yeah, let's see. Uh, looks like they're not playing, so I think their teams either their match or their, their teams finished. Uh, oh, yeah. So hands of Jim Henson beats Belarus Moth School. So okay, yeah. So okay, so now, or now now that got resolved, they've gone they've gone on to Masters of the Yugi Verse. That's a cool name too. I think that's very funny. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. It might be easier just to literally look at the matches under watch and then see if any of them are actually teams. <laughs> I would, then rather I mean, than looking at what teams there are and then go from there because every, everyone in this event is pretty much playing everyone on the on the ladder right now is pretty much playing in an event in this event but i'm just trying to know trying to see like what the what the actual names are we can see necromancer sorcerer which oh, whose nickname okay. is necro which gets me really confused someone literally tagged me trying to tag him <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to pick one more on the winter side. Is there any more uh winter side games happening? Let's see. Uh, who's who's uh, Master, Masters of the Yugi Verse? Oh, Masters of the Yugi Verse. That's uh yeah, let's see if we can see what they're doing. Uh that's uh, that's Moxie's team. They did a little team team name change. The Masters Alethia, of the Yugi Verse. Moxie's and Lucas. Oh yeah, it would be good to get if you can. No, Lefty is not dueling. No. Nope. Moxie's isn't dueling. Uh what about Lucas? Lucas is also not dueling, so I think they just finished. Okay. Um let's... Or they just started. I don't know which. <laughs> this is hard. This is hard. Let's see. Yeah, that's uh... what I'm saying. Just grab something. Alright, let's do it. Um let's go ahead and throw in I uh, slicks and steals dueling. Oh, sorry. Go we got on. we got I, I slicks and purple drunk. They should be playing, right? Okay. Yeah. Let's yep, see. They're playing. Let's see what's happening here. Got to jump into a game. Uh, we got to jump into a game. We got to get some. We got to get some video. We got to get some people playing. And that is. <laughs> what course. do you know? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. As soon as we get in there, the game is over. All right. So it looks like. Uh, Purple Drunk has taken down game one. Uh, Purple Drunk on Team Pharaoh Servants. Uh, they Team Pharaoh Servants, one of the people, or rather the team, that won the drawing for uh, uh, $10 DB code for each member for submitting their, their team and deck lists on time. Oh, look at that. It they pays. Did a little extension. Yeah, pays to do it on time, fellas. And gals. 
Ladies and gentlemen of the goat world. All right, so we got the Pharaoh's servants versus No, no, that's that's uh, no, that's uh, versus goats on a boat. Is that is that licks. okay? Is that is that this team? Yeah, goats on a boat. Okay, so we are in the losers bracket right now. Losers bracket round two. Give these guys some some moral support. Oh. You know, I try to I try to stop saying losers bracket. It just seems so uh so demeaning. I mean, it's just a game term. It's not not calling them an actual loser. No, you are a loser. You well, well, have thank lost. You, JDZ. I, I guess I see how you feel about me now. You are in fact a loser. Dang. If you have lost. Okay, so another duo is coming down. I hate getting delinquent duos so bad. That card is just the bane of my existence. Getting turn one duo is just the worst. I feel you. I, it is a super hard feel bad card. Unfortunately, like, it's in the format. We're not we're not gonna ban cards unless I know. I know. It's really creates a situation like something like uh, empty genre is the only deck anyone plays and no one's having fun anymore. I think they said in that situation they would do a ban, but that is, I don't foresee that ever happening. So I would have, I, I, I just honestly, I, I blame Konami, I blame Upper Deck or whoever. When they first started banning all those uh, Magic Ruler cards, those really powerful Magic Ruler cards, I wish they would have just threw this one in there too. Like, why, why keep it? Like, what was the point? Well, it's because it uh, it stops combo decks from going on. Man, you can we'll figure out a way. There will be other ways. You can you can make it happen. Well, the the other way they thought of was to bring that confiscate, which I think is worse. Is potentially yeah, it's a it's a it's a stronger card potentially because you get to pick the card yourself. I don't know. And then we've got thankfully we don't have forceful sentry, which is just the ultimate. The the, the, the <laughs> you get both. And it sends back to the deck. It's like a <laughs> no life point cost, and it puts back the deck, so it doesn't like fuel graveyard synergies at all. I lived through all those times, man. Those are just trying times for a young, a young, a young man in his adolescence trying to play a game, living through the chaos, yada yada, the not yada lock and witch of black fours, and oh. And freaking Ooh. uh all that stuff, man. It was a mess. Oh, and look at that. Right on time. Oh. Dang, that's rough. Uh I remember my first locals at the library was actually um what's it called? Uh it's not advanced, it's the other one. Traditional? Uh traditional, yeah, yeah. traditional. But the thing is, it was actually balanced because we were all little kids that had no money, so there was no super crazy cards anyone was playing. So, like, yeah, there was Forceful Sentry, there was Legal Confiscate and stuff, but uh, no one played Confiscate, and I think I was the only one who had Forceful Sentry. <laughs> but uh, after that, that that was also in a, a deck that had like a hundred cards in it, so keep that in mind as no. well. See, I'm I, I was <laughs> I was I was borderline competitive in those days, but it's it was just very expensive to to play, and I wasn't very you know I didn't have a lot of money, so. But just still, in my in my local area, it was very competitive, man. It, everyone had like all the your deck was ba your entire deck was essentially a staple at that point. You had to have. Your all of it was already laid out. You had to have like it was like twenty five to thirty staples. Three mystical space typhoon, a mirage of nightmare, forceful century, confiscation, delinquent duo, pot of greed, change of heart, grace of charity. It was just mm -hmm. it was it was so bad. Imperial order, mirror force, chaos of a dragon, black lesser soldier. It was just crazy. I, Monster reborn. Like what are we doing? It was such. It was so vile. I'm glad they eventually did what they had to do to kind of. 
make that painful choice, no pun intended, to bring some kind of balance back to the game because that was a mess. Okay. Yeah, the local meta be pretty crazy. I mean, like, because um, even when we were playing advanced, you know, we uh, we uh, didn't have no, literally nobody owned uh, BLS. I didn't have it. No one else had it. So nobody played Chaos at all. Um, I think I played Chaos after, after like a couple tournaments after I, I uh, looked online and saw all these Chaos decks. <laughs> uh, but it was literally just Chaos Sorcerer. And also I was playing Giant Germ in the deck. <laughs> so that tells you local meta. I, I kind of missed that. It's fun. You could play uh, Jank, and and it was perfectly fine because that's all anyone had. It adds, it adds a little, it adds a couple of layers to it. So we got Purple Drunk. Did he leave or did he get cut off? Uh, uh, it's ninety seconds, so I think they got disconnected. I don't know, but that's game. Yeah, he has game on board. Maybe he just uh, was that a? No, he, he's in. He's in. Okay. Oh, he's clicking it. Attack and attack. Ah, okay. That's the. Ah, okay, okay. Double summon. Good catch on the double summon. Cause my, my brain missed that. I was too absorbed in in my <laughs> reminiscing, my boomer reminiscing. Oh, boomer. To be able to... <laughs> hey, you know what? A lot of people don't know what it was like to be there at those times. It was a it was a a, a Greek tragedy. Back in my day, we played Jank Jim <laughs> in our Chaos decks, and we liked it. That was a that was a, a, a Greek tragedy in those days, man. It was different. It was different. It was the Exiled Forest. The egg, I think I think Exiled Forest is the most double summoning card in our game. It just doesn't play like a regular monster card. So, I think it's just a spell card, like uh, yeah. like Time Wizard is. He's just a spell card. It's like another, like a Smashing Ground or something. That thing gets people double summon so hard with the Exile Force. Yeah, it's just because it leaves the field, so you forget that you summon something. <laughs> it's understandable. Oh yeah, have all the time. Oh, woo! I'm gonna have to break break my solemn vow and go coffee up. I might have to. I don't want to. That would be the time. That's uh, games just started. No, I think I'll wait till after that next, that next lull, lull in the action. Yeah, we could take a break after this one. Get me some. Get me some coffee. No, I'm not. This is no. We're going no breaks. I'm going solid. I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna grab me a oh pot graceful thunder dragon. That's just ouch, baby. Very, very ouch. Yikes. I mean, just duo. Just play duo as well. Why not? If you're just in a, if you're gonna do all that, you might as well just play duo as well. Breaker, a couple noblemen's. Just really, really send it. Oh man, the Ninja Grand is down. I'm gonna just pop the Sangin, the San Gon, the San Gon has been smacked. Uh, well, I was saying earlier, I, I kind of lost track when I was talking about Sangan before. It's such an unassuming card, too. Uh, I was talking about how in Japan it worked even when discarded right. originally. It had to change its effects that it didn't do that anymore. Same with uh, Witch the Black Forest. Um, and uh, obviously recently, uh, well, not recently, recently, but it got changed in the game again after it was forbidden for so long to not be able to use the monster that you added during the turn you added it. Um, or not being able to use the effect, rather, I guess. Uh, but... It, it was crazy. There's also another instance where it 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 was such a, a huge card that they had to change or rather uh, clarify the rules. 
but it exceeds monsters too because originally I don't know if this was like a misinterpretation. I don't remember the background for it, but people were summoning like uh, rank three Xyz using Sangan and then getting its effect when it went to the uh, grave. Yeah. And they changed that, right? They made it not do yeah. that. Yeah. I don't know. Again, I don't know if that was a rule change or if it was actually like it wasn't supposed to work like that, but people thought it was. I don't know, but field to graveyard. I mean, I I I learned. I'm learning. I'm trying to learn more about the the current game and the different summoning mechanics. I just learned about how to uh, XE summon the other day. Very interesting, cool stuff. That one was pretty easy to to grasp a little bit on my on my quest to start learning how to play the current game. Not going great. If uh, if if you play the current game, that's more well, shout out to you, Zach. Yeah, we just a lot of people think that just because we play GOAT format that we hate that we hate current format or any other format and that's that's not true. I'm sure that there are people who do. I mean I definitely know there are people who do. Um I don't hate most formats. I just don't I'm not interested in playing them personally. Um no, yeah, you know, I think I think if that's you want to play current yeah. I think I think that's More a power to you. I think that's a misconception. I think a lot of a lot of a lot of goat players mo, I would say more majority goat players play other formats. Mo, most mm -hmm. most goat players do. Uh this is I I, I I from what I understand I think I'm one of the only players I can think of that just specifically plays goat only. I I don't know how to play anything else. I would love to play other things. I've heard great things about different formats. And how cool they are, and the things you can do, and the lore and the history. But I just, I just never learned, and I would like to eventually uh, go that route and learn. But if you're if you're coming from the current game, goat is another thing to pick up because it's not very difficult. Um, it's always going to be the same. If you just need a break from whatever format you enjoy playing, I would encourage you to try to play goat, pick it up, keep it there. I mean, it, it's 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 a lot of fun, and it's going to be something that you can hang on to. You get burned out from that, just go. Try something else. There's a ton of retro formats you can get into, or current formats, or whatever you want to do. Just play and the game. The great thing about Go Format is, even if you do eventually burn out on it, you can come back a year later, and the pool's still the same. Yeah. Everything's still the same. Maybe people are playing some slightly different cards, you know, but you're still gonna be able to play that same deck you're using before if you really wanted to. Absolutely. But maybe got... it won't be, you know a good fit for the current meta but it'll still you know it'll still work uh, pur purple drunk kind of pulled ahead of this thing and just did not uh has not let up yet you got this sork downs up a billion cards a wing blast and stuff um and these these games also also do happen as well so uh but i, I slick's not giving up he's got this del delinquent duo that was set go ahead and drop it down to 600 going to rip the Night Assailant, yikes. Let's see if there's a spell, a, a flip in here. There's no flip. And the Serp. I'm going to set one, set two, throw it over. I'll be honest, all that did was set up another Chaos. Yikes, yikes, and yikes. Yeah, so that is... Uh... I don't know. I don't think that this is a scenario where you show the Solemn and then the monster. Cause... Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Because he's got, if he's, he's saying he can summon BLS, banish, solemn your attack. Yeah, it's kind of like a like a style out. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't like that personally. Personally, I think you just play it out and just just do just do what you're gonna do. You don't got to style on on your guy, especially when you if you're opening like this. There's no need to style. Let's just play the game and, and move on. You don't have to, you know, you don't got to do all that. It's it fine. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't trying to. Uh criticize necessarily it's more that uh you know i'm not saying like oh you you're trying to to bm on this guy now i'm not trying to say that more like um it's not directly apparent what's going to happen like you're going to have to explain sort of what's going on anyway so why not just take your turn and do it right you know? i no i i i, I, I the only reason i would disagree with that is because there's really no there's no play that um i i slickers could have made there there's nothing he could have done because he's got the BLS, he's got the Solon, he's got the attack. Like, the game is over. But I'm saying, like, just from a, uh, you know, 
a game a gamer's uh point of view i would say hey man let's let's just play it out you know especially when you open so strong you had such a good start you know there's no need because it kind of seemed like you're like uh you know styling styling on your opponent you know it's not sportsmanlike i would say but we're gonna go ahead and go into the uh, the masters of the yugi verse versus the hands of jim henson i think they're playing now let's see if we can get uh let's see if we can get alefia 2 on the stream recent gfc champion these sleeves are killing me man i'm dying uh, so now he's... <laughs> we're gonna, i'm dying yeah <laughs> we're gonna get uh the recent gfc champion the, the latest is is playing look like he is playing a warrior based strategy versus a rabbit with these bird sleeves on the hands of jim henson with the the birdologist is out here uh you know i think that's really cool these sleeves are killing me All right, so this is not losers round two. Let me update that. Ooh, got some some nice stuff going on here for Alefia right now. Oh wow! I'll see him playing warriors. Oh. You know, Alefia is known for for playing their uh, their decks. You know that. Uh, that have these crazy techs or that people don't really play very much of. But I think for this tournament, it looks like they uh, they don't want to potentially, you know, have their, their jank lose and then have their team lose. So I think oh. it looks like they go for more standard deck here. They say that until uh, uh, you say that until some it, something's going to something's in there. Something's something spicy is in there that's going to come out. And reveal itself soon. Yeah, I, I don't doubt that there's yeah, probably you're something see, spicy. You're gonna in see. There. You're gonna see something. Something in there is gonna gonna happen very soon. Something like uh, the band, oh, what is the, it? Theban uh, Theban Nightmare. I'm calling it. Uh, um, and Warriors, I don't know, man. I don't know about that no, one. No, that'd be a great that'd be a great deck to have it. You got the Theban out there, you burn all your stuff and bring them out. Oh, the Sork's down. Yeah. I don't know. Was it really worth it to summon the Sork now? Get your pluses when you I can. I guess I guess you can like, yeah, it is a plus. I guess also it means that uh that a solemn that you know Lefia top decks won't be live against it. Or if he brings down another. Oh, Chico. you know, I just noticed he was uh, at eight hundred life points. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, I guess that would be one reason to to be a little wary and want to get rid of as many cards as possible. Also, another another Kiko that goes to story will be pretty powerful as well. I've got uh, one of those Kaiku Ghost Destroyers. Pretty pretty cool card. I had it when I was a kid. Bring it to those tournaments. I had it in my Chaos deck. What is it? Is it is it Secret Rare? I can't. You, I gotta be honest. I don't remember the rarities very well. Um, it's rare, which is the the white, white text, silver text. <laughs> uh, then is it super rare for holographic and ultra rare for the, the, gold text, and then there's ultimate rare, which is the really weird foiling. Uh, man, I remember back in the day thinking I was super hot for having. An ultimate rare covering fire. That card is so bad, though. It's so bad. I thought it was good, though, because it was ultimate rare. I'm like, there's no way this card is bad. And Nitro Unit 2, that's one of the worst cards in the game. Oh, right. They got an ultimate rare. All right. It looks like uh Mr. Mr. Noodle, Mr. Big Noodle wants to come by and and say hello. I'll see if I can get him in here. He just texted me. He said he wants to come by and do some commentary as well. 
I, I'll take I'll take the help, Mr. Noodle. He wants to swing on in. Let's see if I can get him in here. Mr. Noodle. It's noodle time. Is, is Noodle's team still in the tournament? Um Fancy Soul Noodles is his team. Fancy. Oh, they got eliminated, unfortunately. So oh. yeah. Through no conflict the arms of interest. Of an angel. Let's see. How do I do this? I need I need to just I'm telling you, I feel like sometimes I feel like a grandparent. I feel like a grandparent trying to do trying to do stuff. Lefia just slapping their hand down. Saying hello. Ooh, there's that nasty mirror force. Yep, that's a, a filthy mirror force. Yeah, I think Alephia got a little over eager and overextended there. Uh... Yo, Mr. Noodle. <clears throat> hello. Hello, Mr. Noodle. How are you? Thank you for coming on and saying hello. We appreciate it. You and I are, we've had the same amount of sleep so far today. Four hours. That's all you need, man. Uh, anything anything yeah. beyond four hours is, uh, is, 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 is icing. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to yeah. sleep too much. Sleep's for the week. Sleep's the other guy's problem. How's, mm -hmm. how's your, how's your tournament experience? How's your 3v3? Uh, well, our third didn't show up, so oh, not the no. best. That's rough. Did they That's not rough. like show up at all at all? No, they're still not awake. Who was or it? whatever was it, was is it? going on. Who was it? Uh, Soul. Oh, no. Not like that. But it, apparently he was talking to my other teammate, uh, Diesel, yesterday. So mm. I don't know if he's just sleeping in or, or what's going on. So you guys were you guys were handicapped the whole time. Yeah, but... Uh, so we lost the, f the first one because of that. Um, pot and then the, the second match in Losers... We were reversing my old teammates, and they their third was also missing, and their third was supposed to verse me. So I actually got a match. I won that match because they didn't show up in time. SDL right. Killer, um, and then ours didn't show up for one of the matches. So it was all down to Diesel. So it was pretty much just, it was just one match: Diesel oh, versus Jinso Dude, and it was a close game. Went to third, third game, but uh, Jinso Dude. Uh, managed to get the win, so that's, they're still in it. That's 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 quite hilarious, though. Just to, you know <laughs> how that how that worked out. Okay, we got Jinzo. Speaking of Jinzo, dude, a Jinzo dude just got solid yeah. judgment. Uh, oh, oh, close! Get out of there, man! I am getting. He's lucky he had that solid yeah. for him. Jinzo is like super underrated, I think. Yeah, slept on man. Oh, especially in the against the Warriors too. He might have sided that in. Heavy's gonna pick up too, and then DD Warrior Lady is gonna get slammed, and that's GG. So nice. that is GG. Looking Good like game. it might have got reversed there, but Alethia pulling through again in the end. That's how it is. All right, so they're gonna take that game. Oh, get that out of here. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump into. Let's see if we can let's see if we can go into another one of that same match. Maybe we can catch the other one. That one seemed like it went pretty quick. We got Moxie's versus AJT BLS. It looks like. Oh my goodness! Look at <laughs> dude. This is, I love the theme. I like I like the teams when they do the full <laughs> theme and they got the whole situation going on. He's got the sleeves. He's got the oh man, Cookie Monsters toilet. All right versus and we saw Moxie's earlier. He's on the Warriors. AJT. Former warrior player, and now he is a. Uh, oh my god, another Jinzo! Another Jinzo! People are figuring it out. Good card. Jinzo is king. What? Oh, I think that's. I think that is. Another oh. uh, another scoop situation. I think this one has been decided. Um, based on that last one, I think. So I think the uh, Masters of the Universe or the Yugi, ugh, like man, these names are killing me. Duels of the Universe. What is it? What is it? Let me pull it up again. It's uh, 
Masters of the Yugi verse. There it is. I think they have. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think they have moved on, and they are going on to uh, the winners. Oh well, yeah, winners. So we got so far. I think I think we're almost to yeah. Wow, dude, this is this is almost getting to the top of the the winners finals here with uh with cold brew light ice versus the Shaggy Moves buckets by night powers. They're doing great. We got we love Shishi Koki versus Purple Haze. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's jump back into this Shaggy Moves buckets by night powers. We saw them earlier. They were doing great. Um, let's see what, let's see if we can pick a game out of that and jump in and see what's happening. Uh, we got Chief Wiggum versus Bobby Buckets. Let's hop in and see what old Bobby Buckets is doing. So Bobby Buckets is also playing Warriors. Like we have a Warrior versus Warrior mirror match taking place here. Breaker's going to come down, get that Torrential Tribute. Going to eat that. Big Splash. Solemn Judgment. Will we get another one? I see your Solemn. I raised you a Solemn. Hmm. No response to the Solemn Judgment. Damn, snatch still. All right, looks like Bobby took game one. <sighs> He's manually placing the spell and traps too, it looks like, maybe. That's smart. Or That's maybe smart. not. Oh, that was quick. We had a little laggage. That's, I think I'm going to start doing that, man. I want to I wanna do that. Just really, just really add to your, add to your uh, mental, mental assault on your opponent. Mm-hmm. Just plan them, plan them wherever you want them to be. Blade Knight getting coming down. Blade going swings over this tribe, cleans it up, 400 damage. Coming to the Bobby buckets. Upstart, Upstart and Warriors, man. That's a that's that's a wave that's taking off uh, in in recent in recent times. Yeah, it seems to be really good. And now we got another breaker. Breaker of his own. I guess the only downside I could see with the upstarts is maybe when you verse uh, burn with chain energy in the mm -hmm. main. That'd probably be the first guy out. Get that thing out of here. <laughs> uh, breaker is going to go ahead and clean up for 16. And he's got jar as well. So he's got some turbo warrior situation. That too. So pass. do you summon another monster? Well, he, uh, right. yeah. Oh, he's oh, going to tribute that, summon. That's okay, the that one works. you want to summon here. Yeah. <laughs> and that's going to be GG. So we're going to move to one and one with Chief Wiggum versus Bobby Buckets. This is the Ultra Instinct team. Bobby Buckets is a new acquisition to the Ultra Instinct Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling team. And Chief Wiggum is representing. Let me pull this up again. Sorry about that. I am... Oh man, somebody got to help me out. Oh, oh, here are all the teams again. Just so you guys can check it out if you can't see if you're looking at the stream. Uh, Chief. Man, where is that? I'm so bad. Oh my goodness. Okay, side deck and complete. We're back. The cold brew light ice. I don't. I, I don't know who. What affiliate that team is from, but that's who Chief Wiggins playing for today. Cold brew light ice sounds fantastic right now. I think I might have to go ahead and get one of those at some point. Breaker's gonna come out and get rung up immediately. Sixteen to the head and neck of Chief Wiggum. Cold brew light ice. Solomon Pot of Greed. I always love doing that. You got I haven't to. done it in a while. 
Yeah. You got you got to when you can, especially in these uh in these highly contested warrior mirrors. But now your life points are very open and fickle. Yeah, this blade. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he 2000. can boost. It's probably oh, gonna keep, gonna sixteen hundred. He's gonna keep it at six hundred. He's not gonna he's not gonna place all the stuff. Just two. Yikes! Snatch steel coming down. Will we get a dust tornado? Yes, we will. And we get one, two, blade on blade violence is going to occur not so fast. Widespread ruin sends that blade to the grave. And now we got game on board. Let's see if this will connect. Breaker's going to come down. Breaker will be engaged by the solemn judgment. Is this game? No, it's not. Call a Haunted will bring back Blade Senior. The beefier Blade. Blade 2. Blade Trinity. Big Blade. <laughs> big, Huge. big Blade Knight. Oh, but now they're equal. And Smashing has been played. Another Blade. Another one. <laughs> so do you attack here? A little oh, risky. Yeah. He's going for it. But yeah. How'd that live? Get that out of there. <laughs> That's gotta go. Top is going to be Rhoda. This is uh, also threatening lethal damage. DD Warrior Lady comes down and it gets bottomless trap hold. What? Wah, 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 wah. Air horns. You don't see that too often. Call a hunt, and that call a hunt is going to be game. Damn. GG's. Well played to both duelists. That one is going to conclude. All right. So let's see if we can pull up another one from that match. We got. We'll go to we'll go to I, I we'll go to night moves in, in Calvin. Let's see what night moves in Calvin are doing. Wow, they're all on this bottomless trap hole technology, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say I, I've been talking about bottomless for like the past m month or two. It's super super underrated. Um, yeah. one big benefit is uh, whenever they summon Breaker, you know you can kill Breaker. Mm -hmm. If it's a Saku, they're gonna get the plus one, right? Yeah. Uh, of course, it banishes, so they can't use Burial or Call of the Haunted on it. Also, it's one less light or dark in the grave for Chaos Sorcerer or BLS. Also, if a Chaos Sorcerer or BLS is summoned in defense mode, you can you still grab bottomless it. it, but you can't Saku it, right? So it might be it might be something, especially maybe coming in from the on the on the side. Yeah. Game two against Warriors specifically, I think that might not be bad. Might not be bad. Have you ever tried? Shiron the Mage. I used to play. I I have played Shiron the Mage exclusively. I love Shiron the Mage. I think that card is also, also another. It used to, it was heavily played for a time, like back back in the day, and then it kind of fell out of favor. But now it's starting to come back. I think um, it would probably get played a lot more if it was a dark, or a or a light. Yeah, this heavy storm is crazy. We got a solemn that, so that's forty five hundred damage coming through. Oh yeah, yeah. That earth, the earth, the eighteen is pretty strong. But, but then again, earth. yeah. I mean, I don't want to hurt the earth, mm. you know, dual, dualists out there because earth needs all the monsters it can it can get, you know. I mean, that'd have been a that'd have been a, a, a baller move if he just discards the pot of greed to pop the to pop the set. True. That'd have been funny. <laughs> no way you do Too that. Too much life points, be, though. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe uh, if it was. Let's see. Let's see how he does it. So Potter Greed goes off thinking about it. Hmm. Thinking about it. And he's just gonna bash in. Oh, 
good patience waiting on that waiting on that attack before using the before using the dust tornado. I think that could have yeah. backfired tremendously if a Mobius to Frost Monarch would have came down. But you know what? Well yeah. high risk, high reward sometimes. Could, yeah. If you'd have just tributed that thing for a Mobius then you just you're you're down horrendous. Nice delayed duo. I'm waiting in the main phase too. Sorry about that. I am back now. No, you're good. You're good, man. Take a break. Take take your breaks. Take your breaks as they are needed. Because I might have to take one soon. I'm going to fight it, though. I'm not going to. No breaks. I just need to get some coffee and some water and maybe so, some food. So is Calvin playing? Yeah, he's, he must be playing like an Earth Warrior deck, okay? Eh? That might it's not be just, it. It's not just a tech. Yeah. Or they're Yikes. side cards, I guess. That's very, very, ouch. very ouch. Ouch, baby. Very, That's, very yeah. ouch. That's so big because not, Assailant's so hard to get rid of, and he just got rid of two of them like that. Yikes. Yikes. The, oh, the tide has turned. 18 in, and that's, uh, that's, that's... Banishing your light, it just banish a Chiron. Okay. Could be an Earth Return deck. That could be it. The deck is playing. True. So I this don't is where I also play two DD sounds to be honest. Well, I play it in my beat down Earth decks personally. I play three. Berserk three assailant. Yeah, that's one card that when I was like in retrospect probably would have been good. Ooh, this is oh, that's a that's lethal damage. That's, yeah, that's that's over with. And that is the match. So we saw both Bobby buckets and Night Moves both win. So. The Shaggy Moves Buckets by Night Powers is going to go on to Winner's Finals. Impressive showing by the Ultra Instinct team. Love to see it. Featuring uh, featuring Bones. It's an Instinct, Ultra Instinct Bones collaboration making it to the Winner's Finals of the Go Format Europe 3v3. So shout out to them uh, for doing that. It's very cool. Very cool stuff. All right. Still a lot of pulse pounding goat format action taking place long day ahead of us yet we are now moving on to uh, we, we do have one team <clears throat> has found their way into the winners finals with uh cold brew light ice getting knocked down to losers um now we have i say we jump into one of the uh we love sheshikoki and purple haze have we featured purple haze today at all who is on the purple haze team or uh, there's Rava, the old fox for Snatchsteel. I don't think we've had Snatchsteel on stream yet. Let's, have we? Yeah, let's show, let's show Snatchsteel. See what he's been doing. Yeah, Rava on the Sheshikoki team. And of course, as as always, <laughs> as soon as we tune in, they are uh, wrapping up a game or inside decking time. All right, we have it here. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'd almost think that go format is like half side decking based on how often we've uh popped into <laughs> it, side deck it's it's good timing we got good timing just the past week I've, I've started to appreciate even more like how important side decking is it's really like 60 percent or or more of like if you win a, a match or not having the right it's one and putting the right putting the right stuff in not putting too much yeah that's crazy it's tough. It's a it's a science. 
That's the, that's the part I need to figure out. And it's one of the things for the longest time. I I never played with a side deck. Like even at locals, like I brought cards as a side deck, but I I never actually even used them because I didn't even I just net decked cards people used in side decks and had no idea how to use them. <coughs> but once mm-hmm. I actually learned how to use a side deck, I think that's in a very important level up to to gain. Which is uh, one reason why I made a video that's on the Go Format channel you're watching right now mm-hmm, on mm-hmm. how to uh, on the basics of side decking. It doesn't go super in depth, but it tells you, you know, good to have a side deck. Obviously, it tells you uh, a lot of the cards people put in their side decks. And I go into a little bit of an explanation of those cards and when to bring them in. It was just based off of uh, top decks. Uh, like the past eight tournaments as of that uh, video. So it's not like every card people side deck. You can look at the coverage for that information and figure that out for yourself. But it was just a basic idea. Nice. I like that video. I think I, I think I did watch that as well. Good video, man. Good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff on that channel. The GoFormat.com channel. Check it out. Anything Go Format, you know. And speaking of channels, there's a lot of people that, that make uh, Go Format youtube videos or any type of content creators i personally watch them all like if you're if you're doing anything go format i've seen you i will watch you i'll tune in so just continue to continue to do that stuff and i think that's going to be great to broadcast the game out and get more people to play because that's what i want i just want a lot of people to play more new people coming in people all the time reach out hey i'm new to the game i'm learning the game i like playing the game that's dope i think that's really cool and it's a it's a nice community as well. So that's really cool. All so right. we didn't get the information on what he what's in his hand. He didn't share it with us though. Un, unsat. Right. He knows. Neither one of them elected to reveal that information. Yeah. Keep your secrets. That's fine. That's fine. We don't need to know. We'll just make a, we'll make just wild assumptions. They both have the destruction ring in hand. That's all. It's want it. three thunder dragons. I, I, sorry, I, I might have given uh, give me some flashbacks, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, you still, I'm still, I'm still proud of you, man. You won it ha- opening three thunder it, dragons. Honestly, That's honestly, it ha- I think it happens. It happens quite often. I've met, I've met quite a few people who have done that. It's not. Yeah, it happens, man. You just gotta get lucky. You gotta get lucky, and this game is. A lot of this, I, I I say my take. I say that this game blends the line between skill and luck, you know, pretty pretty well. So you got like you have to be good. You have to know how to play the game and know how to do stuff. But you also have to have a good matchup. You have to have it's, good it's cards. It's a card co- game at the end of yeah. the day, so you have luck to have good cards come away. A factor. Absolutely. If you don't want any luck at all, that why are you playing Yu-Gi-Oh? It's a you card got, game. Yeah, you got you got to you got to move on. You got to go play play chess or something. That's uh one of the things too. I mean I, I mean, I made a whole video about misconceptions in uh, Go format, um, mm-hmm. but uh, that's one of the things too that reminded me about. A lot of people will complain about Pot of Greed, for instance, but I think Pot of Greed is actually like a good card for the format in a way, because it means that every deck can use it, even the weaker right. decks. Yeah. So like. The weaker decks still have a chance because they've got these strong cards too. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine with uh, I'm fine with Pot of Greed. I'm fine with Grace of Charity. I think they're fine cards. They're for for Go format. Maybe as the game <clears throat> as the game yeah, goes on, yeah. as as I as think nowadays developed. it'd be a good idea. Yeah. But I I I I think Pot of Greed and Grace of Charity are fine. I think the link with Duo is needs to needs to go. I hate it. I hate getting Duo first turn. It just makes it. And then when you combine Pot of Greed and the link with Duo together. It's just, it's it's really it just makes well, it kind of. Oh, I You activate after you get duo. Yeah, that's just rough. It might feel worse to get duoed, but it's definitely way better for you to get duoed than your opponent getting pot of greed. 
because of course you know duo they they're paying a thousand life points on top of that the card you get to pick one of the cards that you discard and you could have thunder dragons or serpents or night assailants yeah. etc right so, I, I, of... I would much i for me personally if my opponent's got to open one i'd rather them open pot agree than to open the lingua duo i could be by myself this is just this is the opinion of one because i i think the duo hurts me way more than it's you know the pot agree helps them a lot of the time i think dust shoot hurts me dust shoot's oh crazy. Dust shoot's strong. that's pain like oh. i i almost get upset like if they look at my cards too long it's like get your own cards you know <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah dust shoot is pretty strong i remember even i mean it's still played in like edison format even though i think it's at one but it's still a good card even at just one um i mean getting to see your hit opponent's hand is already good and obviously getting to put a card back i mean we're talking about forceful sentry the difference is of course that's a trap so it's slower than forceful sentry and also it requires the opponent to have four more cards so um but yeah i i brought up it's uh, in a, in a misconceptions video in the different video I think uh, that Pot of Greed it progresses the game versus um, and also it has, it has comeback potential versus something like Duo which it really just it it makes the game progress less because now your opponent has less resources and it's and plus it has the potential to dead draw which is you know that's a limiting factor like you know so it's not as overpowered but also that means that's worse for the person activating it too speaking of speaking of being worse for activation that mind control just did nothing i was just gonna say like he mind controlled the i assume that's the first one that that he set because it's in the middle usually you don't want to do that because that's they're going to be setting you know saying and serpent this has the bluff, yeah. I'd probably go off the other one. Yeah, but you never know. Man, that was just a that was just a whole neg right there. Hate to see it. Hate to absolutely. But yeah, I watched. It. I watched that video. I think that you, you also said in that video, if it was the same video I'm thinking of, that Pot of Greed enables like the whole control deck to be viable. Like it, it makes Magician of Faith and Pot of Greed, like that entire genre of deck viable. And if it wasn't for Trinity or Magician of Faith, like it well you would really wouldn't, wouldn't even be setting cards very much. It would all just yeah, be summoning. It's not that the, the deck wouldn't exist, but yeah, I, I believe I did I did bring it up. It definitely makes it more possible for that kind of a deck to work. Because otherwise you're just looking at one on one advantage and then eventually you're gonna you're gonna lose that exchange but we did see we had a no trinity tournament on the go from at europe discord before and we saw that control decks are still good because lo and behold uh there are still good traps without i'm uh, sorry good cards without uh the trinity uh good spell cards like snatch steel and heavy storm uh that give you advantage and of course that was a nice strict Still a good card, yeah. even if you don't have Trinity to uh, to turbo into it. Okay, okay. Uh, for the rep, for the record, by the way, in that tournament, uh, a combo deck won. So, yeah, didn't uh, didn't Matt Uber win that with Stein Steel? Yeah, with That's Stein's funny. Gate. That's funny. Wow. This is like the dream. Yeah, sack the Just, thing in. Yeah. For a Mobius. For a Mobius, it gets wrong. Plus two on a Mobius is getting rarer and rarer these days. When it happens, it's devastating. You know, I think a really a really cool move if you were to play Book of Moon and then chained the ring as well. Just for fuck, just for jokes. That'd have been hilarious. Oh yes, yeah, Silver. This is pulse pulse pounding. Pulse pounding goat format action. Yeah, that's what this is. I see you over there. And shout out to everyone out there in the in the in the viewers watching this early morning, waking up. All my this that's how you know if you're the if you're a real goat head, man. If you're really into this goat format stuff, you'll wake up at you know six a.m., five a.m. If you're in the states, 
you're European or Italian or yeah, European. That's still man, my brain is broke. You're probably having a nice leisure afternoon. <laughs> we're gonna call Go Fanatics Shepherds. Shepherds, shepherds? Is the plot. <laughs> she- shepherds. I like goat heads. Everybody goat. Yeah, there's something head. I don't know. Whatever. You gotta be really. You gotta really enjoy this game to wake up at at this time to get out here and play. Oh well, yeah. Again, we we started the tournament uh, at. 8 a.m. EST because a lot of tournaments are held at, at decent times for for uh, you know people in the U.S. but not really for Europe and so on go format Europe Discord. Obviously, we want to uh, to accommodate you know those people who can't make those tournaments normally because usually they run into like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. for people in like. Um, in uh, Italy and mm-hmm. such, so that's rough for them. And hopefully, this will not be the same case. I'd be curious to find out what percentage of the players today are from Europe, are playing in Europe. Uh, I'm sure. That. I'm sure that's something we can find out too. If we look at the players uh, that signed we could, out, I think, you I think could it's do... about fifty-fifty. It's not going to show for the players, but if you want, you could do like a poll to see in chat who's from Europe and who's who's not. Yeah, let's try. Let's see. Uh, let's see. This is gonna this is gonna be hilarious. Me trying to figure out how to do this. I uh, it might be easy. Uh, create a poll. Look at that. that let's see the poll is up <laughs> let's see it, what's happening out there i voted oh man dang i also voted can i vote hey, all three of us are the only <laughs> ones who voted so far <laughs> are in the poll no one is in europe Oh man, that's well, funny. it's just us three who voted so far. So. <laughs> All right, we'll let it sit there for a while. Oh, if it happens, it happens. You know, it's still early. I'm surprised anyone's honestly. I'm I'm surprised anyone is uh is watching stream or with the stream right now, because it is super early. Maybe it's the players trying to get some feedback of what's going on. But shout out to everyone anyway. Uh, so Sukiyomi flips the uh surf and going hmm. cracks in for eleven. And he has a Thunder Dragon that he could have Tribute Summoned the Serp for. I wonder if that would have been better. I don't know. I guess it's kind of a... Kind kind of a neg one. uh, Eventually, once they destroy the Thunder Dragon. But would do more damage and... Could get serpent back in hand for a combo. That could be. That could be true. That could be true. Or maybe he was playing for this thing. Maybe he wants to keep his. Uh, he knew this duo. Maybe. Uh, well, maybe that was around. Did he dust shoot? Yeah, I think he dust shot and saw that. No, that wouldn't make any sense either. You maybe the dust in the eyes. Maybe yeah. Uh, maybe uh, try to isolate himself from that a little bit. You do have to remark, of course, that both of these players are using heretical sleeves, but at least their avatars are uh, are go for that. <laughs> oh, the Axe Raider! I remember that guy. I'm surprised that like Axe Raider is one of the avatars that they added. They pick like some random cards, then they take away the cool ones. They I still have one of the cool cards. ones, like Axe Tiger. Like Axe I'd... Tiger, cool card, but like basically nobody thinks of Axe Tiger. <laughs> All right. So Sang is going to come down here and clear this in his server, or at least try to. I bet probably very few people in chat would be able to even remember what Axe Tiger is, unless they're a Joey fan. 
it's that I remember that I know that guy. It's like that. It's like a a really weird looking tiger with a with an axe. With an axe, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me guess. He's a tiger. Well, I was I was playing with I played I think I think I, I played Rick Lar and um, Obelisk, and he was on uh, his card sleeves were just like the default, just like the regular back, you know, mm -hmm. the back of a Yu Gi Oh card. And I had Caius, and he kind of convinced me to to not have Caius because it's not a go format card. And I never even thought about that. I was like, oh yeah, I guess, you know. And I like the simplistic look of just the regular card sleeves. Mr. Noodle, I have to ask you, are you in fact Canadian? Yes. I heard your accent, man. You let it slide. I don't you... know. It, no, I didn't. You're lying. <laughs> you, le <laughs> you let it slide, man. I I, I pieced it together. Oh, there's oh, the game. There is the Came match. Back. Oh, man. The BLS comes down, it double taps the Sangin for a game, and that is how it goes down. And there's the scapegoats, and he's probably got 16 mm. betas in hand. What? No, he has one. No metas. Era, probably. I don't know. And he goes, uh, Ecolo Key. Ecolo Key. Probably means about damn time. Where were you? Or something like that. Something like that. I don't know. I don't speak Italian very well. But that's got to be uh, something like that. Snatch so yeah, when yeah, the... I got Google Translate open here. He here says, it is. He says, I played perfect this game. Very humble. Very, very, yeah. Very, yeah. <laughs> I mean, That's still known for their humbleness. The truth is the truth, you know. Very, like... very humble duelist. You know, I love that. <laughs> I played perfect. You know what? Game. Very cool. Oh man, uh, it's right. a lot better than something some see, people have said. So, see, I usually say that when I lose. <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't say it when I win. True. Everyone's <laughs> like, "Well, I played perfect, but I lost." Dang. Yeah. So we got we love we love Shishikoki is taking on the Masters of the Yugi verse. Winner of that game goes on to play the Shaggy Moves Buckets by Night Powers in the winners finals. But let's see if we can uh while we wait on that to load up, let's see if we can jump down to let's I'm gonna go down to the losers bracket and check in on check in on the check in on those participants real quick. I got I got to get the I got to get the champ Alvarado on the stream at least one time before you know who knows before who knows anything can happen. Uh we're going to go ahead and jump down to the loser side and get the Holy Trinity Ivan Alvarado and uh and Nice Boy are playing on this team. Very strong team, but they got knocked down to the losers bracket early. Nice Boy versus Zazzles. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing. I, I got. I have uh, Alvarado, and oh, okay. uh, Alvarado and a uh, Splevin. Splevin. Okay. Yep. Splevin. Blowback Seven. Dragon. That's a good card right there. Underrated. So it looks like we have some type of Monarch situation versus Warriors. Beautiful, beautiful. You see the Soul Exchange. So we got some control in here. I love it. I. I played the uh, Soul Exchange deck for a while and a couple tournaments too. Like two tournaments. And this like back Dragon. Monarchs is actually really, really strong against the Warrior deck, especially when they got the main deck decrees going on. It's got the Berserk Gorillas going on. It's one to one currently. Yeah, I beat uh, Lucas with uh, that deck because, uh, well. Uh, Snatch Steel and Brain Control are very powerful cards when your opponent's paying 4,000 life points for Solemns. everything. That's yeah. why we even saw SDL Killer, I think. The deck he used that um, that one, that largest GFC we had, I think that was uh, that had Brain Control on the side. I think so. I think? That's a that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty uh pretty tails and, wow. and hills. Okay. No. Miss. 
Oh yeah, so Mateo Ooh. Mateo says Ecolo Key means here it is. I knew it. I knew it was something like that. Something along those lines of like, man, where were you when I needed you? And now you were show yourself here. So nice. And how's the poll looking? Poll's looking. We got it's about it's, it's almost half. We got some Europeans. Yeah, there's, there's some Europeans in the chat checking us out. There's a lot there's some fifty nine percent US based in the chat. Very early morning wake up. Duel is getting there, getting their getting their viewership on. Love to see it. So we didn't see Snatch Steel on uh, on blowback. So I guess uh, this magnet is working a little weak today. Because <laughs> almost Snatch every time, the Snatch Steel magnet. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and meta the blowback. Yeah, why did that... almost guarantees a win here? But he had the Road of Decree up already. Maybe he's trying to play around Book of Moon, perhaps. Book, yeah, book. And now you can get another uh, another normal. Uh, interesting. Well, the Rio. Oh yeah, I guess. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. there we go. You can get reset your reset your thing and get another effect in. Yeah, maybe he has scapegoat. Maybe he sided scapegoat. You never know. I I. With that premature, it's going to stay. Let's... Yeah. Uh, now, now he now could see the future. <laughs> he knew. He knew it was coming. Scapegoat. And that's GG's. So Splelman with the Monarchs is going to take down Anthony Alvarado. Um, I'm not sure of the remaining uh, matches of that. Uh, of that match, wow, man, whoo! Oh, I need this. I need this. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Oh man, my brain just completely just said, "Nah, not today. You're not. You're not. You're not Let's doing see. it like that." Alfredo, day two, four, and Zazzles are other members of the team. Yeah, let's go. Let's go throw in. Uh, let's throw in Zazzles. I like the name Zazzles. Oh, that's a cool name. That's a cool oh, good name. Matanza nice. the Zapper. Oh Very man, cool we got turn. some double tap in here, or is it just a spicy tech? This is uh, well, is I do see solemn, so I don't know. Actually, I, I'm thinking this is a gear freed, gear freed deck with a. Uh, that's my guess. Gear freed yeah, with that's a Matasa splash. That could be it. With some uh, blast with chain and whatnot. Well, he's gonna eat this okay. TT, and that's gonna be a ends up end up being a an even exchange, right? Or one, two, three. I can't, I can't, I can't even think about doing math right now. But he gets the uh, same effect. Yeah, because Sangan replaces itself, yeah. so it's basically like it doesn't leave the field, quote unquote. But you lose the you lose the TT, the Mataza the Zapper versus one Blade Knight, so that's a. Still a neg, right? But you were oh, gonna, yeah. You were gonna get plus off of the uh, blade if you had no other defense. But we're thinking about it. Uh -oh. We're thinking about the uh, torrential tribute. It's looking like they got some lag hit by doing book. It is taking them a while. It might want to just hit F5 on there, the browser. F5. That makes me nervous because some, sometimes when I refresh, it I go back, I'm not in the game anymore. Yeah, I mean, it, sometimes it does do that, but it's, uh, it's better than closing it and then getting Time disconnected. Out. Oh yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you, Ronnie. I hear you, Ronnie. Man, I just procrastinate. He says he's tuning in because he's trying to procrastinate, and not go cut the grass. Nobody's trying to cut no grass, dude. Nobody's trying to, especially on a on a day off. Are you kidding me? Waking up on a Saturday to go cut some grass? That grass can die for all I care. <laughs> I, I try to I try to keep my I try to keep my front my front good, but my backyard is just a disaster right I'm now. I'm gonna inform them to just refresh their browser. Hit them with the refresh. Hopefully, they don't have to play with their imaginations. I had to do that a couple times. Yeah. 
Make... Just for like one one two turn, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was a I think a token was on the field that I couldn't delete, so I had we had to just pretend that there was no token there for the rest of the game. But you gotta, but for these for these three v threes, you have to be incredibly. Uh, you have to be like I'm, and I'm not I'm not accusing anyone, especially not in this situation. I'm just gonna, I'm just making a statement, not generalizing or accusing anyone. I'm not being accusatory, but there are situations. In which it is your, it would behoove you to play a little slower, especially if you find yourself in a losing position and your teammate has already won. And now you're just waiting on your other teammate who is in a winning position. If you kind of just slow yourself down, don't lose. You know what I'm saying? You can well, just. Well, here's the thing that doesn't actually, it doesn't actually benefit you. It's so much. The benefit is if you uh, like get to have someone, quote unquote, coach you. Which, uh, mm. you're not lagging too hard if you can type in chat though. I'd ask them to refresh the browser, but they haven't done anything yet. So a couple of seconds here. I'm gonna give them a, a warning. Oh, there you go. Now they're getting a, now they're getting to move on, but you know what I mean. It's like, I, I again, I I don't I don't want to accuse anybody. I'm not saying you know one's a cheater or or trying to bend the rules or corrupt or anything like that. I'm just saying that is something to consider if you are, you know, hey maybe oh if I could, like if you're if you're if your guy already won, I don't know, but you would have to so. If, you would have to depend Sorry. on the other guy. You would have to depend on your third guy to be winning as well. Also, having somebody coach you, like like for me, it doesn't help. It literally yeah. I play way worse. I make a bunch of mistakes like cuz I'm second guessing myself and trying to listen to what they're saying. It just doesn't work. Yeah. So, um, but for some other people, I guess it might. Or or um, yeah, or if you or if you're do if you are being coached and they coach you into a misplay. That's got to feel so much worse than you misplay them on your own. Like I can like, yeah, especially and, if there's, if there's like a controversial, like, Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, you should definitely do this. And then you definitely do what they said. You should have definitely done. And it's definitely not right. And then you lose because of that. You're like, Oh man, well, if I would just did it what I wanted without your coaching, I would have been better. So I, I would say yeah. it's probably better to I'll, not be coached. Also when you're a, uh talking with somebody and co who's like coaching you or whatever um you're not going to be thinking that far ahead as much i mm. think because you're going to be thinking about like okay this play what should we do here what's the optimal thing with this card oh i think i should do this no i think you should do this me and you're kind of like bickering for a second meanwhile if you were by yourself you would have already been thinking six turns ahead or mm. six moves ahead by now you know instead of thinking on this one card which doesn't even really matter that much um it's interesting. Nice way. So he has Deco and Blade of Night, or <laughs> Blade Knight, and he has Sinister Serpent. That's interesting. Uh -oh. So we got we got Zazzles is he's probably playing like a uh, this could this could actually just be a uh, a turbo deck game two. He just brings in more warrior beef. That could be what the situation is. Yeah, I, I've been siding. Mystic Swordsman level two in my chaos decks, mm. um, so he could be siding in Blade Knights. Yeah, Blade's instead. great. I mean, it, it, can, it can kill flips. It's light. It's got a body. It's uh, cool looking. Yeah, I guess it might even be a better choice because oh, it looks like this match doesn't matter anyway. Apparently, because uh, the other two already played out their matches. Uh, let's see. Well, they don't, they don't even need to continue playing then, right? Yeah. Um, let me see here. Yeah, because Les just messaged them and said you don't have to finish your match. So I'm assuming that means they already finished the other ones. Oh, yeah. Holy Trinity has been defeated. I did not. I didn't. I didn't see that coming. That was one of my teams. I had a. Uh... I had pegged for not pegged. I had uh, pegged. I guess pegged, pegged for, uh, for winning winning this whole event. That was a very very strong team, and to see them go down that way, very unexpected. 
Very I would have voted for Masters of the Yu-Gi-Verse. Masters of the Yu-Gi-Verse was up there as well as a team that I could see doing well, and they are doing well. The Shaggy Buckets move by Night Powers, I thought they could also do very well, and they are doing well. Uh, I also had that, that Fancy Soul Noodles, that team was stacked. That team was rock, like, man. They all <laughs> they all would have showed up ready to play. If know? only all of them showed up. That one, one of them yeah. missed you never, you never, you Did, never know. That happened to you last three v three too, didn't it? Where I think you ended up sleeping in because of a problem with the the, the schedule timing. Yeah. But I think I, yeah, I don't know how you remember that, and I don't. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I was, I was <laughs> the one running the event, so. All right. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna. But I I did show up for the second match, d- right. didn't I? Yeah, I believe you did. We're jump we're jumping did. back over to the uh, to the winner side. Uh, we have the Masters of the Yugi Verse versus uh, the We Love Sheshikoki team back in the back on the stream. Winners uh, semifinals. Uh, let's see if we can get. We haven't. You said Lucas is playing. Yeah, Lucas versus. I'd like Nancy. to see yeah. him. Let's get a let's get a Lucas. Uh, he's a, not. No, Luke, he's not live yeah, now. Lucas the heretic. Lucas, or, we're jump. We're jumping on Lucas the heretic. Oh, he is. Okay, there we go. We're jumping on Lucas the heretic and see what he's got going on uh, versus uh, Mr. Perfect Play himself, Smash Deal ninety two. Love to see it. Yeah, this is another team I had. I had uh, slotted to make an extremely deep run. Uh, we love Seshikoki. I, I mean, there was, was a lot of teams in here that could that could. Were, was situated to to win this thing um a lot of teams had players i didn't i didn't recognize so that's always good to see new uh new duels coming on to the thing that that you don't really know jumping into the online play there's always a lot of trepidation and you know people like to people like to you know kind of hesitant about playing online because it's, it's a lot different than playing in person so Seeing more people kind of come. I've never on, played on a game. Goat Forum Matt, uh, game in, in person before. Really? You're missing out. Yeah. You're missing out. I want to. You, you're mil- you're really missing out. It's it's so it's, and this is this is this is, as as no cap as you can be. It's much better. It's significantly better. The game is meant to be played in person. Hmm. I can't. I, can't. Well, I mean, yeah, they did design it with that yeah. in mind. That that this <laughs> and and I'm it's this is it's meant to be played in person. I got just like I said, I just went to a local yesterday. Had time in my life. Played all the way till eleven o'clock at night. Loving it. I loved it every minute. How many players? Sixteen players. Five rounds of Swiss. Nice. Yeah, I have a local Yu-Gi-Oh shop, but they don't do go format. Gotta make it happen. You gotta, it's a really gotta, small. It's really small. But I, I, yeah, I haven't been there in like ten years. But I guess if I actually went and I could organize, yeah. Meeting with the Don, I uh, guess to, hard, yeah, to get smart. This. Hard read on the the Golem Sentry. Clearing that with very the, nice. With the the Ninja Grand. Golem Sentry finally getting the respect that it deserves lately. Yeah, paper, paper ghost is ghost. I, I, Ronnie, I, I agree, one hundred percent. It's, it's, it's un, unmatched. And also with the, you know, the, the dueling book. Shout out to dueling book as well. You know, it's a, it is what it is, but it, it can, it can at times. I'd be remiss if I didn't say it. It can get very toxic at times. It can get very impersonal. I mean, it can get very like, almost like you're playing a, uh, like NPCs sometimes because people are so rude and it's just like some of the crap that goes on. Um, but in person, it's not like that at all. It's you know people are talking, I people mean, are. I'm sure there's some locals that unfortunately are like that, but no way. There, I don't. I don't think. It's, I don't think. People, it... I think generally people at least try to to act more civil in person. Yeah, I, I, damn, he's getting a plus here. Getting a getting a rip, hitting the thunder oh, dragon. Thunder dragon. Reminds me that just randomly, a lot of people forget that Thunder Dragon is Thunder and not Dragon type. So they try to discard it and then use uh, Super Rejuvenation on it. It's like, no, that that doesn't work. It's not a dragon. 
Let's see if we can uh let's see if we can get that plus back with the snatch deal if that goes through. Execute. You know, I the fact that Golem Sentry is becoming more popular, I guess that, that does make uh Grandmaster even better. Oh. I usually just like to play one Grandmaster, but mm -hmm. people were playing like two or three and now it's making even more sense. I think most people though are using Golem Sentry in place of Spy, so mm -hmm. kind of the same. But either way, yeah, it's still a good card. I mean, it's funny again. I bring up the old days when I was young. I played Sasuke, Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, in my Warrior Chaos deck, like year, like a year or so after. Like my first actual deck that I made for a tournament. Um, and people were saying it's really bad. You should never play more than one if I'm ever going to play any at all. And it's like, well, look, look at it now. Yeah. Dang. Just like uh, back in the day, people on the forums were saying, no, 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 Magic Cylinder. If you're playing that, even against decks that are playing Solemns and everything and paying all their life points, never play it. It's a horrible card. And we see people siding it against decks with Solemns and such. It's funny how, how things changed. Mm -hmm. Or at least I also could have just been in a very uh, crazy community. Yeah, your community sounds sounds intense. I'm not going to lie to you. Just based it on what you was... Think. Oh man, one of them was the Yu Gi Oh! Uh, the cardmaker.net uh, forums, which are still up, but barely anyone uses them anymore. I guess there was a mass exodus or something. But, uh, okay, here we go. Solemn, Solemn, Solemn. Solemn War, State of the Game, the State of the Game, presented by Solemn Judgment. I see you, Goat VO. Bones rules, he says. Bones. Team Bones rules. So, no way. I don't. I don't. Uh, uh, Bones is pretty good. I like Bones. He Shout didn't. Out to Bones. What? What? I'm confused. What do you mean? What? He's solemn, solemn. Well, okay. No, okay. Sorry. Well, I guess that you know, Blade Knight negates uh, Knight mm -hmm. Assailant. So I guess that's yeah. I guess that, that okay. It does make sense. Yeah. So they can't flip summon their thing and get the flip off. Yeah, and you're gonna get another little. Well, you could get another 1,000 life points, too. Also, you could get a Breaker. Oh, here it has the Breaker. You could get a Heavy Storm MST and just get it back without uh, attacking it. The Grandmaster. Very true. And, and, and there's a situation where we saw where Gotham Sentry unfortunately doesn't shine because we see these these big warriors with yeah. their their fat two thousand attack points slapping yeah, slapping think, these golems unfortunately I if think, it one think, had uh, existed yeah Go Golem Sentry is terrible in, versus the warriors it's not good in the warrior matchup this is game one I'm pretty sure he would take those out going game two and beyond but go yeah because you got too many two thousand attackers too many ninja grandmasters too many level twos uh. Yeah, snatch the snatch. And he's just going to assume... Nobody's going to... Yeah, Mirror Force is already gone. Yeah, only 2,300 life points left. But it is going to get its effect. It would. And that is... Least. That is game one. Game one has been secured by lucas lucas the heretic oh there we go oh man Woo. excuse me yeah i actually got a warning on that forum by the way for saying that <laughs> it's okay to use magic cylinder <laughs> that was the weirdest those were some crazy mods but um Another, I don't even remember the name of it anymore. There was another forum where they had like a chat room back when chat rooms were a thing. Uh, now everyone just uses Discord. Um, 
uh, and I used to duel over the chat room. We would literally just type what we play. It was the craziest thing. You That's just had crazy. to trust your opponent wasn't cheating. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm gonna end the poll. I'm gonna end the poll. It looks like, it looks like we are at about 50-50. So there's about 50% or half and half are in Europe. Half are in other places, not mm. Europe. Shout out to the European. I've been, uh, I've been, I've been to, I've been to Germany before. Yeah. I've been to Ireland briefly, just stopping over. I stayed a had a layover there. I want to go to I want to go to Italy at some point. I want to I want to see more of the beautiful continent of Europe and all the lovely countries that are there. I want to be a part of that at some point. I need to travel some more. We'll make it happen at some point. For sure. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Merk. <laughs> you crack me up, man. You know, people should be afraid that Lucas is playing more because uh, oh, it <laughs> the tournaments get a lot harder when Lucas <laughs> is playing. I would agree. That was a you might you might have saw a tiger a tiger just show up. Tiger axe just appeared on the screen briefly. That was not your imagination. <laughs> that is something that happened. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Oh, talk about a fist oh, nice. Just, just a real quick little, <laughs> a blinking you missed the Easter egg that just happened. I don't know how that went down. There's surprisingly multiple arts for Tiger Axe too. Like Kazuki Takahashi must have really liked Tiger Axe. He did say that his one of his favorite cards to draw was a, a Panther Warrior, which unfortunately is not in Goat because it is in the same ten series mm -hmm. as a uh, Exarian. The universe is our universe, not the universe. Uh, we got a we got that's my... one card I wish was unleashed, but you know, it is what it is. The format is what it is. You got you your, you got your unfriendly Amazon. Did you see that? Unfriendly, I don't think those are they're not comparable. Uh, I think, uh, I think Panther Warrior is just better. Unfriendly, it's Amazon, dark, like, so kill, it not... wins. I don't think Panther Warrior like kills himself if he can't do it, right? I think I friendly am uh, actually nukes her self. Yeah, yeah. Panther Warrior can at least be a two K wall. Yeah. If you absolutely had to, I'm not saying it's a good card, because uh, I don't think anyone would actually play it. I would, except for me, because I'm insane. Um, it would be cool though. Yeah, but this, this is this. These are the games that I'm talking about. So we got Snatch that he comes out. He's got the pot duo. That's just brutal. Just look at no at no fault of his own. Lucas is just already so far behind. And the Freaking. normal He's... summon GK spy. I've never yeah, that's oh, great. That's I've never cool. seen somebody normal summon spy without attacking. Well, he didn't have the chance yeah. to yet. Oh, that's that's but how I'm you catch saying. up. Look at that. That's how you catch up. If you're gonna if you're gonna get pot duoed, this is how you wanna res respond to that. This is how you want to snap back. Yeah, you are right. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. Probably would be indicate that there's a book face down. Yeah, it's got to be a book. Uh, Something. It's got to be a book play. Uh, just trying ring. not to get knocked. A book or a ring? Let's find out. Because you yeah. definitely don't want to let this attack go through. <laughs> Hopefully it's not Jar of Greed. Yeah, whatever it is, yeah, you're that... gonna, whatever it is, you're gonna have to do it now. I'm hyper I'm thinking punish. so maybe Mirror Force, and he doesn't really want to use it. I mean, no, it's got. It's got, it's got to still got to use it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> book, yeah, book. Your, oh, it is a ring. Okay. Wow. Oh, it was a ring. You're right. There we go. You win. 
one uh, goat dollar. <laughs> Yay. Redeemable nowhere. If I had one dollar for every goat dollar that I had, I'd have one dollar. Didn't see the spicy my body is a shield in response. Unfortunate. People are playing that card down. We gotta keep Oh, and here's, here's the all-powerful trap dust shoot. So he had some great cards as well. I mean, he goes pot, graceful, into the dust shoot, getting full perfect information because there are no set cards on the field. So he's going to know everything on that access to all the all the tips and tricks that Snatch Deal maybe want to want to want to pull off. That's rough. Did he pick a card? And I wasn't paying enough attention. Yeah. So did he, he put back a Thunder Dragon, maybe? We didn't see what it was. Yeah, we didn't get to see. So I'm guessing it was a Thunder Dragon. He listed T-Drags, which I don't think so. Well, how many cards are there there? Five. And yeah, oh. so it wasn't a Thunder okay. Dragon. Hack T drag snatch soul exchange heavy. Yeah, not much you can really do with this hand right now, unfortunately. Got some typing in chat. Why twice? Eh, it doesn't matter if he does it twice or not, but I, I'm i one of those people that uh, is a conspiracy theorist that sometimes shuffling once doesn't work. Uh, but realistically, I would not expect someone to do it twice. I'd, I'd bet money that it works every single time. <laughs> not much money. Hey, I'm, I'm not saying that but... it absolutely doesn't. <laughs> or does all i'm saying is i i i uh if there's a one in four billion chance that it doesn't i, no, I would but, uh but some, i, I think i it. think there was a, there there is like a like a theory that if you <clears throat> and i think it's been disproven or you know unproven or whatever is that if you play death shoot and then you send back and then you shuffle just once you get the same card back again most times, sometimes, or if there's yeah, a percentage like, a, or like right now, there's a one in thirty chance he gets it back anyway. So right. it's like it's there's a chance. It's not impossible by any stretch. But I mean, it's uh, easy to test. Just, you could do the solo mode and just. But I don't think I don't parts. think it, I don't think it works in solo mode. I think it has to be like in that doesn't make sense in a uh, in either on yeah, the on the, the network thing. like For, on it might it might have something to do with like on the on the i don't i don't know I, this is just a theory it's it's all it's all uh it's all it's tin a foil conspiracy hats. Yeah. theory of course it's not gonna make it's sense. not yeah come on it's a it's a tin is my tin foil hat situation it's not it's not it feels true you know you have empirical evidence okay, you can prove hold it. on i would think someone just pointed out that snatch steel did not take damage from rain so i will message them and let them know okay now, and now, great call. Thank you, thank you for keeping us honest, uh, Nicola. Everyone, we're all we're all judges here today. So if you see something, say something. We're uh, one. It takes a village. That will not change the game state at all. It's uh, it's something that you know it just happens. You get caught up and you miss you miss things. No issue. Easy fix. That does make a big difference, though. Like it doesn't right now, but it will yeah. later. Decided, I guess, that he didn't want to take the fourteen hundred. Or did he? Technically, I'm not a judge, but technically, yeah. I am. You are. You're the 
you're the judge you uh you're the judge you want to be in the world go ahead and discard the judge i want to be you can everyone's a judge we're all judges thank you i've never judged anybody in my life i'm judging you right now for saying that mm. <laughs> judge free <laughs> no. i'm kidding So he discarded um, a nobleman, they, which is kind of crazy. He probably got some absolute Elsie units left in his hand. One. He's probably got some really good cards at his disposal. Could have Mystic Swords in level 2 in hand as well. Oh, man. I just remember when I was playing my Soul Control deck, someone literally had uh, Mystic Swords in level 2 in hand, reinforcing the army to grab another after I duoed it out of their hand. And then they had uh, Mind Control, and they had uh, Call the Haunted and Premature Burial to bring back Basic Swords of Level 2. So literally, I was <laughs> I was setting cards every turn and getting them destroyed, even though I was getting rid of Mystic Swords of Level 2 every turn. Hmm. It was crazy. <laughs> and now we see the Snatch Steel normal summon now the question is is this a bluff the, uh, and it's thunder just dragon. uh a just thunder a, dragon, just yeah. a thunder it's probably just a thunder i would assume thunder for a, a tribute hey, set. if it's not that's good for a snatch steel yeah there we go now it could be dark dust spear i highly doubt it's they were not that. impossible it could also be Nobleman, Eater Bug, or Hadehane. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure this is a Thunder Dragon that has been tribute set. I want it to be a Guardian well, Sphinx. That's now. too obvious. If it's got to be something, that, that seems unlikely to me. Let's get, yeah. let's, get a, yeah. let's get a Guardian a Guardian Sphinx in there. I mean, he did play uh, Trap Death Shoot, so I'm pretty sure he knows perfect information of what that is. Uh, they Drew one card since then, so. Oh, that that was the Guardian Sphinx. Never know. Yeah. Not sure. Probably with the noble man eater bug, from. keeping it fresh. Oh man. Yeah, I think the... they 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 have had two draw steps since then, so. The the nude the nude bot is back. Oh man, we don't want your nudes, man. I'm sorry, unfortunately. We do not need those. Get them out of here. Shout out to you, nude. You should play some goats, man. Maybe we'll see what happens. Uh, oh, Unless you're right. doing Yu-Gi-Oh cosplay. Yeah, we don't want to want that. We'll think about it. But Oren 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 Orandalum says no shuffling thing is 100 percent always double shuffle. That is true. Add, add, I mean, I don't know. If you believe believe what you want, add uh, add some viability to these conspiracies. But I think that might be it. Might be accurate. I've seen it happen to me personally. I've seen, I've, I've done it. Like yeah, it's happened SUV. to me. Yeah. We were like, uh, for one of the uh, Cypher specials, we were doing testing uh, for like, uh, to see if library was still an overpowered deck, despite the, uh, the changes we made to the, like the, the rules. And uh, every time that uh, chopper put a card back with, uh, <laughs> With Dust Shoot, he always drew it again despite shuffling once. So that's where that's where I started to be a believer. That it happened. <laughs> and that's gonna be game. This is going this to is not Oh wait, possible. sorry, it was sold sold. Okay. Yeah. Lucas can't lose, so Yeah. He was... Yeah, why what? didn't uh what, oh, what no. happened? I... Why didn't they attack? I think. Uh, I think. Hmm. Did he? I don't know. Am I missing something I, I think, here? Yeah, we were. I think I was. I was deleting the. Uh, I was deleting the nude. The nude X Y Z. Oh, Ronnie, Ronnie points out. Oh, that's Xyz. Okay, so they're nude Xyz summoning on us. Okay, I get it. That's why they, they, <laughs> they can't be in ghosts. Got it. That that makes sense now. So. I I was paying attention. I I missed what happened. I saw him summon. And he just didn't attack. Because 
Soul Exchange was used for the the Thunder Dragon. So that's right. He sacked the Thunder Dragon for Mobius, and then what did what did Lucas use the Solomon? Oh, did he main phase two? Main phase two, the Mobius. That's I guess? possible. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, everybody. Yeah. Buster Dragon. Uh, nice. Okay. Oh wow! See, all I know. Ooh. Wow, Mikond. And I mean, I guess you just swing for a game. Yeah. If, yeah. if the back row's real. Like I said, Lucas got one. He's okay. not. Uh... Just needs a seventeen hundred beater now. To what? Okay, I guess makes sense. Yeah. I can't tribute. Even though now you know it's probably well, he might not have any normal yeah, summon might, cards he might, now. He might know the hand again. No, that, that's how that shows no. the, the the power of trap death shoot and how versus how that card is because he knows uh, still he still has some information based on the cards that have been played and he might not be able to normal summon anything and just has to hold this Sukiyomi or just bring out the Black Lotus Soldier and just win that way too. I think that is or Chaos Sorcerer. That is always hard to good. believe that this is a card they printed at common. That's insane. That's insane. This card, the com uh, this, this card, the, this, this card, the common while insect princess is an ultra rare in the same pack. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, insect princess. And while invader of darkness is a secret rare and while wild nature's release is a super rare. Well, Wild Nature release got some use eventually. It though. did, but it's Wild Nature release is in no way, shape, or form better than Chaos Sorcerer. It's just not. It's just not even. Yeah, I wouldn't say so, but no chance. This is going to be a crazy comeback from Lucas. Flip summon that face down soup. Drop the sort. Flip it over again. Attack! Attack! Just hope that I mean, it could be a DD Warrior Lady, unless he used it already. Yeah, it could be a Warrior Lady. Could be. I highly doubt it's a second Dom. Uh, it's probably something with a thousand or less defense. So Suit could probably kill it. Um. But do we? It's do definitely we dare... a DD Warrior Lady. It can't. It can't be DD Warley. I think if it's DD Warley, he probably crashes there and gets it out of there. No. Thunder. And then now you get a. I don't know if it's even worth it to summon a Thunder Dragon here. Well, if it is a DD Warley, how much defense? Sixteen. It would just attack 16. and banish. Let's see what it is. It is DD Warley. Good call. Good call on the DD Warley and. Honestly, banished. probably should have just banished anyway, because like, uh, well, no, oh, no, just sorry, you just sort, yeah, sort, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort I'm an just idiot. Kills you. Somehow, <laughs> somehow, sorcerer uh, did not come into and our game. That's GG's. Oh, it's just game two. That was game two. Like I said, Lucas wins every single tournament that he's ever played. That so. can't be true. The, the, I, that, that's 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 not true that's that's, that's a, a bit that's a bit far fetched. <laughs> and uh, every tournament. <laughs> and a little a little on the jinx side. I mean, you're just jinx, you're jinxing this man to no end right now because no, now I, I can see the future. He's won. He are, he's won this uh, one already. Oh goodness, no, that can't be true. No pressure, yeah. Lucas. No pressure. But Mister Mister Noodle, the noodle. The very large noodle has jinxed you to no win, and now you have to win. Or everything I know to know, everything I've come to know is a lie. This is all just part of the plan. He's trying to give Snatch Seal some false confidence, so he pushes too hard. You know. I just want to see more. So he misplays. I just want to see more perfect play. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think there is a. I don't. I don't think Snatch Seal is capable of misplaying. I don't think they're capable. I don't think the possibility of a misplay is, is present. <laughs> Do 
Dude, we saw Snatch Deals running blowback dragon already, right? I think so. I think he's on. Uh, it looks. It looked like he's no. Uh, was that this game? Was that Snatch Deals game? I don't think it was this game, but I thought we sub watched them earlier. They had it, but maybe I'm wrong. I honestly, I, I can't. I can't remember. I know I, I, he might be like a. Like, I think so. Yes, you're correct. I think he's playing like a, like a soul control monarch deck. I think so. I'm still kind of up in the air of whether or not uh, Thunder Dragon's really good in those decks, but it does make me get a light, so you can play BLS pretty easy. So it's hard. And plus, like... I think... I'll keep going. And that means you, like, increase your count of, uh, of uh, tribute monsters without truly, like, having them be 100% quote-unquote dead draws because you can always discard one to add more. I don't know. I always play Thunder Dragons in my Monarch decks. In a way, it's like a weird version of a Monarch where the advantage is having it in your hand instead of on the field. This is quite the start. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a whole, that's a set five, throw it over to the opponent situation. That's, this is just hurts. disgusting. Yeah, that's huge. Number one card that destroys these control decks, these soul control decks, is uh, is this card right here, the the dust shoot, which somehow I in an interview that I did for uh, my deck tech for my zombie deck, I called it dust trap shoot, and I, I feel like an idiot. I had like that's, that's again. A, I think that's a that's a very a lot of, a lot of people say that a lot of people say that that's a very common. Uh, I, a lot, uh, that's a very common uh, mis mispronunciation, I guess you can call it. Dust trap shoot. I I always get it mixed up with uh, dust tornado. Am I the only one? Dust People tornado. People keep calling it just dust, which they probably shouldn't I think, uh, because I of think, dust tornado. I think just I think just shoot is appropriate. I think I, I say just shoot sometimes, but a lot of people say dust trap shoot or. Yeah, dust trap shoot happens a lot, or uh, for Phoenix, Phoenix wing wind blast. A lot of people say just you know, wind blast or wing blast. Wing blast is well, the it it it's wind blast. I know it's it's wind blast, but a lot of people say wing blast. <laughs> I, I say I, I say it. wing blast. Just cut the wind out, you know. So much so, like even when I'm going in like into dueling book and I try to type in, I try to find the car and I type in I type in wing blast. I'm like oh. Dang. Dang. Told you. Dang. Even when told you, you. Even when you lose, you're winning. It's he, all. <laughs> I told you he wins. He can't lose. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. All right. Man, GGs. Shout out to shout out to both of those players, man. I, I really hate hate the how we keep picking the games that are uh, the ones that don't seal it. Yeah, it's literally a <laughs> one in three chance, but it keeps every time to it keeps us. happening. Um, let's see. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Do we want to go on to the uh, to the winners finals? We got yeah. the winners finals taking place. We got We got to watch that and got some good people that I know and love. The Ultra Instinct Yu-Gi-Oh dueling team is doing great. We got Shaggy Powers, uh, Bobby Buckets, and Night Moves in there. Um, have we seen Night Moves? Yeah, we watched it. We watched Night Moves. Moves. We can go watch. Uh, let's, let's go see what. Uh, have they started yet? Is it underway? Is it underway? Has it happened? I don't think they've started. 
I think they were just probably waiting on waiting on Lucas to get done and get out of there. But that's where we're at. We're at the Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Yugiverse, the team consisting of Moxies, Lucas the Heretic, and Alephia 2 versus Night Moves, Shaggy. Uh, they're taking a break. They're taking a break? Okay, right on. Uh, let's go down and see uh, who, who are we looking at next. Any uh, any any hot matches, viewers? Anything you want to see? Any any dope matches that are taking place? And it's three degrees of dark wifey Travers Trinity, Pharaoh servants versus Ale champs. I'm assuming it's Ale. I don't remember. Uh, Purple haze versus trio. I I gotta mispronounce this. Mayale. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I don't have we. I don't think we watched anyone from the three degrees team. Let's give them some. Let's see, Bed, Paul, Hell, and Lilith are the three members. Um, they're um, team uh, three degrees of dark waifu trap. Dark. Uh, let's see. What what were the names again? Uh, dead, Paul Hell, and oh, uh, other oh, the usernames Morbid Angel, Hall Hell, and Lilith. Hmm. I don't think they're playing. Doesn't look Hall Hell is playing. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to check out Hall Hill versus Stand here. And what do you know? What is the chorus as soon as... Oh, man. Man. This is not pulse-pounding action that I was promised. This is uh, the opposite The opposite of pulse-pounding action. This is... It just ended. It looks like it just ended. Well, okay. <laughs> all right. I guess I... Uh, all right. This is just happening to us. This is very, very difficult to to find somebody that's playing. Let's see what we got. Let's see what's happening here. Let's see. Let's look at Pharaoh's servants, maybe. I really want to stick to this winner's bracket. Are they gonna are they gonna are they gonna start? Did they did they mention they anything? They said they're taking a break, so how long? I guess they have nothing but time. Like what's the point of going on and just sitting? Uh, everyone's saying they want to take a break. Yeah, and they said that the timer for match loss, game loss, will start at 11.50. So, so I don't know how to say Fox's name, but Fox is giving them the, the chance of the break. Got purple Drunk, Proud Frog, and Red 12, I guess? Red XII. Uh, on Pharaoh's servants. Let's go to let's go check out some Pharaoh servants then. Let's see what we got here. Proud, purple and purple red. Drunk, gold for my Latina YouTube. Is that the is that I the think. username? Purple drunk, gold format Latina YouTube, and red twelve. R E D. They're not playing. I think literally. Probably just finished up. Oh my goodness! This is yes, they is, uh, is, not them. Is there yeah. literally any game that is currently underway right now? I well, the try. three degrees of dark waifu they're playing now, right? With two against two ghosts and a bird. Yeah, let's go. Let's we're going. We're going. To, let's see. Uh... Let's look at matches that are being played, and then just. Zazzles is playing Rava the Old Fox. Yeah, because I'm typing in Ghost. Ghost's not coming up. I type in Yada. Yeah, they haven't started yet, I guess. I guess people are just camping out. It's so early. People are taking their mid-afternoon lunch nap break or morning morning break. I'm about to... Let's see. You can watch Zazzles versus Rava the Old Fox. Let's see Zazzle. Let's get Zazzle back in here. Zazzle. Oh, Zazzle's one. playing a cool... He is playing a Gear Freed. You're right. Whoever called it Gear Freed last time. Zazzle's is definitely playing the Gear Freed. 
technology. Patting yourself on the back here. Whoever called it is right. Gear freed. <laughs> well, Ooh. I guess Zazzle's, now that I remember, Zazzle's always plays Gear freed. Ah, okay. All right. And Gear freed, oh my god. I mean, I say everything is underrated. Uh, and Gear freed is one of those everythings. Gear freed is really good. Free. Can't be, can't it's, steal with snatch can't steal. Can't be snatch stolen. Yeah, they can pop face down and face up monsters and spell and traps. You're talking with the uh, blast with chain. Yeah, so it's like uh, you know, so it's like it's good against warrior and chaos, like right off like game one. <clears throat> and that's the end of the match. Well, I mean, we tuned into a. <laughs> oh, I think it's dude. just a bad. Well, look, Gearfried won. Oh, that's look awesome. at that. That's that's fun though. Gearfried taking it off. Got it? to do what Joey couldn't do versus Merrick. Man, that is just great. Like our timing is the opposite of imp impeccable. It is very peckable. Our timing is quite peckable. Man, we just can't seem to get a match. Is anyone playing? Is there Shout a out to Merrick, by the way, for being biggest scum out of Hall Hell universe. is playing. They just started their game oh. against John Wick. Let's go. We're tuning in. We're tuning into that. We got why can't I see it? Oh, there it is. Got it. So we got Hall Hell. Woo! John Wick. All right. So we got two ghosts, two ghosts and a bird versus Three degrees, Three degrees of dark waifu trap. So there's a lot of numbers in there. Three degrees of dark waifu mm -hmm. trap. That sounds like a cool band, like a band name. Coming to a show, to a stage near you. Three degrees, dark waifu trap. Playing their latest song. You sack me, bro. Something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Dark waifu trap. That sounds like the a fictional band name in like um uh uh what's that movie oh my god i don't know <laughs> sounds like a genre to be honest scott I'm pilgrim versus the world uh, that's the one i was thinking of yeah sounds like a Band name that would be like in that a movie like that. It's a good movie too, by the way. Have you seen it? I I have. I've seen that movie a long. Time. It came. I've seen it a while a while back. I yeah, don't remember. Not it though. seen I've the movie, but when I was younger, I did read the comic. And you haven't seen the movie yet. You should mm -hmm. watch it. You should watch it. When I first watched it, I actually didn't like it, but then I rewatched it, even though everybody else did. It's like universally loved. But um, yeah, I rewatched it in like 2017, and wow, it's really, really well done. So John Wick's on the Regeki break. Here. You guys got to cover down for me just a brief moment. I need to step away. This game just started, so now I can take a little sure. take a little merienda. Early BLS. <laughs> I'm a fan of using Torrential there. I think that's good. I saw somebody Dang recently man. have the, like essentially the exact same situation and they didn't torrential just hoping I don't know that they would draw a snatch deal or something but didn't happen fair enough didn't get punished too hard for it either with just a sangan summon yeah 
wasn't like a reaper to rip a card or something like that. You know, I was actually thinking that Chaos could probably... I, it's probably been tested before, but I am guess I think they could play like a Premature Burial or a Call of the Haunted because getting back a BLS or a Sork could be pretty big. And this BLS is available, you know? It was not mm -hmm. solemned. Yeah. I mean... I always just play those cards anyway, despite what everyone says. But I, I understand the theory of why they don't, because, like, I gotta return a, a Thunder Dragon from the grave. But, like, the potential, the ceiling for what you could do with it is pretty high. Yeah. So, yeah, since everybody, a lot of people are playing Burn, I think uh, Regeki Break is might get more popular now because it was, you know, Wind Blast for the past, like, couple months. And now, you know, Regeki Break actually destroys a lot of the important cards in um, Burn. All right, sorry about that. If you heard any access noise i'm back now but temporarily on the wife food team they got some heretic sleeves and heretic hyper heretic avatar people out here with the the cyber dragon avatar playing go format here's the thing when cyber dragon came out i and it came out on the 10 because Lord knows I was not ever going to get it pulling packs. Uh, but when it came out in the tin, I, I loved it. I got it. In retrospect, though, I understand. I understand the pain that uh, that the, the game uh, had to suffer for the Cyber Dragon. Outclasses every single normal summon that you can make pretty much. And it's a special summon. Yeah, it's... That's... Yeah, the and fact that it has 2,100 attack, I think that's that's crazy. Like, it should have, like, 1,800. Yeah. And it's funny, because, like... I think they didn't... They didn't think it through very well, because literally, like... The support cards for it initially were, like, Cyber Laser Dragon, Cyber Barrier Dragon... They were expecting like the normal, the special summon to just be like part of its gimmick to like do these stupid things with it, but hmm. but uh, it's just overpowered on its own, and those cards actually stink really hard. Cyber Laser Dragon is just so bad. Cyber Barrier Dragon is even worse. I still like the like they look cool though. To be honest, they look cool, but they're so bad having to play like basically like you tribute i think cyber laser dragon you have to tribute two cyber dragons i think that's crazy no one's gonna do that and its effect is bad even something like it destroys a, once per turn you can destroy a face-up monster with less attack than it and it can't attack or some ridiculous thing like that. Imagine tributing Cyber Dragon for that. <laughs> yeah. Cyber Dragon doesn't exist. Yes, we should we should talk about real cards such as uh, Chaos Sorcerer and Pot of Greed. So, Hall Hell is one with the 
Cyber Dragon profile picture, but then he's using the Chaos Sorcerer. So now we're waiting for John Wick to drop the Cyber Dragon. <laughs> well, just gotta play Fiend Mega Cyber. I highly doubt John Wick is playing any any text like that whatsoever. <laughs> Oh, nice. Discard the Serp. That's a good follow-up. I was gonna say, like, you can't really saw on that. Unless, unless you had Pot of Greed or something in the graveyard. Or in your hand. Yeah, I actually, not in your that. hand, I guess, right? Because he's gonna attack it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, doesn't do much good in the hand. I still remember. Oh man, that reminded me when I used that great phantom thief to force the opponent to discard pot of greed that they added with their magician of faith. They were very not happy. Yeah, I used to think that card was, like, super underrated. Now, not as much. It's probably still de okay, but you gotta, yeah, kind of build the whole deck around it, I think. That was the punish for not waiting for them to use the counter. True. True. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge misplay, right? Why would you do that? Probably or wait, think or wait for them I... to attack, right? Yeah. Which wouldn't have changed anything, but still. Well, I mean, they wouldn't still have this counter. I mean, if he attacked first, and they, like, yeah, that's true. That's but, true. But, but, but yeah, the other, the other way, yeah. I mean, that's a big misplay. Unless there's some theory behind it that I don't know, because pretty sure every time I would wait. I don't really have to shuffle, but might as well. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I ended up only costing him 300 life points in the end, but just something yeah. to keep in mind for all the viewers and such. John Wick still has a ton of life points, too. Yeah. It's the power of Upstart Goblin. I remember when I was a kid, my sister would play Yu-Gi-Oh! with me because I had no one else to play with at the time. And uh, she thought that Upstart Goblin gave her a thousand life points when she played it. Hmm. And I was a stupid little kid, so I had no idea. I'm like, man, this card's overpowered. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my deck, the deck that I played for like ever. Uh, since like 2009 to 2014 it was uh, re reverse burn or whatever like nurse reficule and gift mm. cards and upstarts so upstart kind of has does did that in my deck I didn't gain the life points but it inflicted a thousand every time I used it I used that deck quite a lot back in the day I used it I tried it out before nurse was a thing but the deck was hyper jank, and then Nurse made it so it was at least just competent. You know, I think now with all of the like information that we've learned just over the years, I think it's a it would be a lot better now. Like, I think people back in the day just didn't really know how to use it as well. <clears throat> Oh, all right. I'm back. I'm back. Like, Sorry. like oh. me. 
I sucked back then, so I was the, one of the people using it, and I was not using it to its full potential back there. All right. So what did I miss? It looks like came back in time to see BLS come out and do some BLS activities. Is that is that the highlights of what's gone down? And yeah, and you just got a morphing jar off, so that's gonna even it up. Where to see a morphing jar? Hopefully I was muted. I, you guys didn't want to hear what just happened off screen. Nope. I, was I mean, yes, you were muted. Okay, I was devouring some some sustenance here. It's getting pretty hungry, you know. Well, we have to share with the class now. <laughs> and this is not winter side, right? This is loser side. Let me update my. I gotta figure out a way to get this automated to where it just updates on its own or something. There's gotta be some kind of some kind of machine that can do this for me i think we just saw a game right there no i think it's four cards it's a decent amount uh oh just two now for this turn That's a faith. You know, he should probably not flip it. I bet it's a faith. Ooh, mirror force. Oh. Book of Moon. Ooh, book of Moon. <coughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Or is it like a deco? No, I mean Snatch isn't live either. Sorry, my sorry about the excess noise. My my coffee machine is on its last leg. It is. So it was a torrential. So. Oh wow! Wow. And it was a deco. Uh, grabbing yeah. both mirror force and torrential off of that uh, morphing jar is pretty good. That's yep. crazy. Have them both get maximum value for both two. But, but still, uh, another Sork. Well, we get another, yeah, and that's, that's it. Yeah, that'll do it. That's crazy. What a wild ride, though. What a wild ride. Good game. I like that. I like that game. I like some back and forth. I like a lot of. High, high thing, high, high, very high roll things happening. Things are going down. Morphing jars are going up. Oh, dude, I left and I'm just getting spammed this whole time. Dang it, dang it. All right. How do you get that to stop? I wonder. How do you get those? I, I don't see that happening anywhere else. No, I've seen it happen in other places. It's on YouTube. It's everywhere, dude. It's oh. insane. What are you talking about? The bots. The, the bots and chat. Spam. Oh. Oh, that's me. Are you nude HD? That? Yeah, that's my alt. Oh man. Oh. Can you can you stop? Oh, can you yeah, stop yeah. spamming us with your No one wants your adult sites, okay? Okay. That's who's, my bad. Who's clicking that? You never know. It's gotta <clears throat> be some crazy stuff like it looks at your demographic and then Sees that you're streaming, and then yeah, because I think uh, I, was, I was looking at some of the demographics and like the goat format YouTube situation, and it's like ninety nine point nine nine to nine nine and then the nine nine percent male age, you know, twenty one to thirty five or something like that. Yeah, it it's not true analytics though, because my Google account sent to age 70 something and it didn't say uh <laughs> that <laughs> that uh anyone in that age group was watching so i don't know it's not 100 percent. it's got to have some sort of uh, fault in there but... well actually that makes it even more accurate because oh. they could tell that you were lying oh. <laughs> <laughs> well i appreciate that you don't think that i'm a 70 year old man thank you Drunk on that says JDZ is the best goat tuber hands down. That is not true. I am a guy 
who is just out here. I am not. I think it's true. That's think cap. It's true. Fake, fake news. Oh man, I got the duo and the mind, mind con. If this is faith, yikes, baby, very yikes. Let's see. That would be very fun. Let's I have see. not seen duo used twice in a long time. Yeah, in the baby. same turn. Let's see it. it. It's pretty much always GG when you use duo twice. Hey, when uh, JDZ opened three Thunder Dragons, <laughs> Dad, why are you talking he about got that? Duo twice. That, 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 it's have... great. It's great. You won. <laughs> that was luck. I was luck. I got lucky. Well, he got it singing though. So he got set... double duoed after he <laughs> drew three Thunder Dragons opening hand. And he still won. I got lucky. I it's all. It's he all. got lucky drunk three thunder dragons. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it, it depends on how you uh what what you consider what you consider luck. Is luck always going to be good, or is something that happens not. to you that's very rare still lucky? Like if you get struck by lightning, I would say that's pretty lucky. Unfortunate, but it's very uh, it's very uh not likely that that is uh that that is something that well, would happen it depends on if you get magical powers from it oh that's true because when i was a kid i was convinced that one day i'm gonna get struck by lightning and then i'm gonna be able to wield lightning uh when it's I was, gonna be awesome when i when i was a kid i was fully convinced i was going to fall into a pit of quicksand and die at some point in my life i was i was terrified by the idea of quicksand it's never too late. It's never too late. I still you if you, see, if, you uh, if you catch me anywhere near some quicksand, <laughs> I'm I'm out of there. When I was a kid, there was a quicksand in our backyard because we had a huge swamp. I'd move. Like we had we had a bunch of like we did move, but uh, <laughs> we we had a huge backyard. But it was because it was not very expensive because it was all just swamp. It was horrible. It's not even like a cool swamp where there's like, you know, uh, like uh, like crocodiles and you go crocodile hunt or something. It's just um, a bunch of rattlesnakes and beavers. That was all there was in that swamp. And we got rattlesnakes in our house like every other week. Uh, so we left that house. Look, That's mind control actually did something. That's crazy. I don't think mind control is that good. It's like every time people use it, they hit say again. Or people serpent. are playing around it these days, game two especially. All right, but hey, I think I, they're about to start the winner's final, and I think it might be appropriate if we jump out of this game and jump into one of the winner's finals games. We don't want to miss that. That is the winner's final. We can come back to this one. And uh, and and, sure. and do it. I think I think that would be. But shout out to both of those players. I'm sure it's going to be a, a dope match. They got a good match going on. Uh, two birds, two two ghosts and a yada, and three waifus. Damn, I can't remember the name already. I'm so bad at names. I'm terrible. Three degrees of three, dark waifu trap. Three degrees of dark waifu. That's a long. That's a long. You got you got to see. It is a long name. All right. So who <laughs> we want to see? Who we want to see? We got. Uh, I kind of want to see Shaggy and Moxie's. I kind of want to see, but I'm by. I, I want to watch that one too. I, I love both of these players very much, and they're just getting in too. We got to tune into this. All right, so this is it. This will be fun. Shaggy said, "You guys are live on the stream. Everyone's tuning in to see some." And it's funny in our, in our winners finals, we have uh, we have the the Ultra Instinct team, and we have this Rampage team. Six on six warrior deck action. Everyone's playing warriors right here. So if you like warriors and you like warrior mirrors, you're in luck because this is uh this is what's gonna happen. So I expect this to go full helmet very, very, very quickly. Um Moxis gets to go first though. Let's see how it goes. Got my first cup of coffee coming in too. I'm feeling great, feeling motivated. The sun's starting to come up. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good now. I'm getting ready uh, to try. Just a triple cheeseburger here from from Moxie's to start. Yeah, not, not a, a full, full whopper. Not a full. He didn't. He can't, he can't go full whopper. That lets us think. Hey man, maybe he got two monsters in his hand right now. The full whop. 
See if he lets that go through. That's rough. Let's see if he let's see if he's willing to pay four thousand for the dark and the BLS. So it was two months. The BLS hmm. is no longer a part of this equation. Unless we get a warrior returning alive situation. I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> Which as we know, as I as I think, I think that card could be played. I think it's not so bad it was unplayable. Yeah, I, I tried it out. The problem is is just the circumstances have to align properly to really use it, so it's rough. And plus you have to use your normal summon still versus like premature burial where you don't. True. It's hard. I've played it. I loved it. Getting your, getting your BLS I use it right with. Right bur I keep burial and call in. Yeah, you just use one, of course. You don't use multiples. All right, thinking about it. Going breakers up. Breaker is going to meet the ring of demise, ring of destruction. So again, why didn't he wait? Well, this time he could have popped one of the other back row instead. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because he lets him if sure. he lets him use that. This time it speaking. made sense. Yeah. <laughs> not to say. Yeah, because you know, he, he got a yeah the blade knights at the blade knights at two thousand. Yeah, it's yeah. not at sixteen. Yeah. Different circumstances. Then. That's a two thousand. Yeah. Plus, he's got to take uh, he's got to take four more damage too. There you go. I am running on four hours of sleep. All so. of, yeah, all yeah, of well, we time. all are. <laughs> it's rough. You can kind of, you can kind of, US kinda... Mexicans and, Me and Mexican. I always called you Mexican, Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of see tell four every... four hours of sleep for sure. Everyone's just In like fact... degrading, man. Our mental our mental faculties are just slipping away. This We're is all... my second day in a row of four hours of sleep. That's that's not good. You gotta you gotta take some time, man, to get it to get it uh to get that sorted. My coffee's too hot. I can't drink it yet. I think as soon as I can get this coffee in my system, I think I'm fine. Rota for exile on the blade. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll be going to sleep in like three or four hours for sure. I might have to do what uh I might have to do what one of the one of the reviews were saying about go cutting the grass. I still might have to go do that today. So we'll see if that can make that happen. Brings out the DD. DD Warrior Lady is going to get splashed by the Torrential Tribute. What's going on in that in that artwork? What is that? What are we looking at here? There's a big blue what artwork. What it's is shaky. The, I have to, another splash. Splash right back. We're just solemn. Will I get, will I, will I raise, we raise you one? Kind of sucks having to solemn just to keep a kaiku when... But that you Kaiku know, has got they could get a blade really, knight. Really, really long legs though. Very long legs on the Kaiku. That Kaiku is is very long legged Kaiku. He can he can go the distance. He's going the distance. Uh let's see if he's, he's got going for speed. A blade here is great. Let's Told see, you. pump that bad blade up. knight. <clears throat> Can you beef it up though? Can you can Just you get him it? Yeah, he's gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. he's definitely solomon this. Nah, bottomless. Ah, oh, darn. Dang. I'm like four and zero with my prediction so far tonight. Man, rain can't, <laughs> this rain morning. can't seal the deal. Chaos is not book of moon. Chaos one time. We wouldn't be able to summon it. Oh, Book of Moon. Yeah book, yeah, book of Moon then doing BLS. Uh, okay, I guess. Nothing, huh? He does have a light and a dark. Okay. DT, Dust Tornado. And that is yeah, Helmet Helmet 101. Very splash, splash, splash. Attack, attack, attack. Very, uh... These, these warrior matches be like that sometimes. You just come out and just punch the other guy in the face. 
until someone can't get punched anymore. Uh, I thought it would be that that duel was really strong, but it didn't uh, it didn't finish it off. We'll see. Going into game two. So do you think, what do you think is a better side for the mirror? Do you think it, it, Berserk Gorilla or Zumbira? Um, I, I, I think I'd like to, uh, I, I still think having the additional battle traps is good. Like if you have more uh, Sakuretsu armors, more stuff to attack the back row, I think that might be better than just the beaters by themselves. Because if you just go straight, mm -hmm. straight beaters and the other guy, brings in more battle traps, then they're going to get you on attrition before you can get them. So I will say go more, more battle traps. Berserk Gorilla was nice too, but he can still, he can still tie with, uh, tie with blade. Uh, he can still tie with, uh, you know, the opposition's Berserk Gorilla. Zambara maybe, but I know, I know the, 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 what's, what's hot right now is the spies, Mobius, Brain control is really strong, and the, just the heavy rotation of battle traps, I think, is what, what people like to do. Looks like what Shaggy's got a set here, so it could be one of those fives now. It could be a Diddy warrior lady. Rota here. Oh, my goodness. This whole time has been wrong. I swear, No one's telling me, man. No one told me. I got to fix it. This is the winner's finals. I remember one time it was DD Warrior Lady. Uh, one time someone used Rota for Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu against me. You can't do that. And I didn't realize. Yeah, I didn't realize that uh, that that was a legal move till later. <laughs> I did. I I wish you could add Beast Warriors, but unfortunately, you cannot. I mean, just Rota, because Rota's already extremely broken. This last thing they would need is to let it be even more broken. Yeah, it's, it doesn't work like the uh, the old swarm rule where you can add any evil swarm or steel swarm monster or old swarm cards. It doesn't work like that. You have to have to add specifically warrior monsters, not beast warriors. It's kind of redundant that there's Beast and Beast Warrior. Yeah. You know? I mean, the names are probably different in Japan. Different enough. But yeah, in English it is kind of weird. It's awkward. Well, they, have, they have Beast but, and Beast Warrior and they have Wing Beast as well. And, and in beast. Japan, in Japan, Sea Serpent is Sea Dragon. So... It's even more confusing because they they have sea dragons and we got the beast warrior and the beast also and the, the warrior and the winged beast. There shouldn't even be thunder, like you know. Yeah. Wow. Pyro, I guess. I don't know. But well, I mean, what else would you put pyro? You know. Well, they could just if be someone's like fire warriors. What's you know, gonna be? fire fire beast. But I think I think they wanted to have like a large amount of types and a small amount of attributes, so they just wanted to just add a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I mean, to just boost originally the, like. Oh, sorry, go on. No, just, no, just to just to boost the amount of types they had. Yeah, I mean, originally they like there weren't even cards that even cared about the types and all that crap, so they were just trying to write stuff in that looked cool, you know. Oh, Snatch Deal yeah. here. You know, Dust Tornado of that. See, if he had a monster, he Pretty probably much. would have summoned it first. Premature for eight. We're grabbing Exile. So he didn't... No, he went, he went Snatch first to try yeah. to... Yeah. Because that would have been the play to just get a two for one, maybe... Force a battle trap or something like that. He goes premature for exile here as the as the follow up. Oh, uh, he he didn't even need to say exiled. I guess it's the only monster in his grave. 
Or he's trying to uh, preserve that normal summon. It's manners. Good manners. The opponent doesn't have to look at your grave to figure out. You're right. Technically, you did not have to even say what it was. And now, here comes the true nade. True nade. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja Grandmaster. So he did have a monster. Sasuke. Yeah, but I wasn't going to get over the yeah. DK. I think that was good. That was a good sequence. That was a good sequence. I think that was a good sequence. Now Shaggy's up. He's going Rhoda. Rhoda is going to grab the busted blade, the big blader. Ooh, he had right his away. finger on that trigger. Right away back. Ooh. Solemn the solemn, and you're taking uh, you're taking two hundred. So now Moxie needs a really good card. Um, uh, grace, a great, a graceful dark BLS. It's not a lot of cards you can get in a situation like this, especially when your Zambira. snatch is already gone. Zambira will be huge. Interesting. He's got the jars and the upstarts. Oh, look at this! Look at Yugi, Yugi. -Oh. He just ranked well, again. That's smart. <laughs> just get out of that whole situation. Good, good game. Good game. If he did get a Zombira, would you even attack there? Uh, probably not. You just sit up on it, but then you're just waiting to lose anyway. Yeah. Oh, oh. so man, that big yawn. Oh. All right, feeling better now. That's all I needed. Coffee's on board. Feeling good, feeling pumped. GG's. Does anyone uh does anyone out there have the status of the remaining games that is uh that that's I happening? Can check it for you. Of of this uh, uh... We need to see if we're gonna get stuck again. Uh, I just want to see, like, what is the? No, I can't check why. I can lot it. I can do it. Night moves and Bobby buckets. Uh, night moves. Uh, Alefia is up one against night moves. And let's go see Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> and Bobby uh, Lucas is up one against Bobby Bucket. So it doesn't look like anytime soon we're going to have to okay. uh, switch games. Or make sure. Or sorry. Or it's not going to. We're not. Maybe this time we won't get stuck with the game. <laughs> That uh, uh, and irrelevant has to end. All right, comes out with a double, with a set monster and two sets real traps. Throw it over to Shaggy. Funny that, like, uh, the Warrior deck's known for just having no hand, and yet we've seen these, uh, these Warrior decks not set in lower than, like, two or three cards lately. Not starting with those 
key psalms, I'm guessing. All right, so I'm getting some. Oh, shout out to uh, shout out to Anthony Alvarado in the chat as well. He says Lucas just won his match, so the uh, Masters of the Yugi Verse are up one one match so far. Man, Heavy Storm is gonna pay four thousand. You don't, yeah. You don't really like to do that just to protect one back row. It must be something good. It must be something good. DD is gonna banish. Okay. He thought about it for a little bit too, so it's gotta be something decent at least. This sets up sets up one playing around the, the zinger. Mox is a known zing machine, so he doesn't wanna fall into the zing trap and just play just the one. Is Mike's gonna go graceful charity here? No, that's that's not a solemn. That's he's pretending. You think Shaggy's pretending? Yeah. He, he's pretending to think. Oh. Unfortunate news. Uh and just flip it over. Freaking show us just, that you were faking show, it. Just show us anyway. Alephia and uh Lucas have won, so Necromancy jinx, just jinxed the hell out of us. Like immediately, like as soon as he said that, it just ended both matches. Alephia and who? Alephia and Lucas the Heretic. Alephia two one and Lucas the Heretic. Lucas one. is um. Hmm. I got confused because they were they were hosting on different sides. So actually, okay. yeah, <laughs> it was. Uh... Well, damn. Or well, shout shout out to the shout out to both teams. It's not over. They, have, they still are yeah, very deep yet. into the uh, into the losers run, uh, to the winner's side. So, getting back, having a rematch would be great. I think that was a great duel. Again, we caught another one that just ended and didn't get a chance to finish. You know, that stream is full of that today. It happens. This is three v three though. It happens. I got to figure out a way to do like a simulcast and get three games up at once or something like that. Next time, we'll figure it out. It's a work in progress. Um, but let's pull that bracket back up. All right, for us playing at home, I was going to slap the bracket kind of right in the middle. You guys can look at it as well. So this is the winner's finals. Going on to grand finals, we have Masters of the yu verse which consists of Moxie's Lucas the Heretic and Alephia 2. Alephia 2 won uh, the previous 3v3 with his brother delinquent and uh, fan favorite Lucas, the, the actual Lucas, the real Lucas, as he's known to be, Lucas Gustafsson. Um, so now Mox is trying to go back-to-back. Trying to be a, the first three-time 3v3 winner, it appears. So he knows how to put these teams together and how to make it pop. Uh, but it's going to be a long road to hold, long wait, a lot of hangout time to, to think about it. But until then, let's see if we can find another match. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go let's go back to the Feral Servant versus the Three Degrees of Dark Waifu Trap. Maybe we can pull them back up and see what they got going on. Let's, uh, let's hop in there again. Uh, is that Zazzles? Is that Zazzles again? Zazzles uh, is one of them, yeah. Yeah, we're going to Zazzles and Chief Wiggum. Oh, you got to be kidding. This is like the fifth or sixth time we've pulled into a game. Did they not <laughs> face each other earlier in the tournament? I don't remember. Probably. They might have sent each other down to the uh, to the losers. But I, every time I pull into a game, they're always side decking. What's up with that? What's up with that? Let's see. And while while they're side decking, let's see if I can pull up. Ah, and they're they're almost done. But shout out to Mister Mister Les Les Lesund Fox. I can't, I can't say his name either. Mister Fox. I just call him Fox. Les Les Hund Fox. He gave me the meta game breakdown, and it looks like we had thirty two Chaos Turbo decks, thirty Warrior decks. That's huge. Those are the two decks. Yeah, I, did the two not, decks I did not expect that many warrior. 30, 50-50 of, of, or not 50-50, but you know, the two main deck, 
two of the big sticks with nine panda burn, four go control, two chaos control, one uh, chaos control with decree. Uh, chaos return is at one. Cold wave aggro is at one. Gear free warriors one. Machine chaos one. Master lock one. Soul control. Stein gate. Time sip. So it's a, it's, a, it's a variety in there, but turbo and warriors are here to play and they're highly represented in this event. But now we got the Zazzles out here. The Zazzles is playing. Is this, is this the same Zazzles? What's going on with these cards? What's happening with this Abyss Soldier? Is this still the event? What's going on? No, th these are cards that you see in Gear Freed Warriors a lot. Okay, okay, okay. Because you're not playing Chaos, so you can afford to play some more play cards like these. I like this. I like seeing Blaster Chain used on a card that's not Gear Freed. Yeah, it's, a, it's still 1,500, 1, 500 boost. not the world's worst card even like if you just had to play it as is without gear freed but definitely <clears throat> not the greatest card either of course oh uh oh how about this extra chad maneuver you pop your own blast with chain and then use that to pop something just to f really flex on your opponent for no <laughs> no reason can you do that hey, I, you could yeah but i wouldn't <laughs> Compulsory evacuation device. Darn. You've been compulsed. Yeah, that's you, a, you that's cool, that. though. Compulsed. Yeah. Like that's sick. I guess. Mm. Yeah. Compulse yeah. is, you know, like it, I was it trying can... to think if it even like is that good in this matchup. I guess they do you need the normal summon a lot, so. Coming up the normal summon's not bad. Also, if they chain blast with chain, or they use blast with chain, then you compulse gear freed. Yeah, though you could potentially use it in the damage step. Hmm. But yeah, that's true true. Most of the time when they do activate it's not during the damage step. This is not winner's finals, of course. And we are. This is also incorrect. I wonder if uh, he has dust shoot. Nice. Yeah, let's see. Twenty nine. 60. Oh, all right. So, I'm like, I guess it makes it like over almost 90 duelists, basically, because there's 29 teams. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, having 60 something total chaos decks makes sense. Oh, we saw that spicy magic cylinder. Yep. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's just. When you think about it, it. Like it, it, it essentially does double the damage in a way, you know, because like you're, you're, uh, you know, you're almost like increasing your life points by sixteen hundred and doing sixteen hundred damage because you're mm -hmm. preventing sixteen hundred damage to you. So it's essentially it's thirty two hundred total I don't life know points. If it was really worth it to activate it here though, right? Because it doesn't save a monster. True. And you're at basically full life. Yeah. But you never know. He might. He might. Uh, it, go ahead and yeah, he, might, he might play. Game. He might play uh, Sanctuary in the Sky. Okay, Ooh, and bring out Agent bottomless of, trap hole. Bring out Agent of Judgment Saturn, and then just win. You know, you never know. Ah, uh, you're. I think, I think it's a, a just a small stretch this time. <laughs> Agent of Judgment Saturn, Ancient Sanctuary. You don't think Let's that see, can happen? Mars, maybe Mars would be useful here. Oh, now you played MST. Okay, I see you, Zazzles. Yeah, I bet he's feeling like he should have done that earlier. <laughs> yeah, because the reason he used the 
the cylinders because they're going to be paying down life points, right? But if you do the damage first, you're basically making the psalms cheaper. And you're not getting the kill with the cylinder. That's yeah. very true. Although, sometimes... Actually, yeah, never mind. Don't like to see it. Gear free with no back row. At least there's no chaos on the opposing side, so. Oh, wow. Blade, though. Blade got the answer for Gear Freed all day. Spicy reveal, little. What was it? I missed it. <laughs> it was it was the snatch deal equip magic card <laughs> that was revealed. You know, I almost feel like if that happens, you should be able to like rearrange no. the face downs. You just gotta gotta roll with it. You gotta roll with the flow, man. It does suck though, giving up free information like that, or maybe he purposely gave up that information to. Really lure the opponent. Into... True. No, nah, I'm kidding. I don't. Know, maybe I don't know. Like a like a fake the fake. Although that would, you know, probably be against the rules. I'm sure. Like a fake, like a fake. I'm sure. I'm sure. That's that just seems. That seems very uh, without integrity. You know, something like that. Prince Ragnarsson is saying he's got some weird takes with the bottomless trap hole and the compulsory evacuation device. Those are very, uh, those cards were really popular for a, a long time and then they kind of fell all the way up out of favor and people don't play them that often anymore. So it is refreshing to kind of see uh, Chief Wiggum going back to those, getting some use out of them, getting some more mileage out of them. And it's actually not too bad against, uh, against Warriors either. Sometimes, you know, they have the Blade Knight out and he's at 2,000, and you bounce a guy back and send him back down to 1,600, and you take some damage and kill him off and get some additional tempo that way. It happens. It, it's, 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 very, uh, it's very niche, but it can't happen. No, that didn't happen. Just, we're just talking about uh, the weird text oh, or, or not cards cards that aren't played as often, like a bottomless trap hole and compulsory. 18 is coming in clean. Yep. Setting the clock. It's not looking good for Zazzles here. Two cards versus five. No, you got to pay another one. I mean... Oh, spicy. Oh. Uh, that was spicy. This attack's got to go. Nice. I told you, brain control is really, really good. Oh, he knew the snatch was there. Yeah, we knew about oh, yeah. the snatch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knew it was there, but I guess he was trying to play like it didn't like it didn't exist. Pretend like it doesn't exist, and then it may not. It's possibly literally didn't even see it, too. Because it was only flipped up for a second or well, so. Well, he could so. look at the logs. He could, but... Did he? Maybe he didn't. Yeah. But also, like, it's it's fair enough. To make the opponent play their card. You know what I've Never... found? Most of these duelists, I think, are sleep deprived. Like every tournament, <laughs> I I talk to people and like everybody's sleep deprived. Probably. If you really want to win, just be the one person who had a good night's sleep. Have a, a normal sleep schedule, and you yeah. can win a tournament. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's, 
8 a.m. isn't for EST isn't that early, but we're all, not all, but a lot of us are like older, and so we stay up later. And also, uh, it's a Saturday, so pe- some people were maybe partying last night. Pretty sure that that's what happened with my uh, teammate. <laughs> maybe. Possibly. Rhoda coming down, grabbing the blade right away, or grabbing the gear freed. Gear freed to graceful connection. I love the, I like the background on gear freed's card art. I like the purple <laughs> and pink. And blue. I, I like those old school backgrounds where it's just a pattern, a colored pattern in the back. Yeah. Aren't they all like that? They have like a just just nothing. Just all the backgrounds just like some void. They're just all into the void. Well, sometimes they have like something going on back there. Yeah, it depends. But most of them, it's just like some sort of pattern background, and that's it. Some sort of trippy nonsense. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, like just a just a void. It's like a card floating in the middle of a void. Some virus got some muscles here. Damage dip. You've been blasted. You've been hit by, you've been struck by, gear freed. <laughs> you've been blasted. Stand by. For so, blasting. during the damage step there, he couldn't use book, right? Yeah, that's why you wait for the damage step. Why can't you use book? Because in the damage what step, was that? in the damage step, you can only activate cards that uh, modify attack in attack or defense stats mm. in the damage step. Okay. Or that are like uh, counter traps. Right. Okay. I remember I did something tricky like that against an opponent. I don't even remember what it was. And when I was testing out my Kazuki control, well, rest in peace, Kazuki Takahashi, by the way. My Kazuki control deck. Um, I, I was playing someone who had a, a crazy uh, Gravekeeper's Harpy Gear Free deck. And uh, I did something, some shenanigans. With some of my cards, like a Book of Moon on his Gear Freed when he tried to use a uh, Blast with Chain. Oh, oh who's who's with us on the, on the commentary? We have is me. It's Necromancy for Kids, okay, and it is Mister Big Noodle, the largest. I'm the largest the Canadian yeah, noodle. It's true. The largest, I think, the largest Canadian noodle in uh, the Ottawa or uh, Ottawa or Edmonton province or Vancouver, BC. The largest noodle there. Is Somewhere. Huge. Somewhere in the in the in the northern in the northern uh northern the Great White North. That's who's there. All day we both no sleep. We don't sleep over here. We just. Watch goats, play goats. And and these like vampires are pretty good against Gearfried. That's a nice graveyard, though. Look at that. It would be nice for Chief Wiggum right about now. It would be uh, a question. Or you could play Question in the Gear Free deck and place that premature burial that you can't use some Gear Freed. You guys know what that card is. Question? Question, you have to guess the first monster at the, at the in the bottom of the graveyard. Yeah. And then, and, I don't know what happens after that. If they <laughs> guess correctly, it's banished. If they guess wrong, then... 
uh, you get special summon it. What? You get to special summon it? Yeah. So, uh, they even have a thing on DB where once you activate it, players cannot check logs and they cannot view graveyards while it's on the field. Really? Oh, they, they, they make it like a like a part of the card effect? Uh, yeah, they coded it into into Dueling Book. That's actually one reason why I've been nervous to even test it, because I didn't know if if they did that or not. Yeah, you can't view graveyards and you can't view logs while it's on the field. There's some things that I wish they would program to be able to do, but I, I'm grateful that they do some of these things, like with Question and Magical Hats, they have a, a solution for that too. And for exchange as well, although I guess exchange is used like in modern gameplay. So, uh, the link one duo, the link one duo is about to rip. He's gonna take uh, what's the grab here? Gets the blade, get the premature, and there's the dead premature burial I was talking about. Why is that? Why is that dead? Well. Because you can't bring back the best monster in the deck, do you free? I mean, you can still bring back that exile for it. Says Blade Knight. But you can use Call of the Haunted on him. Right? Yes, you can. So. I don't remember the wording on Call Haunted, yeah, but I... quite possibly, yeah. Yeah, because it doesn't go to the grave if it's tributed, so it isn't, isn't equipped. So yeah, I believe you can. Yeah, one of the problems with the question is once, like, besides the fact that, like, your opponent could just remember the card, once they see you activate it at all, then they're going to keep checking the graveyard and they'll, it'll never go off ever again. Yeah. So, yeah, that's one of those cards. Even if it was good, you would still have to cite it out as soon as you've used it. Also... Uh, what was I going to say? They, there's no time limit either, so they could just sit there for five minutes trying to remember, you know? Well, then they get slow play. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. In a play. tournament, yeah, but on ladder, you know. Yeah, on ladder, that that's a, another beast where people can take three hours to, to do something and nothing happens. Yeah. What's he going to grab? What do you guys think about the old school rules of only being able to activate one spell or trap per turn? I don't ever remember that being a rule. Way back in the day, uh, it was a thing. Not uh, not in the U.S., I believe in the OCG only. But that's that you why said... you see some of the old games have that rule. Hmm. That kind of sounds familiar. Yeah, in the TCG we never had it. I don't believe, but yeah, I've never, I've never heard of that. I think that's like playground rules. You know. Who was it expecting? Am I gonna remove it or are you gonna kaboog it? I think that I think that would that would make a lot of sense though, because our our game is so uh, like free. You know the re, the co we do have costs. Uh, we do have costs associated with certain certain spell cards and stuff. But the fact that there's not like a you know mana or some kind of uh, resource associated with just playing, you can just play as many cards as you have. I think that would kind of make the game a little more strategic. If you can only play like mm -hmm. one card a turn. And just see what happens. And pot of greed would be extremely balanced because you could only play one. Yeah. You know, and then you can't play any more spells that turn. But um, in the anime and manga, you could also activate normal like spell cards on your opponent's turn. Which is why in the the anime. 
you see Yugi, like Yugi versus Weevil, he activates polymerization on Weevil's turn. This yep. interesting little factoid. Quick play poly. It became a thing later on, but yeah. He's got Ooh, that's zinger. A... You've been zingered. Let's see if we can get a jar as well. Snatch. Ooh, that's game. game. Yikes. That's a GG. That's a GG. Wow. All right, Chief Wiggum has been has been defeated. I don't know where that puts the rest of the uh, of the bracket. I don't know what, what's going on with the rest of the matchups for those both of those teams, but it appears as if Chief Wiggum has gone down, and we're going to keep this party train rocking. We're going to keep it moving. Um, Got Dally and Calvin, Calvin on their is playing? team as well. I don't know if they are playing. Those are just members of the team. Well, he was watching the game just now, so. Uh, so I guess that's over. It's over. I think it's done. All right, where are we going next? Any 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 uh any requests from the chat? Anybody you want to see? Any games you guys watching? Maybe we can join and watch it with you. We could do it like that. Let us know. Keep us posted. We got Pharaoh's servants versus three degrees of dark waifu trap. Oh, we owe we owe three degrees of dark waifu trap another watch because we had to dip out of their game earlier. That's true. So that would be dead, Lilith, and Hall Hell. What's uh what's Dead's uh name? Oh sorry. Uh Morbid Angel. Yeah, let's go see Morbid. Let's go see Morbid Angel. We got Purple Drunk back in the house again. Let's go check out Morbid Angel. Let's go see what's going on there. Morbid Angel, Hall Hill, and Purple Drunk out here playing uh, Chaos Turbo. Looks like we have a uh, Turbo versus a Chaos Control match, it appears, just from initial viewage. Sang is going to grab the Dekoichi, the battle chanted locomotive. <laughs> Check the graveyard for old purple drunk here. Some good stuff in there. Good stuff. Nobleman hitting faith is always great. What did they grab with their uh the, the saying game? Mm. It just brings out the tribe and just crashes. That's not something you want to have to do. Of course not. That's not what you want. But now you uh you're down you're down three cards, three to one. And you're just kinda holding on for dear life against Turbo. And now the hits just keep on coming with this Graceful Charity coming down. Got all that stuff's live to no, you don't have a light. There are no lights. So you need a Thunder Dragon. Big chaos plays. Thunder Dragon is probably the worst thing that um Dead wants to see here because Thunder Dragon is going to are right, all the Thunder Dragons used already. Let's check the out of play. So he has Thunder Dragons in hand already. Okay, so never mind. And BLS is already gone. Okay. So you're not feeling as bad, but you're still in, you're still down pretty bad. 
It is funny that, like, oh, sorry, go on. I was going to say, still has a pot of greed in this deck. Morbid. Right? There is a pot of greed at some point. He just hasn't gotten to it yet. It's got to appear. It's got a jar. It is funny that it's supposed to be removed from the game, removed from play, and yet there's cards that interact with them, so they eventually changed it to banished. Because it's like, it's not really removed from play if it's just another zone to grab from, like the graveyard. Yeah. Stuff like that used to bother me a lot when I was a kid. But I guess it kind of makes sense. There's something like that in uh, Match at the Gathering. Not the same thing. They have a like an exile uh, thing. But like there's these cards called wish cards that say you add a card to your hand from outside the game. Which makes it sound like you can add literally anything to your hand, right? Like you could go mm -hmm. upstairs and grab a card but yeah. no it, you can only add it from your your side deck to your hand morbid thinking about if he wants to use this pot of greed or not Morbid has pot of greed in his hand? I think so. Aww. No, if he has these, I think that thing is slammed and jammed right now. It's already it's already in the graveyard. We've seen some weirder slow plays before. I mean, I'm not saying it's necessarily slow play, but slow rolls, I should say. Seen even weirder slow rolls. No, I have no idea what it could be. Uh, I mean, he's got the Koichi, it, it, and it's only two cards total, so he's got to do something here pretty quick. He doesn't have too many options, so it's not like this is a really difficult choice. If you have BLS, no, that, that'll, probably... be some, that'll be something you have to think about. I think about the BLS. There's a lot of he only got uh he only got nine cards left in his deck, and Snatch Steel has yet to be revealed. So putting a BLS out here is literally without an answer for Snatch Steel is just asking for it to get yoinked. So I'm thinking you gotta you gotta plan for that. If if one of these two cards is in fact, BLS. So if this card in his hand is BLS, he can't summon it right now. But now, if this Magician of Faith flips, you're down horrendous as well. That's, no, there shouldn't be any. I don't know. I don't know if they got knocked or what, but. You have two or banished over here, three or banished. So yeah, I'm thinking Faith did get knocked, so never mind. Faith probably won't, won't happen. Breaker. The magical warrior and Sork. Sork, Sork, Sork. Flip the sign gone. And we're just going to go right on to zero. Yikes. Purple drunk with the, with the kill there. Audio's a little low. Is that what you're, is that, I can't, I can't read, uh, I can't, I can't read your, 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 uh, your name. I'm assuming it says, uh, a name in, I want to say Russian. I would like to say, is it, is, is it low? You guys gotta let me know, man. I'm having some technical difficulties this whole time. I don't know what I don't know. If, if no one's saying like, Hey, this is, this is that, is that I can't, I can't tell. Just the audio of the whole Demeter stream. Demeter Dimitrov. 
It's apparently their name. Demeter Dimitrov? And it is Bulgarian, according to Google Translate. Oh. Necromancy with the quick research skills. The quick Googles. I'll fire I'll turn it up uh, I'll turn it up a little bit there just to see. Cause I don't know. Apparently I had my, my audio my audio capture card. Was, that felt like it was a that was weeks ago now. At the beginning. You had the audio capture card just going and it was just like your card is not on. Your card is not on. And I'm like, hold on, I can't I can't hear it. Right on, we're a little bit low. Let's bo let's boost. Let's base boost. I'm gonna go here. How about that? And we're gonna go here. Oh yeah, we're gonna crank it up. Crank it up to eleven. All right. Then we'll go. Man, I'm killing it. I'm literally killing it. Morbid's asking if Purple Drunk actually had a light in his grave for to summon Sork. Well, it's a oh. bit too late now, unfortunately. I don't think he did. I honestly don't think he did because I was looking in that. I, I was I, I missed it because I, I turned away to start doing uh my 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 AV stuff over here, and I don't think he did because I was like, how is he going to bring this out? He did he did have a thunder dragon in his hand, I believe. He could have just discarded that, and we're still right back where we are. So it so, really doesn't matter. I'm looking back. He had a. He had a Thunder Dragon in there at one point. Yeah, because he had one, one Thunder Banished, one Thunder... Uh, I, think he had a, I think he had one in his hand. Or maybe two in his hand, so... Theoretically... I mean, it's, it's, def it's definitely not correct uh, pro procedure. And he did that wrong, but he definitely had access to Thunder Dragons. I believe. I could be wrong. Oh no, I'm looking at his no, yeah, it's graveyard. No darks. Oh, oh. Yeah, in the replay I'm watching. Or the Good grief. I'm Internet. Watching your stream, I mean. Oh, sorry. Speaking of, I just tried to open something and it just opened again all over all over the thing. My bad. Sorry guys. I need to get another monitor. That's what needs to happen. How many? You only have one monitor. I have one monitor. I have only one. That's that's. I am a, I am a, I am a man with one one monitor, which is an issue. I, oh my god, have you ever had two monitors? I have I have had two monitors before, but I just I just got this new computer and it has it doesn't you can't like just add monitors to it. Got to have like a special kind of freaking monitor. So now I need to like wait and save some funds so I can buy this special monitor so I can have two, which may not happen for quite some time. Having two monitors would yeah. change my life, I think. I've never heard of a computer that doesn't accept any type of monitor. Well, that's Apple for you, man. Apple is like that. Okay, <laughs> oh. they that's how they oh. do. It. No, I don't want them to shut us down. You got a Ouch. Mac, man. <laughs> uh, biggest and biggest mistake of my life. Don't do it. Don't <laughs> do it. If you can avoid it, avoid it. I should have listened to so many people, smarter people who know technology more, like you know, know technology better than I do. They all say, "Hey, man, don't do it. You shouldn't do it." And I was like, "Screw you, man. I'm a, I'm gonna do what I want to do. This is my life." Mistakes were made. Okay. I mean, I like the computer. But it's it does it does I like I like the editing stuff and the music stuff, but it's like good grief, man. Mystic Tomato. Yeah, it's editing programs on PC there as are. well. I know, I know. Purple <laughs> drunk, purple drunk just scoops because he sees the tomato, can't handle it. He just can't take it. It's the wrong. You know, never mind. I'm not gonna say it anymore. I can't say it anymore. Oh, that's the wrong. Let's say it's the wrong art. But this is Kazuki Takahashi approved, so I'm not gonna say. I like this art. You guys are crazy. I uh, you guys are crazy. I don't prefer. I like I the other one too. This art, so. but I'm not gonna say it's the wrong art anymore. I think. Uh, I think. I think. I mean, I. I respect. Respect. Or respect is due. Of course, I. I love. I love the late. The late great founder of our of our great game and 
TV show and manga and all that. But yeah, I mean, sometimes you get it right and sometimes you get it wrong. And I can't, I can't say enough about it. But this one's just wrong. I just don't. That's not a tomato. That's a pumpkin. That's a pumpkin, man. That's a pumpkin. The other uh, or nobody it's makes a, a tomato, tomato lantern. You can't really yeah. make a tomato lantern. I don't think. I don't think it would I work mean, out logistically. That is whatever. What that's what's going on right there. It's look, look. But the other one, that Miss Tomato. That one looks great. That's a really good. That's really good. Yeah. That's a that's a that's a great one. I don't know why they decided to change the art, but it's good art. I think there was some talk about uh, killer tomatoes from outer space. There was mm. some sort of like parallel you can make uh, that it's no good to use it, but I don't see how. I, I don't know. They they also say that like um, that's the reason why they're never reprinting Air Neos is because either the art was plagiarized or maybe because there's there's uh, companies like called Neos Air mm. and shit. So maybe they don't want to reprint it because of that. Either way, they literally scrubbed its artwork from other cards that use the Neospatians. Really? New Spaceians aren't uh, go format, but you know, they were hyper jank forever, so I think it's okay to talk about them. <laughs> they were a very bad deck for a very long time. The tomato stands alone. You know, I've always wanted to make a hungry burger deck with as many <laughs> food cards as I could. Yeah, what happened to cool it? Idea. Missing tomato. What happened? What happened to the idea? You, do. Still, you still can do it. I mean, it's not. It's really not. I do. Well, I can still do it, but I do have a hungry burger deck already. It's uh, my 4th of July U.S. deck, where I use uh, Hungry Burger oh. and ooh, and uh, Blowback Dragon to represent uh, the, the American lifestyle, and Charcoal and Pachi to be the uh, charcoal for the grill. I forgot what there was some other references in there i think it also used mystic tomato to be honest but i don't remember <laughs> the fun deck not it, it bricks super hard but when it goes off it goes off man all right yeah, if you make the hungry hungry burger and bring like exchange and stuff, that's pretty funny. I've seen that happen. Miss Tomato, no, man, metamorphosis and chaos monsters for your hungry burger. Miss Tomato, Use, uh... yeah, yeah. This setup seems kind of decent. Sangin and Tomato, they're like both kind of annoying to get rid of. Yeah, I remember. Someone made a custom card called like Tasty Sandwich, which is Mystic Tomato plus Sangan Fusion. That's that sounds like a terrible, terrible card. What did it do? <laughs> what did it do? I don't remember. I could probably even Google it. Uh, Mystic Tomato Sangan Fusion. No, there's no way I'm gonna find it. Oh, I did find it. Yummy sandwich. Oh god. Sangan plus Witch of the Black Forest plus Mystic Tomato. When this card is sent to the graveyard, add one monster 
with attack or defense of 1500 or less from your deck to your hand. That card sounds atrocious. <laughs> Got 3100 attack, too. <laughs> Powerful. All right, we've got heavy storm coming down for for purple so, drunk. And it's gonna ring up the thunder dragon for a quick little sixteen. Get him down to very close to lethal range. If he can't answer this mystic tomato, that will begin. But it looks like the answer is here. Tribe infecting virus is gonna go ahead and throw that thing in the grave. We're gonna bash him for sixteen. All right, so if we got a heavy snatch. Uh, mystical space snatch is great as well. A BLS here is fantastic for Sork's not bad either. Well, we get another normal. There it is. So we get a banish and a game shot here. Going on to game three. Good game. Good match so far. Very, very nice match. I'm so. Uh, we've been watching a lot of warriors, and these warriors can just get very face punchy very quick. It's kind of good to see, you know, some some stuff happening there. Very nice. Love to see it. The powers that be, by the way, have been talking about um, changing chaos warriors to just go under the warrior name now. Since literally the only difference is one cast sorcerer. Yeah. At first, like I guess people were kind of considering having BLS makes it chaos automatically, but then like every warrior deck was maining BLS anyway, and now like the difference so what do you, is literally one I don't know, what card. Do you, what do you call what do you call a warrior deck that doesn't play BLS? Warriors. And it's, then... it's literally one card difference, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't I, I I I'm fine with it. I think it's uh I think it's you know I th I think I think what we do in Go format is kind of different from other other formats because we want to say and it is true to a certain extent like we have a ton of decks that you can play. There's so many decks you can play this, you can play that, you can play this, you can do whatever you want. But really kind of when you really when you really 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 boil it down, you got like four maybe five extremely like tier like tier deck tier one decks that you can play so i think if you say hey we got warriors but you also chaos warriors that just makes it seem like you got more tier one decks when actually when when like you said in theory in theory they're just really one deck but the but the but the part of that is like i can have a warrior deck and you can have a warrior deck and they're both trying to do the same thing but we can have s several different cards and the decks are so different as well too so I think there is some uh, there is some parity in the type of variety you can have, but it's still it's still just not like a not so different like like we had a we had a we had a player today you know he's playing uh, bottomless trap holes he's got compulsories he's got uh, the all that kind of stuff it's still warrior deck but just playing different tech cards to kind of implement your own game plan I, I suppose. Uh, yeah, that's that's what they're saying. So chaos, chaos warriors trying to get rid of chaos warriors uh, because there's no sork or with sork, it's just all warriors. So what if I have two sorks, I don't think anyone's playing two, but it would still just I be guess worse. Then you could say it's chaos <laughs> warriors. I mean, I, 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 that, I it's think... like two sorcerers turns a goat deck into a chaos yeah control deck. i think i think i think i think we get to wrap around the axle about the naming conventions because what if i play what if i play a chaos turbo deck with no chaos sorcerer in it like the nano did and he had great success with that deck too no sork that's turbo what do you call that is it chaos i don't know call it whatever you want to call it just Yu-Gi-Oh deck one number one Call it cookie cutter chaos. Just call it, call it, call it whatever you want to call it. Just call it, call it dubs. Yeah, Moxie saying they're trying to phase him out. They're trying. They don't want to see you shine, Moxie. I think that's what it is. They don't want to see the three. They don't want to see the, the two time back to back shine. That's what it is. You know, they're trying to. They're trying to hate, man. They're trying to take out their. I feel you. 
nobody's playing Sork like that no more. I think Mox is like the last Sork user out here trying to keep it together, but it don't it don't go like that. <laughs> oh, it flip yeah, flip warrior, huh? Flip again, I think it's just warrior. I don't think there I don't think there's any any flip I don't think flip warrior is a thing anymore either. I think it's just warrior. <laughs> So eventually it's just gonna be warrior and then when it's really gonna hurt when they take a take away uh when they take away chaos control and just start calling all chaos too. Because you got chaos control and then you got chaos turbo. It's only like you know, five cards away. Really? I'm just calling this just chaos so just eventually it's gonna be chaos and warrior. Well actually I think chaos control is just goat control. No, let's just call it how about it just instead of just chaos chaos general that's it just one day it's all just chaos <laughs> just make it if, just chaos and burn those are your two decks that's all you get so we got Donnie Z holding down with that super tank 1500 He's looking real buff Jar Grease coming out can't wait to bring my uh my burn deck with Mobius to the next tournament. All of this is water monsters, but there's only two decks, so they had to call it burn. <laughs> it wasn't chaos. That's it. You got. I uh, can call it. You call it a chaos deck. I mean, do you have? Do you have Sork? Do you have how many? No. Light, do you have no no light monsters at all? I have all water monsters. There are no head. light monsters in there. No. No dark monsters water. at all. Just water monsters. Yeah, yeah. we can call we can call that a that could be a warrior deck. No, no. no. If if you play <laughs> if you play D mock, then you're allowed to call it chaos as well. Ooh, okay. I like this. Hey, Star- uh, dark magician of chaos. I like your funny words, magic man. <laughs> we're losing it, man. We're losing it. We're we're falling apart. The seems co- the stream is coming undone. Mm, that's <laughs> yeah i don't know i think it's uh i don't know there's a patreon tournament tomorrow isn't there there is there yeah. is i i or no uh premium tournament premium patreon playoff pr- progression power mm-hmm. power pack tournament by the way if you guys had not seen our good friend jdz had uh just started up a progression oh, yeah, series yeah. with Scully that's, on this very channel. That's fun. Uh, I, I had I had a blast with that. Oh my goodness, I I sacked him so bad. Game a game one. He sacked you in the uh, <laughs> our, <laughs> the freaking uh, the first uh, one. No, in the um, in the pools, in the draft phase. Yeah, oh, <laughs> great. Yeah, you got me, man. You got me so bad. Well, it's gonna be good. It's gonna keep. We're gonna try to keep it going. We're gonna keep it going. Uh, we got a lot of stuff lined up for that it's gonna be really cool i'm excited he's already promised me that he's not losing anymore so i probably should have lost that one we'll see scully's scully's pretty good at those those sealed events yeah him and uh tk and shadow b and tk yeah i don't want to mess with tk and seal that's probably gonna be a that's a menace he he always gets super far in the Slifer specials whenever he plays in them because he just knows how to play with limited card pools. Yep. Um, but this Don has been on the field for so long. He's like, man, I has, I've never, he's never existed for this long. Let's see. He's got set up. He's got the spy set up. You got to break this spy hold quickly. The sooner you can do that, the sooner you can get in there. Let's see how the... He's got the... Just this one Don holding the fort this whole time. That's a strong Don. That's a... He's got some broad shoulders. To hold uh, hold this duel together. Um, Large. Uh, were they expecting a divine wrath? I don't know what that <laughs> that weight was. <laughs> What's going on here? You know, it's a little weird that 
Don's Luke has more defense than it has attack, and yet he's a gunslinger. Well, yeah. it's because uh, he knows all about setting up traps. He's good. He's good at on on his back foot and managing. I uh, I still I I I non I, and this is I non ironically watched Yu Gi Oh GX with my with my kids, and just because they they're getting into it. they showed an interest so we watched together and how they did. Don Zalou's voice was so so bad. Hello there. Uh, 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 it's like Christopher it's Walken. To meet you. <laughs> it's like Chris, Christopher Walken doing it. The, and he, he's like, I'm summoning myself to the field. And just walks I'm onto the field. Summoning myself, so, Don Zalou. <laughs> that was so stupid, man. Oh my goodness, I love it. All their voices were bad, but Don's was terrible. I don't, oh, not all of them. Some of them so, were pretty good, but yeah, it's, a lot of them were. It was some crazy stuff. <laughs> what do you think? About you gotta display? admit that's iconic. Sorry, go on. Oh, sorry. I was just pointing like like he had to he regeki used regeki break discarding a metamorphosis just to destroy a thunder dragon. Yeah, you got to. At dawn is your last line of defense. You got to keep him on there, and uh, that metamorphosis is not doing a doing anything for you. It's just kind of stuck in your hand. That's kind of why control is just kind of falling out of favor. Is because it breaks so hard. But when it's going, it's going, and you feel great when you got your scopes going and your metas are going, and you're flipping thousand eyes, and you're getting all this advantage. You're having a blast. That's great. But when you're sitting there holding the damn metamorphosis for seven thousand turns, and then you're getting blasted, and then the scapegoats come, you're holding those for fifty more turns, and then you're still getting blasted, and then your chaos is not on, and then Kaiko's coming down, and now you're getting all your. Chaos. It's just a mess, man. It it just breaks so hard. And but shout out to the control players who are trying to keep it viable and still playing it at a high level. Dead's a great uh, chaos control player. It's just a really hard deck to play these days. One one of these days, Air Knight's gonna start making a comeback. In uh, oh, no chance. Control. When long, everyone stops yeah. playing, as long UK. as as long as this as long as this card that just got sacrificed is still in the game, that will never happen. That too, yeah, yeah, true. Both Spy and BK make that card just unplayable, just so useless. Oh, reason, reasoning Gate, though. I mean, it, it gets it gets love in Reasoning Gate, but it's just it's just too because you have to tribute for it. You know, you have to sacrifice. So you're nagging yourself inherently, just putting the damn thing on the on the board, and then when you crash into a Spy and they plus, and you did no damage, and now you're sitting here with this 1900 Snatch Magnet on your field, and then you take it. And then that's attack the you with, part. And then they attack say, you with even, it, and yeah. you got goats in your deck. You just—it's just so bad. I, it's so bad. I hate when they use snatch steel on it. <laughs> it's so that bad, and then now you're now you're like wasting all these resources trying to defend yourself when you have very little defense anyway because you're playing scapegoats. It's bad, and I love the car. I think the car is really cool, man. I want it to come back, but there's no there's no chance. What car? Air Knight Parcha. Oh yeah, sorry. No, nah, if it if it could, um, if it could, I would love it, but it just won't. Yeah, I mean, I we've seen, I think we saw some sort of goat control deck that used it get kind of top recently. I don't really yeah, remember. Yeah, I think much uh, about uh, it. Uh, uh, in the last in the not this not this last GFC, but the GFC before that, the one, uh, the the, the really big one, um. The one where uh, user left left arm suffering won, or he didn't win. He topped it with Air Knight in the main deck, but it yeah, was like a goat, we, it was a said, we deck. see sometimes the Reasoning Gate decks will run it. Yeah, although most of the Reasoning Gate decks we see are Stein Gate nowadays. Mm-hmm. But an old school classic deck, Air Knight Parshath. You know what? We need to see Ham come back, the Ham deck. The reasoning gate deck that runs. Oh, all right. You got another purple. Purple drunk has been victorious at the hands of BLS Solemn Judgment. That's how it goes. It goes how it goes. All right. GG's. Well played to both. What was I just talking about? We were talking about Air Knight for a second. Oh, uh. The ham deck is what I was talking about. Uh, it's a reasoning gate deck that uh, 
just has big fat monsters and uh, runs our good friend the creator to bring them back from the grave. It's a fun deck, but unfortunately it is the inferior version of the Reasoning Gate deck. Because it bricks harder. It would be a lot better if Creator was like uh, level 7. I think. That would be nice. Because doubling the number of level 8s when they call 8 for Demog. It has its advantage. But it, it means that that Demog has to be summoned first. And then it's like a surprise. The opponent's like, oh crap. He has another level 8. Mm -hmm. But then after that, sure. it, it's not a surprise anymore. Then they just always call 8. And it, and it stinks. Mm -hmm. But the ham deck does have a variety of of uh, levels. Oh, we, oh, we got... Oh, so we got... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I haven't even flipped to the game yet. Man, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing some technical stuff. But we're going to go... We got a request to see Jean Claude Van Damme versus the Shogun. I agree with that. I want to see John. Whenever I can get a chance to watch Jean Claude Van Damme play, I gotta tune in. I gotta tune in. So we got. This looks like to be game three. We got Jean Claude Van Damme. Hopefully, he's playing the Goat Control. We we're just talking about that. And this is Goat Control. Goat Control. Goat Control. No Chaos Control. Uh, there is. But actually, technically, this is Chaos Control because he has Dark Magician to Chaos in his deck. So what are the rules on that, Necromancy? What do you think about that? Is that, uh, is, is that, is that the name I, of the I, I'm not, I'm not actually the one who No, no, no. You, 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 you have volunteered. You have now volunteered as a face of the naming convention of oh boy. all of goat format think, now based on like the conversation anyone, that we just I, had. I mean, that team likes me, so. Yeah, you Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, that's... is is that is that chaos control because he does have Dark Magician of Chaos in his deck and VLS. I mean, if I... they also played Chaos Command Magician, <laughs> I would say yes. No, no Chaos Command Magician, no Chaos Sorcerer. We gotta make rules. We gotta we gotta be official. But he does have. Hey. Hello, Fox. Oh, hey, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah. We can hear you. Welcome, welcome Fantastic. to the program. We have. Thank you. We have Mr. Fox, the Fantastic Fox, is with us on the stream as well now. Shout out to him and thank you for all the the backside support, getting this, getting this event up and running and making it happen. All the scrambling and the dip, dodge, duck diving you had to do to coordinate all this stuff. Every everyone involved, you Necromancy, all the all the staff. He did he did most of the work uh, setting up like all of this stuff. I only did like the pre stuff, like getting out, deciding the, you know, what we're going to do and stuff. So definitely commendations or whatever the word I am trying to think yeah. of. Is, to... It, yeah, is this, I'm, I'm getting some intel. Is this, is this actually a part of the 3v3v3 3v3 still? Or is this, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm getting some feedback from some of the viewers. They're saying like, hey, this is not, these guys are not in this event anymore. Both of these teams are out. How are they? Team why are we streaming this? Fun Bari. Oh. Uh, yeah. Man, we I can't believe we just did that. Oh, we got caught up. Sorry, sorry, viewers, viewership. We are caught up right now. We are watching a, a match that does not exist. This is Again, fake. And remember, remember, we uh, we only got like four hours of sleep each. Yeah, but you know what? Let's just we we just gonna say hello to some to some fan favorites. They're gonna as we get this thing set up. I I don't know if anyone's even playing right now. Who do y'all want to see? There's uh the 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 CC Coochie team's about to play the Pharaoh Servants. All right, let's do that. Let's get over there. But shout out to both of these, and shout out to the shout out to the to the people who who let me know what's going on because this is this is not even it. That's a dope one though. Have um have you guys had Red Thirteen on stream yet? I haven't. Let's see Red Thirteen. All right, that's the the Snatch Joe game. He's playing <laughs> maybe the most interesting deck I've seen in the tournament, though. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's down. That's, Are that's... they even dueling right now? They're they're all the matches are being hosted. It looks like. 
Oh, they're hosting. What's they're playing? about to start. Yeah. Okay. So we didn't. We hey, we were tuned in. We're just giving you. See, that was all a part of the plan. We're just trying to tune in and give you guys some more goat format action. Just streaming, just random ladder match. Nope. Hey, Prince. Prince. Hey, listen. No need to apologize, man. No need to apologize. That was all. That was all good. Just we had a pause in program. There's no magic going on right now. Everyone's hosting up. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump into this uh, red thirteen match. I don't think it started yet. It has not started. It's yet. a it's a deck that he calls Master Lock. Oh, I'm, I've seen um, this deck. I've seen this deck. Very familiar with this deck. It's very yeah, popular think, in Italy. Yeah, it's uh, time seals and some burn. Yeah, it's got the it's got the uh, nightmare wheels. It's mask 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 of darkness. Tur, uh, thousand eyes restrict. Control. Yeah, and it locks you out of the game. Yeah, with solemn judgment. Pretty much. Mask, thousand eyes restrict. Lock. Okay, and they're in, and they're off. Let's see. I've I've tried this deck a few times myself, and it's very unforgiving. So if you try it, uh, just know that if you make one slight misplay, you will lose immediately. Uh, so <laughs> it takes it takes some uh, it takes some practice to get used to it. But it's it's like a yeah it's like it uses it uses mass restrict, it uses uh, metamorphosis to make thousand eyes, it uses uh, nightmare wheel to kind of just lock the game down a little bit, and then it just locks you out with solemn judgments and Tsukiyomi's to recur all your dope trap. Cool deck, very very nice, very innovative. It's got some golden centuries in there too, I think. Uh, yeah, very cool. That's why I like I like Italy, man. They're always on the cutting edge of the. Oh. Of Red, the latest technology. Red thirteen said, "Hello, good luck and have fun, smiley face." <laughs> and Snatch to Line two said, "You too, smiley face." Thanks for, for the those who do not speak Italian or read, I guess Italian. I You're... think it's a. Uh... But that's an Italian smiley face. Just to yes. clarify. Yeah. Okay. You know its name is possibly Mario. I'm sorry, that was probably insensitive. Just a joke. <laughs> Cancelled. It was nice knowing you, Necromancy. It was, yeah. it was, it was a good See time. Ya. Peace. <laughs> to the Shadow Realm. I'm uh I'm going back to bed though. I wanna I I wanna watch the rest of these, but yeah, I gotta get Hey, get, you know uh, what? Hey, thank sleep. you. Thank you so <laughs> thank you, uh thank you so much for your contribution. And, and support we're gonna hold this thing down get some, get some rest yeah. man and get out there and cut your grass too if you got time yeah. decided to <laughs> watch the vod after yeah it's it's saturday man we're cutting grass today all right no sleep take a nap get up and cut some grass all right do that make it happen deal all right yeah thanks man and that was that's the noodle that is the big noodle shout out to him thank you for dropping by and helping us with some commentary really fun to do early morning Yu-Gi-Oh waking up getting it it's, in it's it's still the morning out there for you isn't it it is JDP. it's 10 yeah. 7, it is 10 17 a.m i've been doing this i've been up and at them since four something a.m yeah, i don't get, i don't care man i don't care <laughs> it's, it's how I, I can't i cannot think of a better way to spend my saturday morning than with you fine people playing my favorite game doing what i enjoy i love it i can't get enough it's been a fun one so far. Oh, yeah. It's been a good event. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. All right. All right. We got this tea set. This very humble tea set. And yeah. we're throwing over to Red 13. He's kind of meditating on it. Been sitting there for a, for a little bit. Again. Yeah. I'm just going to... Probably, uh, probably thinking about it, like oh. I said, if you... Uh, I don't know if there's some lag or something, but if you... If you mess up with this deck, you just lose. It's very unforgiving. So you gotta you gotta take your time and make sure you do everything correctly. By the way, I did notice uh, their name is listed on the opponent's sheet. It really doesn't matter now, but uh, as Red Twelve instead of Red Thirteen. Ah, oh. you know what? That's on me. Oh, that's okay, but if I got he got to upgrade. It's not. Oh, but you know what? They registered with Red Twelve. Hey, it's, it could it could be it could be a uh, an alt account or hey maybe this is just the thirteenth installment of the Red account. So we got the Nightmare Wheel, as I mentioned, coming off. 
Yeah. He he did uh I, I asked him, he said he was having some lag issues. Okay. So. Um and we have Snatch Deal's teammate, uh Proud Frog is already up a game on Solaris. Oh, okay, okay. That was quick. Yeah. Probably some warriors involved. Guarantee it. Uh no, I think it's a turbo mirror. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. So Nolman is going to come down hitting the Golem Sentry. That's kind of his his secondary job in this deck to kind of eat Nolman across odds because you don't want your Mask of Darkness to get hit with the Nolman across aisle. You'd rather Golem Sentry ease that. Um, I think I've seen this deck before. Yes. And I don't mean as in because I've literally seen people's decks because I have access to them, but I haven't been looking at that. Um, but I'm pretty sure I've seen this deck before. Yeah, it's, it's coming along. Other than that. It's pretty popular in Italy right now. Uh, I think it did well in a few events. Uh, I, can't, I can't think of the player's name who created it. I think it was a team of, team of, of players that kind of put it together. Yeah, I think it was uh, in one of the recent GCI posts that him playing it was featured. Oh, uh, you're right. Because I, I had to go asking uh, his captain what to call it. Because um, I wasn't sure. All right. You got that mask of that, that nightmare wheel doing some little bit of burn damage. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, not a mask of dispel. Then it would have really been uh, mass control. I think mask of dispel is the one that does burn damage. Yeah, mask of uh, mask of dispel and mask of the accursed both I do a little bit of burn. Man. Mm. They got the magician of faith gonna grab Ooh. that nobleman of cross out seems pretty good that's not the worst one that's not I've seen I've seen worse worse interactions oh I mean, no Trinity but Rips it. Thinking here. Judgment? Probably no. thinking about judgment. Okay, so he Just... gets the he gets the mash. Which Ouch. that's that's hard. That that's hard. That's hard. Um gets one from the deck. I don't know if that's mm. all the masks are gone, but that makes it very difficult to uh to try to win. They want to bang in for the 300. Just sets another. That's slowly grind. I mean, if that's the third mask, that could be pretty good. With a with a Suku Yomi to flip the faith, get oh. a third knock. That's pain. Ooh, that would be painful. Suku Yomi, third. Even knock. if he has a second. Eight. Well, I guess the middle set's locked. Yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is, huh? Ouch. Oh. 
We got something. Red. They do run solemns in this kind yeah. of deck usually. There's several. Yeah, there are several solemn judgments in here. I would say the maximum amount of solemn judgments that exist are in this deck. almost have to if you're red 13 use the solemn here yeah, you can't, you can't the danger it. is getting solemn back you can't you can't you can't afford to get um another another neg like that getting negged again or yeah going minus oh, oh okay uh -huh. okay that's a fair that's that a lot works. better than having a solemn yeah absolutely Okay, great play. You like that. You take that. If you're a red 13, you're taking that all day. Angan. Are we going to see another Golem sentry face down? That would be nice. The red 13. It's probably, uh, it's probably Sukiyomi at this point, I would say. Or, uh, yeah. Oh, JDZ oh, with the reads. Geez. Hey, man. I bet they're really glad that, uh, uh, no, well, never mind. Now my dog keeps barking. The quick 500. It's pretty good to get 1500 off a of nightmare. Well, you don't. You don't see don't that know. too often, right? You see it. You no. Say, well, you just get that thing through. gone quick. Yeah, with the uh, thunder dragons and stuff. It's only something I feel like you try and take care of, just because it's cheap and easy if you're the burn player. Right. Now Snatch still is thinking about it. Yeah, Thunder Dragon. Oh, that's uh. Um, tribe is down. Yeah. Pull out Sukiyomi. Oh. All right, we got a game three in a different match. The uh, the Laris and uh, Proud Frog match. Going to game three. Okay. DC is looking strong in the other one. Will we? Will we ever? Will we be the deciding match? Oh, there it is. There it is. Are you guys over on We're, picking deciding matches? Over. Yeah, we have not. We we have not <laughs> hit one. Hit one yet. We have not hit a single one yet. Oh, DC gets his first match. First game, I should say. Oh, just in the faith is great here. You know, well, not really, no Trinity, yeah. but yeah, at just least has something to play. Could have been a worse card, though. Could have been no card. <laughs> Limited for a reason. Yeah, good utility, very balanced card. Let's see. It's another five hundred. So he's gotten he's gotten a, a significant yeah, little like, point of yeah, damage out of this thing. Check this Sukiomi. I mean, there's only so many monsters that turbo runs that can out. I mean, if he finds Thunder Dragon, that would be really yeah. good. 
Thunder Dragon Snatch Break. Is that way you can you can tribute, tribute over, over the I mean the Sangin for a search or the Nightmare Wheel. You probably yeah, you probably tribute over the this to get your thing free and then attack with everyone else, maybe kill the souk and then swing in with the the remaining guys for almost lethal damage. Hmm. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's thinking what, about what, it. What inspired you to pick this deck up, JDZ? Because that's one that I look at and I'm like, I don't. Um, I don't think that this would be fun to play, <laughs> let alone fun to play against. But I think I, I don't know. I just wanted to. I just wanted to try. I, I saw it. Like I I play. I would say. I would say eighty five to ninety percent of the games that I play are with something ridiculous. Like I rarely play like regular standard stuff. It's always gonna be yeah. something off the wall or something different, something strange. Just trying to try something new, man. Because you can sit there and turbo your face off until you. And that's 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 good too. I mean, you can do that. That's that's fine. But I just want to try. It. And I saw this deck, and I saw the video of the of the player. I, I I can't I can't think of his name off the top of my head. But the player who who did well with this deck and the team that they had. And I was like, man, that just seems interesting and new. Let me try it out. And I tried yeah. it. And I put in like I I legitimately put in like you know a serious amount of time trying to play this deck. And I would mm -hmm. lose. You would lose a lot. But then once you kind of figure it out, it it's it's pretty solid, man. It can. It could be something new. It could be something different. That's what it's Yeah. I think it's good. But again, it's very it's very glass cannon, very fragile. If it doesn't have yeah. a right set over they play if you play someone with decree, you're done. Just Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that's you're you're finished. Yeah, man. I mean you're yeah, for sure. Um Especially... there was a uh, on the GOAT to uh, Community Italia channel. I remember what when I started watching them is after I saw that, that they had posted. Uh, I think it was a mask control deck that used uh, Arsenal Summoner in it. Uh, yeah, that was uh, who was it? That was that was young. That was young, sexy old Mister Bow. He played Arsenal Summoner a long time ago. He was he actually won like a like a like a serious event with that deck. Yeah, Arsenal, dude. Arsenal, Summoner, and uh, Guardian Sphinx, Turbo Deck, and, uh, or and, Chaos uh, Deck, Guardian of the Throne Room. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that was a uh, yeah, that was a uh, old young, young, sexy. Can I say that, young, sexy? Uh, I don't yeah. want. I don't want to say the rest of it, but it, it's a, uh, it's a uh, yeah, old Mister Bow. Shout out to him. He's a, he's a dope player. I think he he didn't, I don't think he played this event today though. It is, yes, I, it is, it is a slow deck, uh, Prince, sure. it is. Yeah. it's interesting, it's different, but it's slow. Very yeah, slow. I, I used to play, it wasn't this exact deck, but a version of Mask Control, I also had like a Fiend Control deck that uses Mask, because it's a Fiend, um, but back in the day, I, I mentioned this before, but probably neither of you ever heard me say it. I used to play uh, a Final Countdown deck, <laughs> and I Whoa. played it for like a few months, and uh, that was like all that I played. And that's why I can rightfully say it is the most boring deck on the planet, and <laughs> because it is just sitting there, yep, pass my turn, yep, set one card, pass my turn, nope. pass my turn, oops, set much, one card, pass my turn. How many times did you have to click the I Admit Defeat button? <laughs> uh to be honest i don't remember it was mostly uh opponents getting angry with me um <laughs> i don't remember too much about it besides it was the most boring thing i'd ever done and opponents got mad at me a lot it just it just seemed it just seemed like you're asking for just getting heavy stormed and just blasted with all sorts of all sorts of just cards yeah, but this was this wasn't even like go format even it was oh, when there was the the cards like uh, battle faders too, so it was like really annoying. They could heavy storm you, but then you got battle fader, and it's like, come <sighs> on, oh, come geez. on. 
Um, we got our first our first match in the team war has been decided. We had uh, Proud Frog take down Solaris, so oh, that so puts Red Thirteen's team up one nothing. So Red Thirteen is up one nothing. If he can clinch this off, he can he can win. Oh man, will we do it? So this I is mean, this, this this spells doom for uh for Snatch Deal ninety two based on th- the way things have been going so far. Yeah. Now Snatch Snatch Deal's teammate CC is up one nothing. So okay. Well, there you go. We maybe we finally got the deciding game. I think you're or... the I think you're the good luck charm charm, Mister Mister Fox. Thanks for swinging by. <laughs> you changed around on us. I guess we'll see. This is this is game on board from Snatch Deal, but I guess it's not his turn. Oh, the Soul Exchange was last turn. It's interesting that he Soul Exchange yeah. tributing Red Thirteen's yeah, he Tsukiyomi. Wanted to, he wanted to Soul X that Tsukiyomi. He didn't want that Tsukiyomi to be there for Dead whatever of... reason. Hmm. He's afraid of he's afraid of the souk. I don't know why. There is comes the second Oh wow. Well, that'll do it. That'll do it. That should be Ooh, doggy. Oh, both of the why don't I just play the source? Interesting. Yeah, that's I don't yeah, that is interesting. Wow. I mean it didn't matter in this case, but No, but still Oh, I guess they didn't want to get the flip effect off from whatever they had set. Oh, uh, that's... I guess it does conflict. Yeah, yeah, it conflicts with wheel. Another Sook, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Sook? Nope. nope. On a game. So, Snatch Jail down 0-1 overall, but him and his partner up 1-0 in their games. So that's still not a... Not the worst spot. All right. And while they're while they're side decking, I gotta take another quick, quick break. I'll be back. You guys keep it rocking and keep it All locked. Right. Hopefully, uh, it'll last. Give me like a couple minutes. I shall return shortly. Right. Are you are you watching any of the other games right now, Necro or no? Just this oh, one. Oh no. I got a okay. uh, new computer and I don't even have Chrome downloaded. I'm not using Microsoft Edge, so Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. that's that's fair. That's a nice to nice little upgrade then. Got uh DC's about to make a big push here. With uh, he's playing Warriors today, as opposed to I don't did you did you watch the video of um the the vlog of the tournament that he ran and i did uh, i did Italy. it seems like i mean quite the event to put it mildly um but i think he was playing mask control of some variation there or mask turbo but he's brought warriors today and he's in a strong position to put his opponent down on a uh two-turn clock here ushishi koki yeah um, um, yeah, yeah, they, they kind of seem to go back and forth between, uh, mass control decks and warrior decks, I've noticed. And okay. they've always got some teched out warrior cards. Yeah, yeah, they definitely will bring the spice. Oh. Like Good evening. Good evening. Trap hole. How's it going? Calcifer. Our How are gracious you? head judge here for the event. Hey, sorry, I was also hearing the stream, so I couldn't understand what was being told to me and what I was listening to. <laughs> but yeah, hi everyone. Uh, how is it going? I'm watching both the stream and another game just to keep up. And they saw Let's is watching another game as well. Is it correct? Yeah, yeah. The, the we got CC now going to game three. So... Oh, the the other match finished. Vertigo yeah. against. Okay, who won? Uh, Proud Frog, uh, Goat Format Latina. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, okay. Red 13 on stream. His team is up one. Uh, some lag issues and that, you know, what is DB without lag? Yeah, that dueling book has been pretty bad today. Mm, apparently, yes. But a quiet day for you as the judge, no, Pat? It was very easy because no one... Like, not, right now there's only one game each time, so it's not really a, a huge issue. Before, there were like two or three calls, but yeah. most was solved by the fact that the team won before I could answer the calls. So <laughs> it was, yeah, a couple of things, but no ruling issues or anything. I mean, players that play in August are probably players that uh, know how to play and stuff. They're not just, hey, maybe I can pass this weekend playing uh good format <laughs> probably they are at the <laughs> seaside or something so so yeah i think i think they were all pretty uh well known like they knew well the format so yeah 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 it looked People like it at least yeah no no overly complicated interactions no not at all also because uh, at least I, I think i can say it because it's only what i saw and what we saw on stream there's tons of warriors today so yeah most of this gameplay situation are very simplified or limited to certain interactions so it was pretty easy i'll yeah. say <laughs> if i'm a monster i flip battle trap That's... yeah most most of the time that's what I saw. Hmm. Yeah. They're still siding. Yeah. Oh, okay, he asked for one minute. Okay. And here we go. Game two. Let's see if this is this is a master lock deck that I don't know if you've seen it at all today. They uh, flip flop. Yeah. Hmm. With uh, time seal, yes, 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 and the Tsuku lock and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that was more popular. I would say it's it's becoming more popular as of today because of the new lists and stuff. But it was actually played even if I remember correctly, like five years ago or something. There were some versions of that of that deck mm. uh, that were around. I remember uh, Mistaman uh gabriele one one of uh, one of my friends that actually played that uh, at uh, uh championship series back in 2018 he tried it out but uh, it didn't work well back in oh. the day but <laughs> more more success today or at least his team uh let's see what we're gonna get here pot do we see judgment gotta think See, this is it's an, it's an awkward spot if you're the lock player because you want to use those counter traps to protect your your lock if you can set it up but then that means letting things like pot or graceful resolve which can be backbreaking sometimes yeah it's pretty complicated i think the deck is very nice but also has a lot of uh, situation where it can get easily interrupted like if you get the lock you win there's right. no way you can lose that one but if you don't get that most of the times you are just like okay he outed this card and now i'm uh, below on tempo i'm behind on tempo yeah and, and if i draw another golem sentry i have to set it hope it doesn't get destroyed and doesn't really work especially against warrior probably that that's probably not the easy matchup for uh, for that deck no that, but at I, least I, yeah yeah I, I think he's playing uh oh well, there's the golem sentry i think he's playing versus um turbo here no Seth yeah in, the, in this in this situation yes i mean generally speaking since we saw so many warriors today oh that's true what I, Mm. Yeah, 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 no, not. I wasn't talking about this scenario specifically, <clears throat> and I yeah. disconnected. Lol. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm back. I'm here. What? Oh, what's up, Mr. Patrick? How are you doing? Good to, good to see you. Good morning, JD. Um, good morning. I thank mean, you. Good evening. It, no, it's still, it's, it's still, probably. it's still morning. It no, is still morning. It is morning. still morning. <laughs> oh yeah, it's uh, it's almost 11 a.m. here, 
the head <laughs> judge, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Patrick, doing a great job hey. keeping this keeping this bad boy <laughs> moving along. As I was saying to to lads and Necro, there was not many goals, and nice. those goals were pretty easy. So easy day. Not, you take yeah. you take those. Easy day. Absolutely. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So what did I miss? Anything cool happened? Anything neat happened in the in the short break uh, I had to take? We had a solemn on a pot. On uh, turn one. Yeah. yeah. And we know red 13 has golem sentry in the middle. Uh, but he didn't attack with it, which is... Oh. Yeah, I was wondering about that. It's too little odd. Dang. Maybe, oh, there goes the masks again. So. Two games in a row. That's rough. That is yes. rough. So I, I, he probably he probably held the knock and gave him that false sense of security, and then played the knock on the mask. So, and the soul oh, exchange. This is a bad matchup. This is. Yeah, this is not the kind of deck that you like to see if you're playing mask control. No, I mean the tech soul exchange and turbo is interesting. Is another way to answer flips. Um, Especially if you're playing Zaborg or any of the monarchs, but yeah, just another another way to harass the face down cards. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. I mean, you're already playing three Thunder Dragons anyway. Might as well. Right. That's the easy turbo or tribute potter. Oh. DC's making a push for game in his match. He's thinking. He just baited a uh, judgment. Oh, DC wins. Okay, so that makes it one. So one. And we, okay. have, we have broken the curse. <laughs> the curse has we been are, lifted. We, we have, have a, a deciding match. We have a deciding match on stream, the first one of the day. <laughs> are first, you serious? <laughs> first one of the day, deciding match on the stream. <laughs> Usually, all the matches we've had so far, it's like, oh, my teammate won. We're done. Or, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, I noticed that as well. Uh, I just kept happening. Yeah, as, first one. As, I told as I told before, a couple of calls that I got were resolved by the fact that the match <laughs> didn't matter anymore. And so I simply didn't have yeah. to do anything. I'm like, oh, you're, you lost. It's, still, it's okay. Let's go ahead and yeah. you die. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> nice. Here is probably thinking, yeah, oh. about a solemn. Wow. Yeah, the question would be if you saw him that or you saw him summon, but then you lose your golem sentry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then again, if Snatch has maybe only like now we know that he has at least one brick 